Bonjour. Welcome to Paris, France. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hopefully this is still working. Let me see, give me some feedback if you could. Japan looks weird. This is not Japan. We are in Bonjour, Paris, France. Nice bike lanes. We're live, baby. It's working well. Okay, so we are on, all right. Let me, let me give you guys the, uh, the update really quick. First of all, welcome to another thrilling edition of Premier 2. My name is Peter. Today, we are not with the van gang. Sadly, Paul, Ian, Chris, and Connor will not be able to join us. However, I am going to be joined by my good friend and cousin, Celadon Earn, who you may remember from, uh, you know, various nicks and knacks. Let me get the camera set. He's a good friend of the channel. I've known him for 30 years. And look at this. This is amazing. You cannot tell me with a straight face that this is not absolutely gorgeous. I love it. The scale, the beauty. I really enjoyed last night. Let me see if we're still good. I don't know if we're, if we're effed. Are we, are we still good? Looks peaceful. Okay, good. So here's the here's the caveats for today. All right, we've got we've got two things. Again, there's the there's the Bastille. This is where public executions were held in France back in the revolutionary days. Unbelievable. Here's the but here are the caveats. All right, number one. Number one is I'm on one SIM card. I'm on one SIM card, that's all we got. Number two, uh, it's gonna rain. And uh, you know, these cameras are not waterproof. They're, they're quite, they're splash proof, which means we can survive some aspects of rain, but not a lot. Trois. Number three, one SIM card. Great deal though. One SIM card was 210 gigabytes for 30 bucks. I, oh, nope, not going there yet. Look at this architecture. Look at this. This is amazing. I absolutely fell in love with this last night. It's, it's, it's incredible. So those are the big three things. That and, uh, you know, it was really nice when we had Connor and Chris and Ian and Paul because a lot of the entertainment was just us sitting down in the car and, and having a chat and just shooting the shit. But we don't have that luxury because uh, both Jeff and I are trying to figure it out as we go on the fly, right? It's a bit more challenging when we're walking through Paris and I don't want to interrupt people's day. I'm still learning this IRL thing. I'd feel much better if this was in, if this was in uh, Japan. Pete, what in the world are you doing in France and how much do you like Chris Farley? I love Chris Farley. Okay, golly gee willikers, when they said, do you want to do a show in France? I didn't know they meant do a show in France. That's uh, my terrible impersonation. That is a double laned bicycle lane, yes. Dude, I am so impressed because I'll, I'll talk to Celadon Earn later. He used to live in, in France when he was in college, about 17 years ago or so. No, 15 years ago. And the bike lane system has just been an extraordinary boom since then. Howdy, buddy. It's your, fe it's your fellow Bruce Campbell fans here. I just watched your vid with Chris with a quest to replace your mug from Natsuki. I didn't know you were also from Kansas. I'm from Kansas, too. Stillwell, to be exact. I also graduated from KU, living in Brooklyn the last 19 years. Well, I'll be damned. Welcome to the channel, my man. Um, I'm here on vacation. I do not... I've never been to Europe. I've been in Paris for less than 24 hours and I had a wonderful time last night. Welcome to the channel. This place is gorgeous so I'm going to take you guys down some back streets just to kind of go for a little sampo. After we go for a walk we're going to do three things today really. We're going to get some breakfast which is like a croissant and some coffee. I need both of those immediately. 
Then we're going to the Arc de Triomphe. I'm not there solo. I'll be joined in a little bit by my buddy. Um, then we're going to the Arc de Triomphe. We're going to check out the Eiffel Tower together. Get some lunch together. Then we have to make our first big decision. Are we having fun? Are we annoying people? Those do not go hand in hand. Do we cut the stream and say thank you guys for part one of the Paris trip. See you next time. Or... I'm gonna whisper into I'm gonna whisper into your ears here. Or do we go for a little nighttime drinky drinky on wine and beers and cafes and live up a little DJ lifestyle at night? That could be that could be done. We could you could convince me. I don't think we're gonna get a royale with cheese. So we have we have multiple choices of how we want to. You should check out the Monterey. Behind it is a plaza with artists. We need a DJ and stream people. Well, we're going to have one. Let me point this. See, all right. First thing, I love this. I love, absolutely love the cafe style in this country. I love it more than anything that I, I this has been, and I've only been here for one day. I enjoyed this so much. It's amazing. I love that France is a country that accepts that you people watch and you just, and look at where all these chairs are pointed out. All of these chairs are pointed out to the city so you can enjoy it. I love this. I absolutely love that. Bow finger. He's the man. The man with the mindest touch. I love the idea of a people watching cafe so much. There's ma pharmacy, which means my pharmacy, I learned. You know, Gyro, I don't know if we're going to the Louvre. I don't know. I feel like today's plan, and again, I'm going to be totally 100% candid with you guys. I'm kind of nervous. I don't like showing cameras in people's faces. I'm still really getting used to this IRL stuff, and I know, I know that the Van Gang, you guys saw a side of me where I looked like I absolutely lost my mind and was shouting, $300,000! Stuff like that. I get it, right? However, that was in the middle of Hokkaido, where no one is at. Here we're in the heart of Paris. I don't want to annoy people. But I'm going to show you guys two things that we did last night. I remember this area. We're going to be tourists. I'm not afraid. I'm going to whip out the phone a lot. I find this uh, fa just fascinating. There's a, a foot massage, Bon Sabor. We're going to tourist this thing all the way up. That is such a cool statue. What time is it in France right now? It is 8.52 in the morning. Perfect time for a croissant and some café. Annoy people, it's France, home to the nicest people on planet Earth. I'm gonna be honest, I had a great experience yesterday with all the French uh, waiters and wait staff that I met, and we found like a Japanese goods store. Look at this church. Seriously, look at this church. This is so sick. The fact that we're like five minutes away from this, I, I love it. That TTS did not get read. Did you say a bad word? Oh, it was anonymous. Thank you very much. I appreciate just throwing 200 bits in there. Thank you. It is quite cold. You know what, though? Here's the thing about graffiti. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with the graffiti. I know it's not... I know it's... God, this is gorgeous. Listen, I'm going to be honest. I'm okay with just walking the streets of Paris all day and eating and drinking. I don't know if that's entertaining to look at. I don't know if that's cool to you guys, but I'll be goddamn true, it's cool to me. It is so sick. And I thought yesterday, and this is like one of the only days where it is uh, sunny outside. Well, it's not even sunny, but it's not raining. I think that, you know, I don't know a lot about France, and I don't know a lot about any of these places, but my memory of it is when I studied French history in school and stuff in college, I know obviously that they have a lot of history with 
politik and you know anar anarchy and republic and voting and overthrowing the government and I feel I always felt graffiti is kind of just a small form of that I almost feel like it's part of their nature I don't want to generalize but so I don't really mind the graffiti hey Pete hey chat what's up Paris stream that's why bonjour Pete what part of Paris are you at I think we're walking around an area called Bastille this is the uh, the Bastille area I love how you stop and take in life, man. I wish I could do that more often. <laughs> no, I do not. Look at this. Oh my God, these text, the the architecture is so so sick. I love that they. I mean, I love that they have these building height regulations, and you very rarely see like the skyscrapers and just stops. And these lamp posts. I wonder if they turn on at night. Give us your best French accent. I like to buy a burger. Thank you for everything you did during the cyclothon. Dude, I didn't do anything, but thank you for the kind words. Here's a little bodega. We get some ice creams. They have Snickers. Vein Gang, where are you at? Airwaves. They've got Pringles and Chipsters. Yo, you need to sit at a cafe and people watch. We're going to. So for this morning, uh, Jeff is getting ready. And I wanted to test the camera and test the SIM card and hang out with you guys. So I'm doing a quick walk around Bastille. We're going to meet up with Jeff. We're going to get a croissant and some coffee. And we're going to keep having fun. What's up, Tama? <sighs> I mean, yeah. Okay, speaking of like Van Gang, which you guys were absolutely freaking amazing. Big shout to all of you. I think we're near a school, by the way. I'm almost 99% sure we're near a school. But huge shout to the Van Gang. You guys were so awesome. And uh, yeah, I mean, I did get to do some fun stuff with the... Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's so, so cool. Look at the sun coming through the clouds in this awesome ancient buildings. Life. That is so cool. I'm so, such a fanboy right now. Cameras, okay, so that's the other thing, guys. When Chris yanked the camera, I'm not blaming Chris. However, it did damage it, so I'm trying to fix it. Let's try to fix that really quick. I can try to, uh, I accidentally just found a random park and it's awesome. Look at this. Look at this. Look. This is awesome. He broke the camera out, yes. Uh, okay, so hold on. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. I'm trying to eyeball it, right? And when, when, when Jeff gets here, we can more, we can, we can better do it. But the issue now is I've got this cord that's on my neck. Okay, that looks straight to me. This looks straight to me right now. Did you guys, is your, is your grundle fixed? From Barcelona, oh man, I really wanna go there too. This is my first time in Europe. Uh, and look, I'm gonna be repeating a lot of the same stuff today because I obviously have nothing to talk about. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Is this, is this good? Okay, cool. It's about as straight as, as you can do. Yeah, it's going to be a bit tilted, but hopefully the, the vibe of it is still... Oh, my God. Louis the Thirteenth, A statue? It's time to get some photos. I'm going to wait for these guys to pass. You're damn right I'm going to stop and take pictures all the time. You think I'm not going to hang out and check out these cool things and take... Everyone, just make sure you smile, okay? Ready? Smile, guys. Cheese. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got you. <laughs> okay. I hope you smiled. That was us. I, I took two. I took two. I promise you this. I promise you. Every time I take a picture of some cool thing, 50% of that time, 50% of every time, I'll take a picture of us. So just make sure you guys smile correctly. Man, 
I cannot get over this. I'm running out of superlatives, how much I love just walking around. I would totally live in this city. Are you kidding me? I would totally live here. Oh, here we go. Everyone say fromage. Yeah, it's, no, that's a, that's a Kodak moment. When I first played Final Fantasy XI, story time with Pete. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So when I first played Final Fantasy XI, I, I, I was in uh, La Fien Plateau, which is uh, outside of Charlemagne Champagne, which is, I guess, French-sounding places in the kingdom of Sandoria. And I met this Golka, which is these big, hulking dudes. They're the biggest race you can be, and his name was Kodak, K-O-D-A-K. And every time we were walking around, we were trying to reach Valkram Dunes, which is a common leveling place from when I was uh that was an awesome park by the way remember that place we're gonna go back there I bet so I was trying to find a uh, this leveling zone and we were walking together and in the old days of Final Fantasy 11 that shit took like 35 minutes just to walk from one place to another it took forever to get through a zone everywhere we would go he would stop and say hey can you run ahead of me a little bit and his little character would say that's a Kodak moment, and he would take a screenshot and chronicle his adventures. And uh, I took that philosophy into to my own life. And I've always thought that was awesome. He was a gagachad. Hello, bird. A gigagkad, or whatever they call it on the text-to-speech. Kodak, man, he was the best Galka. No, I know it's Giga Chad, but if you do the text to speech, he butchers it and says, like, Gagai Cod. <laughs> it's awful. I was listening, I was testing out the sound effects today, and uh, I, I replayed some of the ones from the Van Gang. That was the most recent, and it was like, you know, thank you, Paul, thank you, Ian, and that other guy. You're all Gagai Cads for doing all these cool things. All right. I also really like everybody's fashion here. Everybody just, I'll say one thing that genuinely surprised me was how much everybody was smoking. Did not expect that, honestly. I might have to rip a few darts. That's code word for cigarettes. So many people were smoking here. It's part of the culture? Is it really? Because in Japan, it used to be part of the culture. Japan was like big time smoker's paradise. And what's crazy to me, and I'm not generalizing, I'm not, okay? I want to make that very clear. I was more surprised at the amount of women who smoked because in Japan, it's really dominated mostly by males. I mean, you'll still see everybody smoking occasionally, but it's like salarymen, or if you pass these little tobacco boxes, it'll be like 90% men. But in France, it just seemed like everybody's doing it. Smoke a dart for the van gang. Yep, we're going to rip a dart. It's pretty shocking. I don't think that that's true, Pixel. I don't think they're rude and entitled. I'm going to tell you guys a couple of stories that I, I thought were amazing. Uh, for example, it last, yesterday we were having a dinner and we ordered escargot. We ordered a uh, mon, uh, monsieur. It was like a ham with, it was like ham, cheese, and bread. Monsieur or something. It was amazing. And then Jeff got uh, beef or like steak tartare, which is like raw meat or something like that. And then we ordered a cheese plate and a couple of beers. And we were. We were slamming, having some fun, having some laughs, eating it up. Great food. Absolutely guy guy cads. They were amazing. Great food. And when we got, it was about an hour into the meal, I was feeling like stuffed, right? Because it came with like some French fries or some salad. And uh, the guy came back and he was like, eh, about the cheese plate. And Jeff and I were like, yeah, I don't think we can fit that into our stomachs. He's like, yes, of course not. I didn't even put in the order. I knew you would not need it. And I was like, yes, that's the kind of waiter that should be everywhere in the world. 
don't just put a 13 euro thing on my plate because I ordered it. Read me. It was amazing. Okay, let me see here. Ouch, there's a big wind. And this, this guy also was, he was, he came by and he was like, I pee, slammed it on the table. I want more of that, man, 100%. I'm so, I prefer that over like treating me well and talking me up and getting to know me. I just want a guy to be like, here's your IPA, here's your awesome food. I didn't even put in your cheese plate because it looked like you guys were struggling. I did walk in a circle. I'm meeting Jeff at the, uh, the Bastille. So we were going for a morning test walk. So I'm meeting him at the public execution site. The escargot was great. Uh, I was trying to think about this. Can you guys help me out? I was thinking about Japanese cuisine, right? Which is what I'm kind of used to eating is Japanese food. And I realized, I realized escargot is amazing because one, you have the initial, you have the initial, you have the initial like escargot with the snails and you use your little snail fork and you eat it. Hold on a minute. Let's see what you have to say. Notre Dame is walking distance. What? No way. Really? Isn't it still under construction? All right, I'll let, uh, I'll let Jeff figure that out. I think it's blocked off. So the escargot, you have the initial bite of the snail, but you still have the, the garlic and the butter residue, and they serve it with these little pieces of toast from like a baguette, and you, you dunk it in there, and oh my God, I love that it's like a two-layered dish. You get the escargot, then you get to chase it with some bomb ass, where am I? This is not the right spot. Then you get to chase it with some delicious uh, bread and dipping it in. This is where we ate last night, I think. I don't remember, I was drunk. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it was the, right here. I'm pretty sure we were drunk right here. Like around this zone. I don't remember. Yeah, I think Notre Dame is going to reopen in like two or three years. Look at this site. I love this city. I love it. So yeah, the plan for today, like I said, three things. We're going to get some croissant and some coffee. Then we're going to uh, check out the Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower together. Then the rain's going to come. And then it's time to drink. Oh, to be drunk in a foreign place. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. One of life's great pleasures. Bonjour, Pete. How are you doing this fantastic Friday? Are you enjoying your French experience? It has already lived up to and surpassed my expectations. And I've only been here for 24 hours. Not even. I've been here like 16. I love it. Don't eat frogs' legs as they are becoming an endangered species, please. All right, I will try my best. I think, um, like, it's a very sensitive issue. Uh, I try not to eat horse, but that's happened to me on two or three occasions. <laughs> what I didn't know. There are, of course, you know, I'm trying to be respectful of the culture. Show us some French food. I'm working on it. Is this, this is my first time in Europe. This is my first time on vacation. This is, I guess I've been to vacation twice before. I went to Japan when I was in college. <coughs> some smog. <coughs> and uh, this is my first time in Europe. This is my first time in anywhere, really. Oh, sorry. It's, uh, it's uh, thank you so much. It's an amazing experience, and I still have seven more days with you guys. It is windy. Did not expect that. There we are. There it is. Oh, I'm doing a really far back bend just for you guys. There's the Bastille. They used to do public executions here. This was the place where people like me would get chopped down. You should definitely try an authentic French brown onion soup. I would love to. 
one of the things we had last night was, uh, I forget the name. I know Jeff is going to kill me. We're going to meet Jeff over here. Uh, it was called the, uh, damn it, what was it? It, it? it was French toast. But I really liked the, the explanation of French toast. It's like lost bread or something like that. The French toast was absolutely insane. It was so fucking good. God, this place got totally renovated for like a cycler's dream. It's incredible. Let me make sure that Jeff did not message me. So soak in the sights. Eh, pain perdu. There it is. Pan, I think. Bonjour, Mogla. Croquet Monsieur. Croquet Monsieur is what I had last night, I think, that I really liked. That was excellent. Jeff, where are you at? All right, I'm going to head out. I've been messaging. You've been messaging here? What are you doing? Hurry up. I'm at the Bastille. It's been 30 minutes. <coughs> <coughs> All right, let's hope that doesn't come back. I inhaled something on that that roadway. Croque Monsieur. I have the worst French pronunciation on the planet. I'll be honest. All right, we'll do a little tour around the Bastille. Yeah, I'm good. I, when I was walking through that smog, I um <clears throat> something didn't sit right. Also. I would like to point out that my throat is still on full recovery mode from uh, absolutely shouting during the, the experience that we had together. When we were, um, <clears throat> what was it? Doing the, the IDF foundation. God, this is insane looking. You're telling me you wouldn't want to wake up here and just hang out? Go to work in a city like this. I'm a city guy, though. I should probably point out. I love going to cities. I like waking up and hearing the sights and sounds. That's that's. I'm all about that. Someone made a compilation of your pep talks, and it's amazing. See that that brings a a happy little tear to my eye. Doing those pep talks were both the Thank most. You. Hey, what's up? Great to see you enjoying Paris so much. Thank you. I'll tell you what. There is something funny about this air quality. Not bad. Hey, thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate that. Welcome, Andonius. And thank you, Demented Space. I got a little I got a little scratch in my throat. <clears> oh, <throat> nah man, I hate cities. Southern France or Pox. All right, let me set up this part really quick. We're going to be here in um, Paris until Sunday. Then I think I'm going to take you guys on a little ASMR uh, uh, bullet train ride as we go to Nyon, Nyon, France, which is in the countryside. So we'll be taking a kind of speeder bullet. And I, I, I'm going to play a board game with Jeff, but I'm just going to put your guys' camera out the window and for three hours or so, we're just going to hang out together. <clears throat> I think this guy's shouting at me, so we're going to make a we're going to make a dash. I think I put my foot up on that seat and he didn't like that, and I'm afraid that he was shouting for me. So I'm hoping that Jeff comes in quickly. Good morning, Peter. I hope you're enjoying your time in France. It's going to be amazing. Checking out France. It's time to get some breakfast, which uh, according to Jeff, they they call breakfast uh like early lunch, which I feel is cheating. You can't say petite break, petite lunch. Just call it breakfast. I'm running. We're running. <coughs> Jeff should be coming from this way. As you guys know, I, I, don't, I don't really hold back a lot. Oh, I see Jeff walking. It's easy to spot his chrome dome from a mile away. They have these tents set up, and I guess that's for like the homeless community. And I was kind of surprised by that because in general, homeless communities like with various tents, and I could be wrong, I'm not entirely sure, but in America those get like moved or you get like in Japan, they, they stay under like bridges or train stations and they have like a cot. But here there was like a small group of people. Petite déjeuner, that's the word. Petite déjeuner. Hi, Pete. I'm going to love spending time with you in these new IRL streams. I'm a new guy. Big hug from Mexico. Hey, what's up? 
How you doing? All right. Bon, uh, bonjour. Yeah, good. Close enough. Petit déjeuner. Oh, okay. I'm ready. Okay. Everybody, uh, this is Jeff. Say, do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Jeff from Sell It On Earn. Uh, Earn the screw. Check it out. No, Great. no self-promotion. Right. 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 You've been a moderator in name only. In name only. For about 21 months. Moderator emeritus is how I like it. Ah, I see. The emeritus. And uh, he is my cousin. I've known Jeff for over 30 years. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah. Sadly. That's crazy. Nearly 40. Nearly 40. I mean, since basically we can remember being kids, yep. we've hung out together. Yep. Um, you got the height and the brains, but I got the looks. Yep. You got the hair. I got the hair. <laughs> together, we would have been quite the specimen if I, we... we. I gotta be honest. You said earlier, I'll meet you at... I'll see the big beacon. I thought you were talking about my head. I thought you were <laughs> yeah. above yeah. I already made that joke, actually, you over did? here. Yeah, just now. Well, I was wondering where you... Oh, camera up. I'm trying, man. It's it's a... Uh, this backpack. I, I feel like... I have to make a switch on the strap. Tall, Jeff is like 6'10". Yeah. You're a 6'2", right? 6'2". Alright, alright. Hold on, man. Let's stop by this, this thing over here. Because I got to uh, I gotta fix... I got to try something on this backpack. We're going to try moving the camera up on the strap a little bit, guys. This guy's been shouting at me okay. for a while. Yeah, I think I... Alright, Pete may have gotten yelled as he walked away. I, yeah. Let's see if he, he's... he's... Oh, hold on a second. Alright, let's see if we can make this work. The only downside is they might get more of my <coughs> wispy hairs as they, they, they fly into frame. Usually you have to pay extra for that. Immersive cam. This is the re. All right. This is the test cam, everybody. Also, that's concerning. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Ready? I don't want to have hair cam. That's what the people want. I don't think anybody no. wants that. Let's find a cafe. All right. Here we go. Oh, baby. Better. I mean, I think this is going to be way better for them. But I hope that my hair doesn't block it. I feel like this is way higher. I think we can probably just find... Do you want to just find something around here? Yeah, yeah. This is so much better. Okay. Sorry. That took a while for me to figure out. Looks good. No hair, too. I can fix that. Yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Peter. Have you been to Singapore? No, actually. Um... We're going to talk about travel experiences, but for me, basically, I've been to Paris now, today. I've been to uh, Japan, Bali. I crossed into Canada briefly, but nearly by accident, kind of, but like, doesn't count. And that's it. Doha. I went to Doha, <laughs> so I've been to Qatar. Loudest American in Canva. Your cousin has an awesome beard. Don't give him that information. No, he does not. His beard is garbage. He thinks he's Kratos. Don't. I think he has to shave it when I have to shave it for surgery. How about that? I can't. Really? Okay. Never going back. Jeff, what's your favorite U.S. state? Um, Oregon. Really? Yeah. I thought you might say California because the mountains and... California's up there, but I just like the, the overall like vibe of Oregon. I like the forest. Where's like Lake the... Tahoe? It's border between California and Nevada. Do you like that area? Yeah, it's beautiful. I like all of the lands in Final Fantasy XI. I think my favorite state is the Sanctuary of Zeta, yeah. which you've never been to. Nope. Go to Dupont et de... <laughs> I don't know what that... For a coffee and croissant? I think we're just going to go to Sukiyaki, which yeah. is a Japanese... <laughs> I was shocked. There was like 15 or 16... Uh, that's why I sort of taken you in this direction. So that we can go back to home. The less authentic uh, place. Zita does have the best music. An American forehead in Paris. That's right. Two. Two American foreheads in Paris. Uh, yeah, Did we eat okay. somewhere around here last night? It was here. Yeah. Uh, I think it was at that one. Oh, let's go, yeah. Wait, same place? Maybe. No, no, no. Not, not here. This is where we had last night, right? No, I think we had that. We had that over there. Yeah, let's go here. They have a um, what's Bosson Child. Oh, what do I think that is? Uh, this is a um, 
It's like an ex espresso. Well, can be. It's a hot drink. A hot drink. Yep. See? Okay, yep. okay. Yep. Un croissant ou une tartine. Yep. That's a croissant with some other or, cheese. Or, or the a, tartine. Yeah. Tart. Yeah. Or we get un jus d'oie. Orange, uh, orange juice. Yep. Hey! Yep. Let's go here. All right. Petit déjeuner. And you can, there's a bigger menu that's another uh, breakfast with some extra stuff. So like uh, extra fine butter or jam with like uh, bread. I, th I think that's what you're looking for. So we'll Flawless pronunciation, Pete. All right, I'm gonna let you do okay. the sorting. I'm gonna find us a table yeah. right here. <laughs> right, fish is poisson. I say that as a man whose forehead travels all the way over and down my shirt collar. You know what? It's it's not easy, man. <clears throat> French is not my my native language. Obviously, anywhere is okay. What do you think? Right here? Yeah, that sounds good. I missed the Moulin Rouge when I was there because I was poor. But you should check it out, so I can live vicariously through you. All right. <clears throat> Uh, we do have to, I saw somebody say we have to go up the Sacre Coeur and like the Montmartre area. That is like really nice. It's really cool. Let's switch seats. Okay. I forgot about this. <laughs> it's way easier if you're on my left. I was sitting like the most unnatural. Po okay, that's better. Yes. Okay. You're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was totally turned trying to be natural. All right, so we're going to today. I, I was telling the folks, you can have, you can have, I'll, I'll look at chat. You don't deserve them yet. <laughs> This, this Pete in Paris is way better than Emily. I'm not sure I know who Emily oh, is. I think it's a show. Okay. It's funny how much of my French I can still recall. Yes, Montemarte is wonderful. Do you know this place? Yeah. Not I mean, a fan. No, I like it. That's not how you said it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did I? Montemarte. Was that how you did it? Well, okay. Well, how do you pronounce it? Montmartre. Oh, really? Yeah. I added about three s syllables yeah. there. Um, Cafe, Sigtre, yep, this is this is France. I've already learned your French pronunciation of words, so I'm it's, adjusting. I think it's like Japanese style almost. Like I add in like the katakana breaks. Yep. And which I, is... I just hear it now. I, it's like the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're doing. Alright, so today we're going to hang out and have a croissant and some café. 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 Then we're going to the Arc de Triomphe. We are, yes. And then how oh, I understood that. We. Oui. Then we're going to, if we're feeling peckish, which is a British term for hungry, let us see you, Pete. Well, here's the problem, Malikin. There's two chairs. Can you put it on a chair in front of us or something? Maybe. That one has bird shit all over it. Well, perfect for the bag. No, it's on my back. Can you grab that one? Yeah, I got it. Triumph. Okay. I'll have to explain this. If, well, hopefully you won't get All right, here's the deal. I don't want to use the tripod as much. We're going rogue with this, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll sort it. This thing's on a pretty good... Well, until I broke it. Oh, boy. Stay. That looks good. Yeah. Don't fall. Okay, can you guys see us? Let me do the check. We can move into frame. No, 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 it's, it's gonna be oh. alright. I didn't want to show you guys. I thought if you saw me, it ruins the illusion because I'm supposed to be. I'm. Sp you guys are tiny again. Yeah, you guys are supposed to be the my POV today. It's like you're you're seeing Pete's life through Paris. Oh shit, hold on, there's a guy gag had comment. Oh no, that was me talking through my own phone. <laughs> I thought, I'm just really loud. Alright, so here's a, okay, let me shut up, Pete. Pete, what the fuck, where the fuck have you been, man? I felt a kid lost in a grocery store hollering for you and nowhere to be found. I had to take a 24 hour, 26 hour train, yeah. or a flight. Yeah, two, two really long flights. Yeah, so I, uh, I got back, okay. How long was the longer of the two? The first one to Doha. Was that 13 hours? Yeah, 13 Ooh. hours. So what happened was we finished the cyclothon. Uh, I got home, and then that night uh, I, I, I stupidly updated OBS, and it completely broke all of this. It broke you. And uh, luckily, Johnny Mole, who's a regular in the channel, who helped me build this backpack, and by help I mean did all of it, like everything. 
he was able to walk me through a ton of technical stuff at two in the morning. The next morning I had to wake up and I had to go to City Hall, which is called the Kuyak Show. Cool name for it. I like that, Kuyak Show. It's not as fun being there. But I, I had to get a vaccine certificate, which means when I go back to Japan, I no longer have to take a 400 euro or 300 euro PCR test. I just bring COVID back. So <laughs> hopefully that's not the case. But I mean, now I don't need that, but I do quarantine at home. After that, uh, I took a flight to Doha, 13 hours, had a four and a half hour layover. Um, then, beautiful airport, stunning, massive. Wow, that's like a rugby team. Oh, it's uh, firefighters. Oh. Like first responder. Yeah, it's close. I, they were huge, though. Yeah. There was these dudes who ran by who were, who were absolutely massive, and I, I thought for sure they were rugby. I guess they're first responder. And they're running through Paris for yeah. training? All right, anyway, so then we, um, then I was able to, uh, wait, wait, oh, hey, is the guy who made the epic guitar cover of the premiere intro song back in the U.S.? That's him, yeah, <laughs> that's the guy. Welcome back. Yep, that's me. That is Jeff. I don't then, know how epic it was. It was, it was uh, pretty epic. Yeah. It was my, my Scott Stab version of... Uh, oh, that's coming soon. Yeah. That's okay. coming soon. All right, let's order uh, food. Do we have to say something, or do they visit us? In theory, they'll visit us. That's normal? Maybe I order at the counter, I don't know. I looked back. That's the universal. Like anywhere in the world, if you do like one of these. Did you make eye contact? I did. Oh, okay. So that usually means they're going to come. Your cousin kind of looks like Bajira. Kratos. Oh, I'm much thinner. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's see, how many layers are you wearing today? <laughs> I'm trying to bulk He's up. Trying to, and this is like a wide angle lens. <laughs> I feel like Jeff is Kratos. I'm sitting as like broadly as I can. He's kind of just standing there. Like, yeah, I don't know exactly. Those were firefighters. Can you move? Yeah, I could, but uh, uh, I'm just going to stay gym is later. Yeah, right. You didn't want to interrupt breakfast. Uh, I've been left with pretty much only 24 7 VTubers on Twitch since the end of the IDF cycle. That's not bad. I think that the, I, I've learned a lot about VTubers. Would you, do you watch any? I learned a lot. I created a VTuber That's right. avatar for you. You work for Unity. Yep. And uh, for the April Fools. Thank you. Yes. Wait, wait. Uh, so you gotta. You gotta be a latte. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. One, one latte, one like. It's called like an elongated coffee, so they add water to the small one. So, Americano. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you can choose which one you want. By the way, I also uh, shouldn't interrupt in mid-order, but I got so excited. <laughs> yeah, uh, lost my train of thought. Uh, so you were saying you work at Unity oh, on yeah. April Fools? Yeah. So there, I was gonna try to make an avatar for you for the VTuber April Fools stream, and uh, found a, a website where you can just make it just like Kaleido Face or something, and all in browser, and it'll map to your movements and stuff. It's awful. So it's really bad. I mean, it's, the, I the mean, avatar was bad. Yeah, the site, the, was great. the site was cool, and the, the you guys may remember we sometimes whip out the old PTuber we call it. <laughs> P-tuber. Yep. And uh, you gave him a, a bacon scarf. Yep. And it doesn't really move. It doesn't move. It's just, it's completely frozen. And you, you tried to give me a necktie. Yep. But it, it like, it's like, it's like yeah. <laughs> it's like a bow tie, but just, I think that's what I did. I just wanted a bow tie and just kind of rotate. <laughs> but it, 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 it worked. Yeah. And, um, oh, what, Dr. Core more Pete, you could have at least said merci. I forgot about that. Oh, merci whoops. beaucoup. I think you were intimidated. Here's the thing. I, I am extremely intimidated. <laughs> Uh, of using, I, I've learned like bonjour, um, um, there's more, Let's merci, yep. scoot, uh, pardon, excusez-moi, yep. et petit déjeuner, that's my favorite. Um, what's mon marmont? Mont -mont? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, Mouse was talking about me, uh, Mouse was talking about you, collaboration was mentioned, I would love to, that would be... I mean, talk about going from PTuber, which is probably yeah. the worst. That was the low point. The lowest yeah. point of all VTubing. That was my goal. Well, I think you successfully... <laughs> but it's, a, it's charming. It's a nice little guy. Then going to, like, the absolute top of VTubing with Iron Mouse. Yeah. That's quite the jump. Yeah, you'll get there. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so, next April Fool's. 
Uh, pe- maybe. People said that your pronunciation was very good. Oh. They're all... Oh, uh, mine? Uh, yes. <laughs> Not mine. Thank you. I, I, I had that as well when I went to Japan, that feeling of I want to be polite and try and communicate with what I know, but I don't want to be mispronounced something and get shouted at. I, well, I'm not going to get shouted at, but I, I feel like it's almost better for me to just say, like... The ground quakes. Okay, that's turning that down. That's not, I, I turned that up on accident when I thought... That was... Thank you. Thank you for the sub, uh, Johanso. That was pretty That was pretty loud. We're outside. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I, scared me. I feel like it scared everybody. <laughs> it's almost easier for me to say like "thank you," or "dude." When most we, people speak English. Yeah. Too. When we went to the the phone shop, we went to Orange to get it. Uh, I w- I got the clerk's attention, and I this was the four words I said. Bonjour. And he said, "What do you say?" Like "bonjour," say, or like some kind yeah. of fast. And I was like, "Sumimasen, chotto mate kudasai, Jeff." <laughs> Oh, hey, why? Nice sprint today. Yeah. So I, I use like four different languages, all badly, in 25 seconds. Did you did you mention the uh, the Japanese shop? I think you briefly mentioned it. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll get to that in one second. She was talking about having you on her show, Speak of the Devil. Well, that would still be like literally talk about one of the highlights of my streaming career, just being a guest on that. And uh, her, that would be that would be insane. Maybe we should do a little tandem show. Ooh. Here's my guy. Here's my architect. They call him an architect. <laughs> this is the architect behind my VTubing. Um, VTube ar- architect. That's Mouse, nice. Mouse didn't think you'd be interested in being on her show? That's Ooh. insane. Iron Mouse is one of, like, the kindest people on planet Earth. Second only to sell it on Earth. <laughs> and it would be truly humbling. That would be, that'd be crazy. Holy shit, I'm so excited for Mouse Show Pete. Looking forward to it. Me too, if it happens. You know, she's very busy. For me, you do. Can you show up at, would you show up as yourself or as the... I think, don't you guys, let's be real. Wouldn't it be fun to show up briefly as P-Tuber and say like, Hi, how are you? Yes. And then, uh, but I don't want that to be insulting. I don't want it to be like, I'm not taking it seriously. But for me, it's about the royalties. Oh, I see, yeah, the royalties. Yeah. One of my favorite memories is, is taking is talking a mix of bad French, Spanish, and English with my great aunt over breakfast in Grenoble so that we could communicate. That's cool. Yeah, I think uh, when you visited Japan, there's this famous phrase called no communication. And no communication is like drinking and talking. So you try to mix everything you can into one kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, that's right, that's right. Merci. And then Ed is coming. Okay, thank you. Oh, um, you want sugar? No, thank you. No, no. Yeah, just translate thank you for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that croissant. Yeah, I need to see it probably. I don't know if I can. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll grab that. So there it is. Got some orange juice for the paper straw. There's the food. So why is lunch juice such a big deal? I don't know. It was when I was here in 2006. Bruh. Do you want this one or do you care? I'll take this one. Uh, what did I forget immediately? That is some fancy jus d'orange. Yeah. This looks really good. Here's a sugar just in case you want it. She brought one. No. No. Uh, Thank you. No, no, no. Enough. You put that right back. That's the good looking quass on Craigasm. It is. Here, I'll even get Chad in the picture. Smile. We have a new rule. Anytime I take a picture of something, I also take a selfie with them. Oh, okay. So I feel like it's it's kind of like... Uh, like this, so, like, cool. Yep. I heard you say everybody said fromage. All right. Fuzzy pickles. <clears throat> Fuzzy pickles. I'm horrified yet e- the phone eats first. The phone does not eat first. So this is pain au chocolat, which is sort of like croissant bread, but with some chocolate bits. All right. I'm going to put you guys away for a minute. It's time to feast. You know, it's, it's feasting time. Look at these little tiny waters, dude. I don't need that. <laughs> All right. Let's eat. Bye, guys. We'll talk in a minute. So now it's just going to be... All right. Do you want to try this? I want to try this. Right. So why do the French take bread so seriously? Mm-hmm. Is there just bakeries everywhere? Yeah, man. It's just part of the culture and part of the history. And they just sort of perfected it. And these are these are great. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can go to, we'll go to a bakery and you'll see like all the different kinds of breads, you know. And you'll see like, what's wrong you'll see the baguettes and the, yeah, it's really good. That's really good. Hmm. You know what? 
I mean, honestly, Japan has some really good bakeries. I think that they went to France and they decided collectively, we love this part of the culture. So they have like, in every station, two or three pawn shops, which is the German word, I think, for bread. Mm. But they use that in Japanese. So the bakeries are pretty good, but this is way, way better. Are we... Freshly squeezed orange juice. Yep. Ah, pan comes from pau, which is Portuguese. Yep. Okay, I was wrong. But it's like a similar word in older Romance languages. What about in French? Pain. Hmm? Yep. That's like the pain perdu. That's really good. Hmm. I don't think anybody's gonna be able to grab my bag. No. It's like within, it's well protected. There's things around it too, yeah. Yeah, so if they did, I think I could also apprehend them. Yep. I think you'd get to it faster than they would. But thank you. Wow. We were talking about this last night. I know that they're looking at us, right? Yeah. But one of the best parts is well, I mean, we have a giant thing in front of our face, but like... They don't know that. I love this idea of just checking out the uh, surrounding area while you eat. Yep. We're right in front of the metro uh, exit, so we see people constantly coming out. And going oh, in. man. That's yep. good. This is a fun trip. <laughs> I'm really, really... I was bitching constantly about airports because I hate them. I hate them. But the minute I got onto, like, the metro, I felt at home again. And I felt like, okay, we're back, baby. We're back. This is good stuff. All right. Um, I'll be curious to see if this works on the metro. Have you tried the snails yet? Yes. Yep. Last night we had the uh, escargot, and we. Oh yeah. So this is my question for you guys. I'm wondering if you could help me. Um, we were talking about how escargot. You have the first bite is the snail itself. Then they give you like some baguette bread to dip into the garlic and the butter to kind of soak up the remaining uh, liquid. So it's almost a two-part dish, right? You have the main feature, which is the escargot, and then you get like this wonderful addition with the same dish with the bread. Japanese cuisine, as far as I can remember, maybe like Dr. Corn Moore or Johnny Moore or anybody who's familiar, is there any dish where you eat the food and then have like its remaining pieces as a secondary kind of ingredient? The closest I can think of is almost like a sukiyaki, which is a hot pot, and then you can add rice to the broth or something like that. But I, dude, yeah, we are way too. too I can't fix that. You guys are on a chair. I'm sorry. This is the Dutch angle. This is the Dutch angle. It's the Beastie Boys. Check your head angle. That's checking your head. head, and head angle. <laughs> it's <laughs> bouncing. Uh, anything that's not bay based. Yeah, that's what I thought. But nothing is like uniquely that. Is this good? Oh, like chonko nabe. Yeah, like chonko nabe. Is this good? Uh, oh yeah. Because it's got the chocolate. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, is Good. that a sub? What was that? Hmm. That's good. Yeah. So, um, you know, we have the sound effects on the channel where you can type an exclamation, right? Yeah. Uh, I sometimes miss announcements of people who've paid money, which is really rude. And uh, so now we have a thing that goes, hey, is that a sub? So that they, if, I, if I miss the alert, they'll have it. And somebody just used that as their notification. Oh, nice. Thank you. Angled was better. Uh, <laughs> now I feel like a toddler who is caught in the middle of falling yeah, backwards. Like <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you guys sit in your seats better? You're disappointing dad. Oh, yes. Thank you. Not bad. Jeff's paying for everything on this trip. It's very kind of him. I don't know when this uh, earth is coming. Oh, yeah. the, the egg? Yeah. Oh, the ass. Maybe it's Chad is too stuff. spoiled. You guys keep complaining. I'm going to throw you in the back of the van again and then take over Connor's backpack, all right? Or even worse, I'll put you on this mutantly tall guy. 
And then you'll see, you can't even see I'm the ground wearing. anymore. You are going to wear it. Yes, you are. No you have to try it out. You have to try it out. He's not paying for everything. They believed me. And they're like, cousin of the year, amazing. <laughs> the stream turned up at this at the perfect time. All of our TV is about the Queen, so this is a nice break. Well, and that was another thing is we, you know, I took, I've been in Europe for one day and the Queen dies. And it's like, damn. And I think the, the best way to approach, at least for us, is just enjoy our day naturally. Just like, still have fun. Yeah. I mean, I'm curious to see like how much it's actually in the news. I'm sure, obviously. I bet it's wall I know it's yeah. definitely in the news, but just I'm curious if people will, like be talking about it or how, how big of a deal it is here. Pete hanging out with fake Gyllenhaal. Ooh, I like that. Fake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> I like that. Time story. We have the new, yeah, we have Jake Gyllenhaal at home. This is uh, <laughs> mom's. Yo, Kmart. Pete and Chad, congrats on the huge goal. Thank you very much. 310,000. Actually, it was like 313,000 officially. 316 was, I heard. $1,000 raised. That's and then I uh, jumped ship over to France. My first time in Europe. My first real vacation of my life. That's like actually three or four days. That's other than Japan, I should say. And uh, Jeff and I used to hang out every year. So like a brief history that you're going to repeat the story 15 times. You lived in Joplin. Yep. I lived in Springfield. Yep. So that was our youth. We would hang out during summers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Only an hour away by driving, which felt like forever. Right. And now I, I can't even believe we can play. Yeah, an hour, like, you could drive in Los Angeles, like, just across town. Yeah, like, to the supermarket. Yeah. And we used to, my mom would be like, it's an hour away, maybe a special week, three-day weekend. But now it's like, that's most people's commute. Then I moved to Kansas City, which is three hours from Joplin, and almost every summer... Uh, I would go to your house for like six or seven weeks. Yep. We would play video games. We would catch up on like all kinds of RPGs. We would go to like, you know, movies. Your mom notoriously was very thrifty. Mm. She'd be like, we're going to do this awesome. My favorite thing was the, the matinee collection of movies we could go to. Well, I mean, it was thrifty. But also, we were just poor. That's, so. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. So thrifty by necessity. <laughs> <laughs> We would sneak in our own candies. <laughs> yep. We would have our own drinks. Yep. Um, poor was, yeah, that that was that was fun times. So we would go see like the drive-in. Yep. Uh, you know, like the old school Midwestern special, and we would get like matinee stuff, and then we would spend a lot of time at your dad's taxidermy shop. Yep. Which we would sometimes work and help out cleaning up guts. And but most sweeping. of the time, we would play Final Fantasy on a black and white TV. Yep. <laughs> With the old RF adapter. And you have thing. to like switch it. Yep. So, uh, I did not kill the queen, I swear to God. And if I did, I would never run to Paris as an escape. <laughs> then we uh, then we started hanging out, and you got into, like, high school and middle school, and you were still doing baseball, and I would come and, you know, just hang out all the time. And about once a year, we used to meet up and, like, just kind of do whatever. Like, uh, I would go to Atlanta or something after my dad died, or you would come to Kansas City briefly, or I went to Vegas. But then you went to Japan like four times in a row. Yeah, and that was like, because I was working for a, a game company that uh, we were working with a development partner based out of Vietnam. And so I would love going to, I would go to Hanoi uh, probably at least twice a year. And so I would fly from LA to Hanoi, work for a week, and then on Friday fly into Tokyo mm. for like a 48 hour bender. Nah, <laughs> 72. 72 hour bender. And then fly back to LA and for the next week. Almost always, I think four for four, whatever you did in Hanoi in your last night, it was obvious when you came into town. Yeah, it was always bad. I Just was ridiculously really hungover. Yeah. yeah. And I remember you even threw up once. I did. No, that was actually, but I think that was from Tokyo. Drinking. Oh, that was our fault. Yeah. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah, that okay. was you. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good times. I had recovered from the Hanoi. I see. Pete, please come to Poland. Maybe our government will die. No, oh. I'm not. I... Oh, wow, this looks amazing. Let me ask you. How, how do I even eat this? I don't know. Find out maybe with these little wall spoons or something. Scotch how do you eat your chat about scotch eggs? How do you guys eat a scotch egg? <laughs> Here, Look at all this. That. is a breakfast? This is a petite déjeuner? No, I got the big... Okay. <laughs> and you got this whole toast set up there? Okay, so hold you on. This? No, you got it. Side. You dip it with the bread? Into oh, really? the egg? With a spoon. 
and then dip. Wait, 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 wait. Spoon the egg out. Dip the toast in the egg. That sounds like it. If the egg is yolk. runny, you dunk it into the yolk. It doesn't look. It looks like a soft boiled almost. I bet it'll be runny. You think so? Yeah. Wasn't there something like that? Uh, Earthbound. I was talking about Springfield, Missouri. Um, hold on a minute. How do we... I'll follow you. Mm. I don't know what I'm Salt on the egg. That sounds reasonable. Okay. Okay. Salt on the egg. Dip with the bread. Spoon out the rest. Okay. That's the... What's all this, though? This is butter and jam. It's for after. I don't know. What kind of split? Yeah, well... Drink it like a shot. No. <laughs> This is called an egg and soldier. This is not a thing in America. No. Can I have a teaspoon? Yeah. Wait, isn't it this one? Oh, you want one of these little coffee spoons? No. Like oh, there it is. Yeah. I didn't see it. No. Oh. All right, here we go. No, that's not. Is it raining? That I'm... one's raining. Is it? Yeah. Are we six years old? Yeah. <laughs> So is it dip the bread? I don't think so. Because mine's good? pretty mine's pretty hard. Mine's not, mine's running. Oh now mine's running. Yeah. I see it. Oh, so you, okay. You dip the bread in the yolk and then spoon out the rest. Wow. Yep. Yeah. That's really good. Okay, now we're learning. Chat wins again. I hope that it, that this is like totally wrong and yeah. they're just trolling you. Oh man, that would be unfortunate. But it tastes good. Yeah. So you get the yolk part on the bread, then you eat the rest when it's not running. This is a great idea. Weren't there scotch eggs in Earthbound? I thought you could yeah, buy those. At the you could, well, yeah, the eggs are good because in Earthbound, you, you keep them on you, right? You buy them, and then they hatch into chickens that you sell. Oh, really? Yeah, if you walk I around totally with them for that. a long time, they're worth like 24 bucks. We have this in America? I mean, if we go to like a French restaurant, but this is not a common... Isn't it a scotch egg? Scotch eggs are totally different. Is it? Yeah, scotch eggs are like deep... Fr or they have like that meat around them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. It's the French versions of eggs, Pete. Scotch eggs are totally different. Oh. This is common in Australia and the UK. Well, I appreciate you guys for enlightening us on how to correctly eat it because it's very good. Yeah, I've never, I've never had this. It's good though. It's warm, and it's kind of chilly today. Mmm. Mmm. I didn't know we get four of them too. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. I'll have to do this with the eggs for my chickens. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Jeff um, recently moved. How many chickens do you have? Seven. Seven. And uh, a good mix of them. We got like the ones with the crazy hair and the ones that are more fluffy. Name them all. We got Luna. We Luna? Got Luna's the newest one. Oh yeah, she was being quarantined. Yeah, but now she's the head head chicken. Oh boy, yeah, and she over jumps Eunice? On my, yeah, and she jumps on my leg every day and we'll just sit there and like look at me and then just sort of look up at the trees. All right. She just dreams of escaping. Chicken runoff, Luna. Luna, uh, Benjamin Franklin. Um, Edward Gizzard Hands, Grandma Eunice, Mary, uh, Goldie, and Vivi. And then uh, Pippin died. Pippin died. Yep. A hawk attack. Yep. Very sad. Pippin, that's unfortunate. Pippin was a good one. He was. She was. Well. She was a good egg. But yeah. Gizzard Hands, yeah. Man, I haven't had eggs like that in years since I was a kid. Well, you should maybe reconsider doing it because it tastes very, really good. Very good. It's it's delicious. I like the dipping part the most. I like this part. Oh really? Mm. It's good. What do you think the chances are that the um, stream continues in the metro? I, I don't even know if that's a good idea. Well, I'll put it at my feet. Oh. But thirty percent. I know what I'm having for lunch: egg and soldiers. 
Family Guy hit the nail when they made the ambulance sounding like two guys fornicating. I don't know. I, you know what? Full disclosure, I've never seen the Family Guy. Or the really? Family Guy. I've never the seen that. Family the, Guy. That sounds like I've never seen it. it. sounds like you translated from French. <laughs> Le Family Guy. <laughs> Le Family Guy. I've never seen Family Guy. Maybe some highlights or something. Just never interested you or just by coincidence? You know yeah. That? I've seen like um, clips only. I've never mm. seen a full episode. All I right. didn't know just how big of a sort of beef there was between you know Family Guy, like Seth MacFarlane and the like South Park creators. Like they yeah, they hate each, each other. other. And I didn't know that. And there was like a whole thing with like The Simpsons and... South Park and then with McFarlane and... and Wait, does Groaning and, um, do they not get along with the Simpsons no, as, I, and the South Park as well? I think the South Park guys were like, we respect the Simpsons a lot, like the writing and all that, but they don't respect they, they think the family guy is kind of like lazy writing, like, just sort of like then just straight up fold out. The whole Ooh. It's crazy. I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. I mean, it, it is sort of like repetitive, it's a lot of the joke style and stuff. Alright, let me see what we missed a couple of things here. Ready? Mm. Um, you had a French Coke Zero yet? No. I didn't know they had Coke Zero. This is amusing to watch men eat egg and soldiers like it's a delicacy. <laughs> uh, well, okay. I don't think it's so much that we think it's a delicacy. It's just that we don't know how to eat mm-hmm. it fast. Yep. My people are getting bits of the shell, and I'm like, that's why I'm being so delicate, because I don't want to eat a big chunk of I shell. don't really mind. <laughs> In my country, we got those for like 35 cents, and we swallowed them as uh, from a small hole. What? Yeah, these like egg and soldiers. It's pretty good. They you swallow it from a small hole. I think you just like yeah. Suck it down. Yeah. It's always nice to enjoy a novelty from time to time. Shell has a good roughage. I mean, it's it's really delicious. The I chickens just, will eat their the shells. They they will. Like, yeah. For nutrients or yeah, for, it has like calcium and stuff, so it's like good to sort of feed it back to them sometimes. Or you, you can give them calcium in other ways. Why does your dog eat chicken shit? I don't know. So gross. But I accept the trade-off because she protects them from hawk attacks. So. But it is very strange. It's really gross. And it's probably not good for her. But I can't stop. Like, it's she loves it more than anything. It's so awful. It's gross. Really? Yeah. I can't, like, distract her from it. I'll be like, Island, stop. And she'll just... She just sees red. She wants to chicken shit. <laughs> That's so awful. That's really bad. That's so bad. And She's a good dog. And, and Han eats violet shit, too. It's just okay, a gross that's just of life. awful. Yeah. It's bad. It's just a bad whole circle of human. human not even not human. human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't get involved in that. Pete, who wins in an arm wrestling between you two? Well, I feel like Jeff would use his height leverage to, like, pull down harder. Yeah. But I'm definitely stronger. Yeah. I love you, Pete. Please wish me luck on my camping trip tomorrow. All right. As an outdoorsman myself. Actually, that's not true. You're more of an outdoorsman than I am. But we both grew up hunting and fishing. And that's an outdoorsman. I think you're not only going to have a great experience tomorrow, you're going to have the best experience tomorrow. So go out there, make some egg and soldiers, have some fun with you and your mates, and enjoy. Or if you're alone, that's fine. Have fun camping. It's starting to rain on my face. Uh, yeah. Alright, here's what's going to happen. We need to leave soon. So I need to I need to finish eating this stuff. Yeah, bread and jam. All right, it's time to eat. There's not enough space here for um, everything, you know. Mm. I'm not familiar with this style of. I think I waited too long on my egg and soldier. Yeah. And you're just talking too much, and then everything started piling up. No, no. <laughs> But I think it stopped being runny because of me. Uh, right, we're right by the train station. Literally right there. So we can go straight from here over to Chante de Day. Whoa, oh, there's a bee on it. Oh, almost knocked that over. I don't like Ouch. Meat. The real fun last night was uh oh, he's eating my, yeah. my jam. No damn, he's found me Definitely up. a bee on our food. He wants the egg. Oh, he went for that camera. He's just circling. Do you know what I mean? Nope, he left. There he went. All right, we're good. We're good. Um, it is orange juice. It was, and then we devoured it. How's this thing? Oh wow, this butter soft. How's the jam and butter? <laughs> it's very good. I'll be honest. I was looking forward to this part more than the uh, eggs and soldier. 
I think I'm just because you played that Earthbound song earlier. That it's now in your head. I'm, well, and I'm thinking like the B came by. And oh the, yeah, it's another Earthbound yeah. reference. Did you watch any of the the cyclothon for charity? Me, I watched uh, one of at least one of the days. Um, I think it was earlier on, but I had that multi Twitch setup going. It was really cool, so I could see like the guys on the bikes, and then I saw you guys in the van. So it was a nice little picture in picture thing going on. Well, I never got to see Connor and Chris, right? Because mm. I'm just. Mm. How much work were they doing? I mean, they were getting out of it. Really? Yeah, and it was like, I would have been really nervous to be biking, at least on the part that I saw. They were really close to the cars, like, flying by. Yeah. Because it was just, like, one little bike lane that was gone. It wasn't even a lane. It yeah. was just a, uh, a shoulder. Yeah. And uh, they were just, just rip it and rip it. Yeah. Because I ride, I'm an electric bike that I ride a lot. Uh, I love doing that, but... They were going about as fast as I go on my electric bike, just Whoa. on their normal bikes. So, and for a long distance too. Yeah, it was cool though. I mean, like they raised a bunch of money. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of fun. I was surprised that Chris was setting the pace on the second, uh, third day that I was there. He he cycles a lot. Mm -hmm. No. The bike ride was good, but. Van Cam was the best. Yeah. I like that comment. <laughs> Iron Mouch was watching Connor's POV on her stream some days. Really streamception-y. That's crazy. And then I guess for the people who mainly watch Connor's stream, randomly a loud American and two Brits would just pop in and start shouting. Yep. I mean, that's not too bad. Are you going to upload the VODs of your POV? I am. And then someday, we'll try to cut out a lot of the uh, downtime where it broke and get you guys like a, a streamlined version. However, there are some really good edits and cuts of the Pete experience on on, um, on YouTube now. And you can find those in the Discord from a, a really awesome user who put them all together. Van Gang forever. I didn't even watch the biking. Van Gang all the way. Well, I mean, we had the luxury of being able to chit-chat and shoot the shit. I like the moments when, when you would yell out the window, because when you had the two streams going, it was just slightly off. So you'd hear you in, in your stream, and then like a second later, you'd hear like muffled, like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. It was fun. And then I had to work, because you always stream when it's like 6 a.m. my time. So. Mm. Not tonight. Like going into a meeting. Yeah, tonight, whatever. Long, long for the ride. Mm. Man, it's cool. Oh. Alright, it's time to go. Connor was the mainstream, yeah. Hey, that's so cool that you're in France. I'm currently an exchange student for a year here. Whereabouts are you studying? Are you in Paris? Or somewhere else? Did you already pay or do you need some yeah, euros? I got it. Oh. I mean, you still, you still pay. No, that's cool. Thanks for the breakfast. I appreciate that. It's very kind. Hopefully, hopefully my partner can Or I have to pay for everything. <laughs> yeah. I would enjoy it a lot more if on stream it's your just car like, just yeah. keeps getting the car. your limit, sir. <laughs> She's gonna uh, take it back inside, see if it works. It's doing like a loading voilà. thing because we're just stuck on that. That's, that's what I like to believe. Mm -hmm. Or she just took your card. She just didn't want to embarrass me in front of everybody. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. All right. This was our light breakfast. Yep. It was supposed to be. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's solid. It's like simple, but really good. Mm. Here. Mm. All right. Time to go, my friends. Oh, how do you say this is delicious? 
Trey B.M.? Yeah, mm, you could say the delicious. Huh? Delicious. Oh, delicious. But, yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't know that there's something that's like, what do like, you say at the end of the meal? Oh, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. There's none of that. I don't but, I mean, it, but if you're eating, if you're eating like this, this thing, and you're eating, you go like in Japanese, you go like, ah, oh, umai, mm. oishi, yeah, uma. Or in America, we go like, mm. Mm. yeah, it was really good. I think you just do that but with a French accent, probably. Mm. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I think it's that. I don't think that's right. <laughs> All right, it's time to go, boys. The table is broken to the the sheer power of you guys. All right, we're still feeling. All right, let's get out of here. I feel like mission accomplished. You're gonna have to buy a ticket now. Oh, great. Uh, all right, hold on a second. Let's get caught up with everybody. It's freezing. Yeah. Oh, I should have brought my jacket. And you were like, oh, I mine. Yeah, yeah, you didn't grab mine for me. Thanks. I had a sweater I could have brought for you. Sweatshirt. Okay, it's very loud. Let's turn that. Up. I don't know when I swung my back around. Well, let's see if it comes. Wait, out. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> I'm sorry? Your wallet is almost Oh, full. thank you so oh, much. Your uh, wallet, uh, yeah, this was almost uh, Oh, really? Full. Thank you so thank much, you. man. I'm a traveler. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you. Oh, my God. All right, let's be more careful from yeah. now on. All right, he was telling me my wallet was nearly out of my pocket. All right, not yet. Jesus, Pete. Front pocket or something it's not like that. Do not leave your okay. We're moving. We're moving the wallet to the front. Anti scammer advice. I live in Japan. Yeah. Where I dropped my stuff when I'm running after the boys. Yeah, see, yeah, that sort of Japanese culture about you know helpful. Unless it was part of a scam, and my wallet's now gone. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> do you still have your? Okay. Here's the thing. Thank you guys. Uh, this uh, that is a good looking croissant. Thank you, Jeppe. Here's the deal. We're gonna go into the subway, and I'm gonna turn off the TTS, and we're going to go to the Arc de Triomphe. This is Bastille, right? Very nice. And look, Jeff and I are still 100% figuring this out. Yep. This this thing. We're not very good at it. No. We're kind of just like uh, Joplin. Yeah. Yeah. How's that? What's that? How's, how's that? I don't know. So we're gonna figure it out as we go, but I do appreciate everyone being here. Now we might drop, but wallet and undies, if you get pickpocket, at least you have some fun. Good point. You're right near where I studied abroad, literally right down the street. Oh, cool. That's sick. Yeah. Where did you study? It wasn't too far from here. Well, the, the actual, I lived pretty close to here, but my, where I studied was kind of across the city to the west. Closer to Arc de Triomphe where we're going. So. All right, so let's, uh, here's the fun part. You guys ready? Enjoy this cam. Three, two. All right. Pete feet. Yep. Pete, Pete. That's what you get. All and right. luckily, I can do like some Ministry of Silly Walk stuff, and you can enjoy that. Probably not on the metro. Probably not. That's a good idea. All right. So I'm pointing you guys down because we're going on the metro. Also, we might be completely disconnected. So be careful. It might be just you talking on the metro. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, Pete, your positivity and energy always brightens my day. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. If you guys could see what I could see now, you would be stunned. Johnny Moles in the chat. He was saying, good luck, boys. He is the real MVP. I lived near the opera and took the eight line on the metro to get to class. Oh, cool. I took the four, I took the four and the one last night. Yep. There's oh, there's three. Ticket. Right here? Anyway. Here? Yep. Good idea. I'll show you guys this whole... You go. You it out. Bonjour! I don't have a Navigo Pass. No, but I think you can... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, boy. Can I get a one-day everything? Yeah, do that. Do that. Uh, Paris, visit. Do three. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, hold Three. Yeah, do three. Validate? Validateur? Ah, uh, okay. Do the three. Yep. 8,000 euro? It's a lot. Let's go back to the zones. Just do zones one and two. We're learning together, everybody. Because mine was way cheaper than that. 
Wait, mine was one, two, three, right? For five days, and it was 38 euros. Well, I just doxed myself. <laughs> Here's what's going to happen. <clears throat> We're going to let Jeff do everything. Okay. Watch. And then we'll see if it works. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's weekend or something. I don't have to go. You may not be leaving zone one. I think for in general, though, we're going to a lot of different places in Paris, they're, maybe. They're right. It is like, you might be able to just do it. Let's just try to. One and. One and Monsieur? Two. Monsieur? Oh, you have to do one or three. Yeah, okay. Okay. Maybe I am a child. So I did a five day. What? Zone oh, one. Oh, oh, it's a quantity. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Was that in English? It's all in English. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. The euro, that was it. <laughs> How many do you want? Okay. That's. Where's my wallet? Oh, yeah, tonight. <laughs> that's bad. <clears throat> this, this scam worked. Wait a minute. What? Don't look at my. I don't want the chat to see all my. I do. You can see it. Just 20 and a 20. <laughs> Boom. I got my blue. Can you hold that? Yeah. Sorry. So wait, this one tiny ticket is an infinite pass? Yep. Why don't they give you a card, like in uh, Japan or something? You can get one, but just be a little bit more passive. And when we get to the Arc de Triumph, do they have a lot of shopping stuff? Yeah, I mean, that, that area is like very... It's more like better, like, fancy, sort of commercial district. So I can find maybe a, a phone provider. Yeah. I would also have one of the places. What we're doing now is like we're going to be most guarded about your. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah, for sure. The Arc de Triumph? I should be protecting myself there? Yeah. Isn't just it? Just because it's a heavily populated area and so there's a lot of people. So, you have that ticket that you just got? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so just you'll. Wait, wait, wait I'm going to say hello to everybody. Oh, okay. Okay, it's time to go. Bye bye. I'm learning a lot today, everybody. Uh, so, how much in would this be? Well, I got absolutely brutalized by the conver uh, conversion rate. Yeah. So I brought I brought uh, around. $2,400 $2, in yen. So let's just say 100 yen is basically a dollar if the world was perfect. Like with a Coke price in America would be like a dollar fifty, and a Coke price in Japan would be 150 yen. But that's not how money works. Right. So, so the you, that was just what you just bought was what 30 bucks, 20 bucks. It was 26 euros. Okay. So which would be about 43 dollars or 40 bucks. Yeah. yeah. So I lost the equivalent of 70, I did lose 70,000 well, 70, yen transferring over to euros. Yeah. You said it's 40 bucks, but it's nice that for me it's about 26 bucks. Oh, so it's a little cheaper. In terms of dollars, it's just the same, it's almost the same now. But in terms of, yeah. It was absolutely that brutal. That was a lot. Did I already use my ticket? No. You and make sure you hold on to that. I know. So yeah, it was it was it was backbreaking. We'll go to the Bad Day Falls. Yeah. So the the main thing that was tough was like let's say I wanted to I wanted to buy some sneakers and my Japan doesn't have my size. But when they do They'll definitely find some on this street. Really. Sure. Oh. I feel like I just broke into the Louvre there. Uh, but the here, I'll show you guys this platform. It's nothing to... When we're on the train, I'll turn it down. The... So, a pair of sneakers in Japan is like 7,000... 8,000 yen. Yeah. So, like 80 bucks. But in the euros, I imagine they're like 60 to 100 euros. So you're paying like almost double. Yeah. On yen. That's gonna suck. But that's okay. Bonjour. How are you guys doing? You guys are rocking the Paris dress code, by the way. Are we? Are we? Do we look... Okay. All right. Yeah, I wore my nicest stuff. Uh, there we go. 
this is one of the ones that are automated. There's no, there's no uh, conductor on this one. Oh. Really? I love the little, jo the little jingle that plays when a train is approaching. Me too. All right, I'm going. I'm putting you guys straight down at my feet. Ready? Bye-bye. Bon au revoir. How many, how many stops is it? Uh, so we're going to... We're going to the yep. Champ Salice Fenzal. Yep. Grand Palace. Yep. Really? It's a good way to just keep driving all day. But then you're, hey, my wallet's halfway hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to have to make some changes. <laughs> this is my key fob. Yeah. Oh, that's fancy. It's a Paul Smith. I've heard of that. I don't know what that is. I thought, so I got this when I graduated after five, I didn't graduate after teaching for five years. At, is that a gift? Yeah, the teachers bought it for me. Oh, that's cool. cool. And I, I thought they got my name wrong. And I was like, <laughs> I'm Peter Macy. Did really say Yeah. <laughs> I was like, did you guys get the wrong name engraved? And they're like, no, it's a famous oh, no. manufacturer. Yeah, it's a nice brand. I, I think that the stream is just getting your stumbling on it. It's like a, it'll be, it's a preview for tonight. It's probably all vomiting. <laughs> it's a, it's a preview for tonight's yeah. drinking <laughs> stream, so. This will be, oh, okay, you can They said it's way too, way too loud. <laughs> Signal is somehow good. Sometimes I have to give them head pats. Yeah. They're good kids. That's a little mustache. I don't like that at all. Yeah, Johnny Mole put that on there. I do like it more now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. The seats do like... I'm going to take this one. Yeah. This is cool.
pretty sure they don't allow. Uh, even the Louvre station is very nice. No, there it is, the Louvre. Goodbye. Really cool. Dude. I'm surprised they're not damaged for like. I don't remember that being here last time either. Unless I just went like a couple of black houses, but I was here. Maybe, did you ever go to the Louvre? Did you visit it? Yeah, I went to the station a lot. So really? I remember that. Wait, so you were on this in college? No, not that often. I didn't. This wasn't the main one that I was So sometimes with your friends, is that open? Yeah. Sometimes would your friends be like, let's just go to, uh, like, I don't know, let me take a look. Couch. they like, let's go to, we're meeting for drinks at Port Balao. Uh, you know, oh, really? I mean, just if, like, somebody just stops on it, it's like, it is the main line, I guess. And it just goes to east west. And so the stop at the park is I spoke French even a little bit. I did. <laughs> oh. They want me to do this. Just you. <laughs> there you go. That's not what I want. That's not what Jeff wants. <laughs> no, I don't care. I like sitting, though. Yep. There's nothing that I can really share. And I think this is kind of... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sitting back down. This is way too bumpy. I'm an idiot. Ouch. That's not what we're doing. That's not what Jeff's here for. Big deal. <clears throat> it's okay, Jeff's fluent. It's always rocking the Christian rock leader singer drip easy. Oh, come on. Do I have that style? What? They say that I'm always rocking the Christian rock lead singer drip. This yeah, is yeah, I can see that. Really? Yeah. You got that vibe. Well, put your faith in the channel. <laughs> That's ridiculous. My mom got me this bracelet because, uh... Yeah, that's very... I mean, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's cool, but, like, I would never wear it. Yeah. But she got, she got it for me. Um, I seen Pro Proto in her streams talk about visiting Paris and the French not understanding her Canadian French at all. Is that a big thing? Canadian French and... I, no, I think we understand each other. It's just it is a very strong accent. And there are, like, certain words that they use. It. I mean, similar to British English. I have to head up to work. If you have the chance, climb the art. You can climb it. I get the view to Torre Eiffel. That's what we're doing. Why do they call it Franklin Do Those Stuff? And 
it has like a, a little magnet that keeps it together. It also stinks horribly. Oh, I'm not gonna. Yeah. yeah. So this is the first stop that's at the beginning of the Champs Elysees, the main stretch. Um, so somebody was curious, how long have you lived in France? You don't live in France, you live no. in America. Yeah. But Jeff is a big brain. He went to Harvard when he was in college, and part of his Harvard experience was he spent about five months in uh, France as an exchange student on your second year. Uh, my third year. Third year. Yeah, I was for my whole last year, junior year, I was in Paris. So I lived with a, a host who we're actually going to visit later in this trip. Uh, I haven't seen him for the first time since 2006. Since we Philippe, he's 70s? I mean, I'm not sure. He's going to see this later. He's going to be 150, and I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I lived uh, with him, and he spoke almost no English. And so I figured out, I'll make it a lot more fluent than French. He never taught you egg, egg and soldiers? No, he did not. I mean, it's, it's hard to explain, you know, without experiencing it, but being here, we talked about it without having, like, smartphones and things. So it was all, like, very much having to discover things. Like, when I drove for the first time to navigate it, you could just plug in, here's where my destination is, and we just spit out, okay, take this line, this line, this line, just with the map, and yeah. plan stuff out. Or someone would text me, just on our regular phone, and say, meet me at this restaurant. You had to just be like, okay, what's the metro stop? And then, like, yeah, it was it was funny when I started teaching English. I had to push back and be like, why are we teaching kids directions? Like, it's so rare these days. We are like, excuse me, how do I find this place? It's useful, but like, there are other things you could learn because now they're just like, do 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 yeah. go. Yeah. Which is, I mean, it's a good point. It's also just to me, uh, not want to say sad, but it's like. It's like a, uh, you miss out on a lot when you're just sort of. I think it's similar to the mini maps in games. Like, oh, yeah, like, certainly. But you're just. You know, the mini map is fun. Not even poorly, but the mini map is there. It's useful. You find yourself watching the mini map more than you're watching. Especially like on like a GTA or something where it has like your the yellow line to like reach the destination. I was playing World of Warcraft, which is not popular at all on this to these guys. To these guys. Yeah. It's a, it's a boomer loser game, which is brutal. Yeah. Because it's true. Yeah. It's a double god. And then they're like, well, let's play our boring shit Apex Legends. And I'm like, what about World of Warcraft? Double whammy. But, um, Boomer Loser, the the cool thing was... Is this us? Oh, just uh, standing in anticipation. Um, the cool Actually, thing... Listen. We're just going to get off of George V. So the, the cool thing was, in World of Warcraft Classic, which they re-released the game that was untouched from those old days, right? You cannot... It doesn't have any quest markers or locations or pings... You have to actually read the, the thing, and it'll be like, you know, east of the garrison, the Summervale logging camp, there was two guards, and you have to, like, read the actual stuff to go and figure it out. You just have to, like, log it, too, and like, I mean, remember you, where to go? Yeah, so you open up your map, and you're like, all right, well, there's East Vale. And uh, since also in World of Warcraft, all of the map is hidden until you oh, uncover the area. So when you first get a quest, it will usually take you to, like, a... a tower or something or a small hamlet but they'll say like they'll be like to reach that you have to go west on the road from the McCracken farm <laughs> and you're like oh, okay I got that place if you have like can you have a lot of quests open at once too well I mean you can have 20 quests in your log but but it's not tracking them all for it's you not tracking like, anything oh, or like, you have to, like and, do it yourself. and in modern wow you'll have like a uh It'll say, like, kill eight coyotes for their pelts. Yeah. And all the coyotes will, like, be visible on the map with, like, their names. So you're like, oh, I have to kill those. Not the old games. Oh, vanilla. Wow. Yeah. All right. So this is, those uh, stairs really took it out of me. They really did. You're struggling. Oh. So this is, uh, all for these eight. Okay. Let's oh. have a quick burger. Here it is, my friends. The Champs de Lise. How, what do you say? Close enough. Champs de Lise. 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 No, it's not a digital D. Sean? Sean's like the S ah, you can Sean's Yeah. And then here's the McDonald's. It's really, really fancy. That's the, that's that's the, the one. famous one? That's the one. We gotta go take a look. One of the biggest ones. Alright, hold on a minute. Look at this, guys. Yeah, just go to the street, Pete. 
but you can see the arctic snow but you kind of what is this that's the that's it down there huh let's go <laughs> that's so sick wow. it's a nice day yeah. Oh, yeah, you see the people up on top? wow you're right yeah. you could like do a crosswalk and stop and take a picture oh yeah let's go let's th we're tourists yep. that's so cool though that if you're driving to work there's a huge roundabout that we'll see when we go up there. It's very terrifying. All right, everyone, get your smiles ready because it's Fuzzy Pickles time. Oh, here we go. Okay, here. What? Sorry, sorry. Let me see. Did he tell me to? No, I'm a tourist. Ah, there's a lorry. That's not what I wanted. That'll do. We got it. Nice. That's crazy too. Shit. All right. That was that was fun. Let's see what you guys had to say. I almost died. I don't think they saw him coming, but I did. Uh, Arc to Triumph Premier Zoom, baby. Look at them. It's like little outdoor. You have a like a little garden. Yep. Even McDonald's has embraced it, yep. where it's like you have to. So okay, this McCafe is special yeah. because we'll check it out later. Right, but I'm totally full. Yeah. But it has well, we're here now. What's this? Is this how you order? Yeah, I've been this food. And look at the uh, the cafe. This is the the special where you can get at McDonald's. They have a bunch of French only items like the McPancakes with chocolate. The uh, the big seller, the muffin optois. What is that? Oh yeah. And then they have special McDonald's macarons. Yep. Look at that. You can get cheesecake. I know, isn't that look good? That looks excellent. It really does. Do you have any of that? Can you see the mini apple pies? No. We have mini apple pies too? So where does home here? Obviously it's yeah. Well, he lives in Texas, but I've been living in Japan for ten years, so Home is uh, where the heart is, I yeah. guess. But I'm from Missouri. From Missouri. Yep. How about you guys? We're from BC, Canada. Oh, That's nice. so cool. Yeah. Are you enjoying your trip? Very much so, so far, yes. Yeah. Only okay. because it's what, Tuesday, I guess we got here? Yeah. yeah. We've been here one day. Yeah. One day. But we had to go to McDonald's to see these <laughs> snacks. You know what? This stuff is terrible, but we came to see it. They had good old North American coffee. Yeah. Hey! Nothing yeah. wrong with I that. Have, I I that. Yep, yep. Sometimes that little taste of familiarity. That we need a it. Tim Hortons. We need a. Yeah. Yes, that's right. A Tim Hortons. <laughs> Everything is espresso. We really, like their strong coffee. Yeah. 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 Just, but yeah that's not for me. And the quantity is too small too. I also I need like a, a big cup of coffee. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I just don't understand. The they have the machine and you can choose what you want. So, oh, good. Okay. okay. Well, the coffee's out of the course. I'll have hot chocolate. Well, then you get the. <laughs> <laughs> Even that is pretty strong. Yeah, yeah I understand. <laughs> well, I hope that you. I see. Uh, I hope that you guys have a wonderful trip, yeah. and you can find your coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so take care. No you problem. Too. You too. See you. Well, that's amazing. I'm glad we stopped by. I mean, it's crazy. It's very clean. It's very, uh, very nice. Way nice to have a They were very kind. Yeah. Guys, come on. That was. They they made fun of me for saying "sumi You said um, that. I did because I'm an idiot. I, because I got nervous. Uh, that was so cool. Yeah, they were very I, I, I sympathize though because I really just want a cup of coffee. So they have what they call like American coffee because to them it's like really weak, so it's like strained, it's like really just sort of like gross to them. So yeah. They call it uh, sock juice. Sock juice? Yeah, juice is Oh yeah, you gotta be on my left oh. always. That way they can hear you and uh, you're in the frame. I mean, you can probably find uh, a place on this road that would have like a big coffee. Yeah, I guess Starbucks, it. sadly, is like... That's true. You know, it's the same thing that they said about McDonald's is that you go to Starbucks or something because you get a, a familiarity yep. of, of like, you know it's going to be like this. Yep. So there's no scary shit. This is awesome. Yeah. 
This is incredible. So this is where you'll see a lot of like Mont Blanc nice watches and things like that. And you'll see like fancy, I'm sure there's like a Louis Vuitton, you know, drop on this thing. Cartier? Yeah. Oh, close. What? How do they pick and choose which syllables to not use? They don't, there are rules. Oh. <laughs> there's definitely rules? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pete, friends to the left. Yep. Pete stays on the right. That's, I met an older no. couple from Canada just now, and they were they were enjoying a nice vacation in Paris. And like us, they could not miss the allure of checking out a McDonald's. Oh, I thought you were going to say a premiere too. They were just no, they too. were. No, think that my smell moved them back. <laughs> and the poor woman who was trying to get some macaron, she was like, ah -ahem. yep. She gave us a very polite cough to yeah, get the hell out of the way. True. Look at that. You got like double decker buses. Yep, that could be us. What do you do on them? Just sit. Do you guys want to take a bus ride? We could do a, uh, they're called Bateau Mouche. Then they're a river uh, cruise. Oh, tour. see now, and that's what we're talking yeah. about. And we get a discount with the hotel that we're at. Oh, baby. Yeah. No way. Yep. He was quick to tell me that. So this is the big, the traffic's not bad right now, but you can see the craziness of this roundabout where everyone from all directions come into here and it's just like, chaos there's no lanes there's no lanes no, it's all just like it's draw. just psycho time all right hold on you got to get a picture okay like these people who are in the middle driving around that center circle like they're never getting out all right here jeff get in for a picture right. he's tall so we have to do like this thing because he's look at that premiere photo all right one for me yep. all right you guys ready don't forget to smile. Okay. Ah, God, mate. Ah. Okay. One, two, three. All right. Today, is it good? I got a few just to see. That's awesome. Oh, it's in the two of the unknown soldiers over there too. Go see that. Here, and I'll get I'll get one selfie with me and you in the chat. Oh yeah. Okay. Although we could just ask one of the hundreds of people. Yeah, but selfie. Okay. God damn it. All right, ready? Three, two. <laughs> there we go. All right. Mission accomplished. We did it. We did it. Time to go home? Yep. Back to McDonald's. No, okay, so. You want to go see the thing? I want to uh, see what everybody thought really quick. That was nice of you. He dropped his ticket. I'm trying to bring a little Japan. Monsieur. Oh, we gotta go down. Yep. Now kiss. Now <laughs> stop it. We're we quest complete. Twenty five. The arc is so cool. Yeah, let's, you wanna, yeah, let's go it? take a look. Oh dear. Oh dear. Gorgeous. Dude, that's beautiful. Isn't that cool? When was that built? Uh, I have no idea. Like in a hundred years ago. Yeah, I don't but it's it immense. One, because I think I'm, I'm almost positive it was here already in World War II. Because I think that I means sad moment in history, obviously, when the in, oh the, the tanks, the, yeah, the, the Nazi Germany invaded, right? And, I'm and they sure this, the ark was already there. Wow. If I like, still after you were born, Pete. Yes, I know, I know. I'm quite ancient. So we get a discount on the boat ride? <laughs> That's what you're still thinking about. <laughs> yeah, we do. I can't believe that. I think it's like we get a, it's like 10 bucks instead of 15 or something. Oh. Like that. oh. This is where you get up there. We don't have to do that. We just go to the bench. We can just stand up. Oh, that was cute. They, they gave a kiss. Oh, we dropped. That's all right, though. Yeah. We'll be back. Just in the tunnel? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, wait. Constructed from 1806 to 1836. Oh, wow. Took 30 years. Wow. So it was a triumph on a, a much, much earlier war. Jeez. What are these names supposed to signify? Are these the, like the unknown major. soldiers or no? No, I think like major. You know, military. Oh, so it's 
So that's all. I didn't realize that. Was too close. Can we go? Let's try to go around. You're breaking up, Colonel Austin. Yeah. Well, no, you. I meant just you know. Can't it's, believe you're uh, streaming your holiday. Well, here's the thing, right? Jeff and I talked about it. This is a huge yeah. tax write-off. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh it. my God, yeah. that's insane. Look at this. It's way bigger than I anticipated. The amount of time it would take to, look how giant his hands are. Yeah, that's what you're looking at. <laughs> wow. That's uh, awesome. That is so cool. This is a one SIM card IRL stream right now. We oh, are. Up. No, no, I'm just. Uh, I was reading a comment. So this is that's called La Defense, which is another. That's like a sort of financial and business district. Why well, you can tell? Where there's actual skyscrapers, but it's outside the city because they can't build something like that in the. No way. City. Yeah. So you have to like. So wait, who are the scumbags who tried to build like their own little Ark to Triumph? Yeah, they got they got taken to the Bastille. But look, they, yeah, yeah, no kidding. Look at that. Yeah. They got straight to the Bastille, huh? And look at this one up here. You see, like, the there's, like, some green on top of, like, the top oh, yeah. floor. That's probably a little rooftop, like, bar or something. Maybe. It could be. No. Maybe not. Wow, the scale of this is just incredible. Well, we can walk out into there, at least. Hold on a minute. Just, just insane. Here you go. Talk to, uh, talk to everybody. Oh, let's see. What do we got? F, I see F a lot. No, 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 don't read uh, that one. Here, scoot back a little bit. No, no, not, not in, <laughs> back. Uh, let's see. They're asking to activate TTS again. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, let me uh, let me do hey, that. what's up, Gavin? I don't know if Gavin can hear me from here. He can. Run it for Jeff, they say. What do you mean, run it for Jeff? I don't know, run it. All right, I forgot about that. Hold on a minute. Sorry, guys. Sage Burt says this is as far as he went Paris wise. Me or him? No, he, his feet hurt when he got here, so I think that was the end of it. I feel him. good. I still yeah. feel I still solid. And he took photos of his blistered feet. Sounds good. Uh, we <laughs> don't need that, good. Sage. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm taking that back. You don't need to read every comment. Oh, I didn't understand he, how that th works. There, there are limits to what you need to <laughs> publicly express. Well, when we go up to the tomb, the unknown soldier, I think you should probably be quiet. Yes, I'm not an idiot. Well, I mean, don't play the earthbound thing. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and have someone be like, Pete, you're curbs. <laughs> I'm not going to curbs, yeah. curbs. <laughs> Pete, try a panoramic shot on your phone. Start at the bottom and go, a panoramic from the bottom? Here you go. Wait. Oh, just like that. How's my date with Jeff? It's been super romantic. It's wonderful. It's better than anything. What is it? What do you think it is? I don't want to say it for you. Yeah, well, give them a guess. What would you say? Mine? Yeah, yours. Easy. Baseball. Yeah. So his is going to be the Royals. Um, I don't think they can hear me. If no, I ran away. I didn't care about your shit. Well, I was answering the question. <laughs> and, I was like, and mine. So pizza, the Royals, mine is, and they just sprint away. <laughs> That's great. Uh, mine is either the Royals or the Los Angeles Football Club. No way. <laughs> that is so stupid. That's <laughs> true. Don't say that no, shit. True. That is bad. True. And you're wearing an Austin FC I know, jacket. I know. Yeah, some super <laughs> fan you are. <laughs> Don't ruin this moment. Don't ruin the moment. Okay. <laughs> Here, let's try one of these bad boys. Uh, okay, ready? What are you doing? Oh. I think the panoramics with the cars always are not good. Yeah, they're all gonna be like blurry. Maybe though, let's see this new iPhone. Say baseball over basketball? Yeah, I love basketball, I do. But, baseball is my favorite game to go to. I suck at panoramic, God, they say that the scale of the Arc de Triomphe really comes through in the video. I don't know if it's sarcastic or not. But no, I think it should, right? The Earthbound music, I think, is a huge addition. Yeah, yeah that's probably true. They said, uh, well, someone's asking about hockey, too. I love hockey. We're Calgary Flames men. Yeah. But we're a little bit disappointed they got rid of our two favorite players. Yeah. 
but they ended up making a pretty good deal out of it in, in spite of losing Goudreau for not much. I think the Kachuk deal was pretty good. No one's going to know about any of that stuff, so... Yeah, Goudreau, look at that. That's the highlight yeah, of the stream right cool. there. Just me and you guys as the storms approach. <laughs> look at that, though. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a good shot. This is easy. I don't even have to do anything when you're... Get out of my face, Pete. God, no! All right, guys, there it is. Nice. This is the arc. Now, I just want like one minute of no camera stuff where I can just... Take it in? Yeah. Wow. How did they sculpt that stuff way up there? I mean, I get it, but like... Yeah. Even at the very top, you can see just an entire, like, collection of... So much detail in just, like, every part of it. Man, like, this that's... is when humans were cool. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, even just the scene, that little banner that kind of goes across the whole thing, and how much time that would have taken. There's so much intricacy in, like, every little detail in it. And the tanks went through the middle? Well, I don't know. Or around it, like, I mean, in the circle? around the road. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. Wow. Absolutely awesome. And even just like underneath those little flower things, and like. It's really nice at night. Lit up. Now we just make and watch Twitch streams. No. <laughs> now this is the arc de triumph of streaming, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> Walk through the middle. All right, if we do that, I gotta turn off this music. All right. I mean, to be fair, I can't really hear it, but yeah, you should probably. No, no, no. I don't want to have it on there. Yeah. Let's go take a look. Man, I'm so glad. So, oh, so the thing was, this... the things on the ground too, with like the names of the. So this is the tomb of the unknown soldier. Up, uh, yeah, where the fire is. And it's never extinguished, right? All right, so guys. Like you say things like dedicated to the fighters in this uh, this battle. Yeah. So like. Or what it Owen you is, but oh, Korean War. Really? Yeah. Okay. And then uh... did somebody scrawl their own name there? I mean, I think that's the name of the like sculptor. Ah. Uh, because like uh, there's like World War II. This one? Or it's like combat oh, yeah. from the resistance. That, so they may have died in France, in Paris, yeah. even. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Not even that long ago. And that one, the uh, high school students and the students of France who uh, fought like the in Nazis defiance of the Nazi occupation um, on that day. And to high school students? To the uh, lost their lives, or I guess in. Where does it say high school students? These sales. The uh, top uh, right. Oh, really? Uh, and then it's a young is just like students of France. So That's I think it's like crazy. High students and maybe younger. That's. And then, uh, Indochina, like Vietnam. Oh. What about this one? This must be a huge. You gotta go on the other side. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a lot of text to translate. Well, I mean, uh, just the idea behind it is yeah. a message of some oh, sort. Oh, it's De Gaulle's uh, speech to Radio London. Oh, wow. On June 18th, 1940. And like, because France is not alone, she's not alone, she's not alone. That and, uh, would be... She can, like France, or like England, use uh, w uh, without limits the immense industry of the United States. Us? Yep. It tells you. We are attached you. Yep. All right, let's go take a look at the the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and be as respectful as possible. Let's go around to the front of it. What'd you guys think? Is that is that interesting to you as well? I find it to be endlessly fascinating. Anyone having some trading paper and a crayon? Tracing paper. I mean, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, that's true. 
the high school student plaque was so cool to learn about. Yeah. It's crazy that they had to been like 16, 17. I didn't know about and that. And they're still fighting for... And I didn't know if that meant that they, it said like to the peril of their lives kind of, so I don't know if it meant just that they risked their own lives or how many of them actually died. I yeah. So I'm going to try to look straight up here for a second, all right? Then we're going to look at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. But first, I want you guys to look at this incredible detail as I, as I lean backwards and break my potential back. Are you ready? Oh, there it is. Uh. Yeah. Oh, here, here's a little uh, thing about it. Look at that detail up there. So it says, uh, tribute to the unknown soldier on 11 of November 1920, the body of a, an unknown soldier was buried beneath the vault of the Arc de Triomphe as a symbol of all the soldiers who fell in the course of the First World War. Since November 11, 1923, the flame of, the, of remembrance on the top of the tomb has been rekindled every day at 6.30 p.m. during a memorial ceremony. Wow. So, yeah. So wait, they just took one body as a representative. Yep. An unknown soldier. Sad, but that's a cool memorial. And they put it in the middle of Paris. Yeah. Ah, the flower pattern up there? Yeah. It's supposed to resemble stars. Oh, really? That's what they said. That's cool. Oh. It took 30 years to build that. All right, this time we're not going to do a, 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 a selfie. I'm just going to take a picture of the actual thing. Man, that's crazy. So it says, here lies a French soldier uh, who died for the, for the country. What, what time frame was this? Well, it says 1914-1918, but it, they said that they buried him in 1920 as a rep, like a, to represent all of those who died. I wish I could show like my mom and stuff. Thank you. They have, uh, Excuse me. At the in Normandy, where there's an American uh, cemetery for the soldiers who died in World War II, uh, there are several uh, tombstones that say, "Here lies an, a, sol a soldier known only to God, like whose name is known only to God." Just, That's sad. Very sad. That's it's wait. It's gonna be a sad stream the rest of the day. Yeah, let's shift it back to the amazing architecture. Oh, this is the other side. Did you see the like the view all the way down the Champs Elysees the other way? By the way, it's pretty neat. I would like to drive that. Yep. Well, probably they hate it, but uh, there are no masks anywhere, my man. I'm just being honest. Hey, what's up, Traces Maker? Are you in Paris? I am. I am here visiting my cousin, and uh, sorry, I haven't been able to be as attentive to chat right now. What the fuck? This is us, ready? Three. No zoom out. Ah! Ah! There we go. So, the reason is, uh, this is a huge tax write-off. No, but uh, we thought about not streaming it, but then we thought it's cool to be able to have this unique opportunity. And this, when I when I did the cyclothon, I showed you that picture of the ocean where I was able to like be in front of it. Yeah. And the quality was so good that I felt it would be a waste not to bring the camera and equipment and see like some of this stuff and share it with uh, yeah, the- you'll have it too, right? I mean, as a, as a keepsake, as a memory yeah. for later. Yeah. So we get to check the video back again, or maybe a funny clip or something cool happens. Don't worry about chat, Peter. Enjoy Paris in the company of Jeff. Well, I definitely don't enjoy Jeff's company. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't mind Paris. All right, where are we going next? I would say we go down the Champs Elysees that way, and then over to the Eiffel Tower. All right, on to the Eiffel Tower we go, my friends. So now we're back into chat mode. Ideally, before it starts raining again. Yeah, the rain is maybe coming. So we can get the earthbound walking music going. Oh yeah, let me turn that back on. It's uh, almost 11, so we probably got another hour before it rains, hopefully. It's already 11? So to see that there's a light sign. Oh, okay, light I thought, okay. <laughs> you thought you are walking into it. That was... Uh, hold on a minute. 
following you. Oh, we gotta go down again? Yeah, yeah. will this take us back the other way though? I hope so. Okay, the right. This might uh, cut out at this point. Well, right? we're gonna, yeah. We might, uh, we might um, disconnect, but don't worry. Yeah. Jeff and I will be back. Oh, that's <laughs> ominous. I want to ask you where It's so. not totally uh, intrusive. Yeah. It's kind of just more of like a cool little shoulder mount predator yeah, thing. Like, it's like more intrusive is like at the cafe or something when the server's there. Yeah, I felt bad awesome. about that. And she was like, when I walked in, she she was a little bit like nervous, uh, annoyed. Not by that. Not by that. She was already annoyed when I walked in. I mean, she, like, she could I smell in, me. I, I was like, can we? I worry. You know, two two people. Can we sit? She was just like, yeah, whatever. Ah. That's basically what she said. Help me buy a Ferrari. A Ferrari. <laughs> Why don't you guys help me buy stuff? That guy had an, a great gimmick. Yeah. And you gave him nothing. No, because... With nothing. No. Man has goals. Help me buy a Ferrari. Alright, so the text-to-speech is back. And the things I did miss, thank you Mudstuff for cheering 100 bits. What's up man, uh, hey to go, thank you for subscribing. Ocidian, welcome back for another month. Oh, and Oma okay, time to go. This place is amazing. You know, he's got thousands, he just needs a little bit more for that Ferrari. <laughs> just get him over the hump. Just that final push. Across here. The uh, thing, like, might be able to make it. The, uh, are we running? Oh, no, no, no. Why not? Oh, okay. <laughs> I would have. That would have been it. Thank you for the resub. Um, who was that? Hex Goblin, dude. Welcome back. Easy to forget that people outside of Europe don't see cities like this often. I, I never have seen a city like this. I think Tokyo has its own charms and size and scale and immense, amazing, all kinds of stuff. But the streets here are like. These walking paths are massive. They're way bigger than I expected. I mean, these will be the biggest anywhere. That's tourists. The... But even in Bastille, the, yeah, that's true. the walking, it was just crazy. So, we'll, we'll take this down to George V and then we'll go right. I, I can easily imagine how if somebody was a, a resident or a countryman of this, that you could take pride in a city like Paris. Oh, yeah. That they also never come to this street. <laughs> well, of course not, but, you know. But no, I know what you mean. Like, and they, 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 they clearly take pride in the, you know, the design of their city, the beauty of it. Like, they prioritize that. They prioritize, like, making a livable, walkable, you know, human-based city, which is awesome. I think more places should be like that. Yeah, I agree. I think more and more they are, though. Just I think cool. it's, it's like a returning to that, yeah. yeah. Uh, let me see what you guys got to say. Little shop of horrors. It's Rick Moranis. Yep. It's a cinema. We can go watch the When I Was Young, Just a Bad Little Kid. Not until after that. 
Oh, that's a donation. Put it towards the Ferrari. Put it towards the Ferrari. Can you tell what all of those are? Of course, yeah. that's insane. Yeah. So you can see all four of these. You get Little Shop of Horrors, The Exorcist, which is an awesome reposter of that. Yeah. Uh, who cares about that one? <laughs> and then you've got Who Framed Roger yeah. Rabbit with Christopher Lloyd. Yep. What's it say? That's the translate. It's like he who wants the the skin of or the wow like the, the pelt? pelt, I guess. He I who guess. wants the pelt of maybe, Roger Rabbit. You have you have French people in your chat, so maybe they can help out if that's not right. <laughs> but it's something like that. So why is the matinee amazing? Because I don't think I would expect to see four classics of American cinema, especially those four being featured. I think they're doing it like a Thursday each. Like, uh, every Thursday they have a special matinee of one of those, yeah. And I like, I don't know, I think I'm easily impressed. <laughs> I honestly do. And uh, I've told you, like, one of the reasons, it's a very valid chat comment. Yeah. Why are you so excited about that? Why is a matinee exciting? Why do you um, like Friday the 13th, uh, Pete, on Elm Street? You're finally having various clippers is a good sign of your channel growth. Well, yes, but let's be honest. I think that, let's all, let's all take a step back and acknowledge that I think that the main reason we got clipped so much was we were a part of an amazing gang of people. My feeling of Jeff and I walking the streets and being amazed by matinees. Might not have probably not going to reach those lofty heights. Look, you could get a nice... Uh... Huh. I don't think they would let you into that place. I don't want to go. <laughs> This is fashion? Yeah. Huh. Speaking of films, Pete, you said you didn't know Alain Delon. Maybe Jeff does. Has made some good French films. I don't think Jeff knows a lot about French films. No. I don't know enough culture. Why is there so many ambulances? Oh, it's police. I mean, I don't think there have been that many. So are you... It's nice. It's nice. Uh, I should model yeah. for them. So the question is, are you going to visit the catacombs? Maybe. Are you going to go to other cities in Europe? All right, so the catacombs, um, we don't know. Yeah, I think maybe. the reception might not be very good, but it is raining for like the next three days. Oh, that's a good point. So maybe for Jeff and I. Once it starts raining, we could consider that for today. Yeah, we could check it out maybe and see if it holds. Loop, although I don't know if you can take that. The Lille. And then, and we're going to other cities in Europe as much as I would absolutely love to, and I would. The issue there is that uh, this, I, I mean, Jeff and I are taking time away from work, although technically I'm getting some cheeky, sneaky streams in. And I worked as well. And you worked on the French office of Unity for yeah. a little bit. That's right. Um, so, I can't. But we're going to Nyon's, Nyon? Nyon. Nyon and Lyon. Yep. So uh, this was uh, Dior, by the way. That's what it was. Or, it's renovated, being renovated. Oh. That's a huge Dior store. Yep. And after that, we are going. To, I'm going to be in America, in Los Angeles for a few days on early December, maybe the second week or so. Then I'm going to the UK on December 14th, and uh, I'll be helping out Chris with some of his his shenanigans. And then uh, I'll be leaving sometime around Christmas, hopefully. I don't know the return date yet. So I still got. I've never been to the United Kingdom. So I'm looking forward to that. It's turn right here. You're going to Lyon? You, that's awesome. I used to holiday in that area. It's great. So hopefully we can... Uh, oh, it's a Louis Vuitton. Just yeah, to get in there and look? A line to no way. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Seriously? It's like the like flagship This is the store. flagship store of Louis Vuitton. And there's this many people who are just going to be hanging out? They have a certain number of people who can be in there at any time. Wow. It's like a club. It's like a club, and we're not invited. <laughs> we can try to pay off the, the doorman. Will you ever travel to... Okay, let's... Here's my answer to... Will you ever travel to X, Y, or Z? And I bet Jeff would be the same. Yes, to almost anywhere. Yeah. Is it possible? No, that's a bit harder. Yeah. It's, um... So, like, I don't mind being totally candid. This, this adventure right here could easily cost around four thousand to five thousand dollars maximum of of Japanese yen. 
which is different than Euros. But I would say, you know, the, the plane tickets were not even that bad, but one way was $888 and my return was like $640. Yeah. So that's like $1,400 in that, and then you bring about $1,500 Euros just to say like, what happens, happens. Yeah. I mean, the... So you, the, that first one was like 800 something bucks, and that means in yen it's like oh, over it was, a thousand. Yeah, it's 1300. Yeah. So and then the yeah, but anyway, uh, those kind of these kind of adventures are kind of rare. But I would thank you. Oh, sorry. I would love to. Would love to see you come to Australia one day. Oh, mate. I think you would love it. I will. I am coming to Melbourne because uh, I got to see Ali. Say what's up to her and Fermata. And then Yuki lived for a year in, look at that down there, that's crazy. Yuki lived for a year in Perth, which is on the, the most isolated city in the world. Did you know that? I was telling you, Jeff. <laughs> look at that. Did you know that Perth is the most isolated city on Earth? I didn't. That makes sense, though. Ah, then they... Desert in between that and all the eastern cities. Look at that, though. Yeah. That's so cool. All right, sorry, I got sidetracked. So I feel like that's that's my way of handling. Oh, over here? No, on your side of the. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's go back. Um, not always. Oh, like okay. they can still hear you, but um, the so yeah, it's a financial thing. It's a time thing, but it's not a desire thing. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's also like if you're doing streaming and stuff, it, it also adds that challenge. Like you had to get this like set up for this thing. That's. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Turtle. We had to, uh... Probably quite loud. Yeah, that was probably spamming way too dank. We had to set up SIM cards and... But you know what? It's not... None of it's complaining. And I don't... It's not about spending the money, but... I would love to just have a sponsor come in and say, Hi, we want to send you to Scotland and film Twitch stuff for three days. Would you do that? Yes. There's Anywhere. A, there's a chance that I'll go to um, Copenhagen by the end of the year or maybe early next year. Ooh, I'll join you there. Yeah. Come out. I feel like joining Jeff is great because he planned all the hotels and stuff. And the trains. Am I into classical music? I love classical music. No lie. Uh, Chopin was my favorite pianist and not because of the video game. When do you listen to classical music? What? When do you listen to classical music? You know. Just daily. Just daily. <laughs> On your walks? <laughs> On my walks. Uh, I like... Well, I mean, who doesn't like classical music? All right, now, hold on. Pete is lazy and wants to do zero work. That's true. If you think that me hooking up all these cameras and talking is not work, then you can just... You are right. <laughs> Jeff literally did. And he was... Oh, wow. That's a nice car. That's like your Torno. Jeff, wow, there's a... That guy's dream is, like, right here. Uh, Jeff was, like... What was, what was it... Uh, you, you sent me, like, a thing of, like, six hotels to look at. Yeah. Just couldn't be bothered. No. You, I asked, like, do you want me to book it, or do you want to, like, check them out? You're like, yeah, I send them, but I want to I be involved in it. Like, <laughs> I did okay. say that. Yeah. <laughs> and I sent you six. Just a day passed with nothing. I was, yeah, so he's right. Books, yeah. That was a Pagani. Oh, man, look at this. Why didn't you book this hotel? <laughs> this is the Four Seasons. <laughs> On the, the yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I'm not a car guy, but you gotta admit, that's a nice flex. And that's a Bentley SUV. Eh. Yeah, fine. They put this at the end. Yeah. <laughs> as we walk. So, uh, we are enjoying Paris. It's been awesome. It's starting to get warm. Before the storm. I don't think there's gonna be a storm today. You just optimistic now? Jeff is the Ian of Europe, yes. So, <laughs> that's right. And, uh, I, I, so my thinking was, because this is my very first ever like trip where I'm like having to book hotels and having to do all these things I thought oh I should I should watch how Jeff what's his methods of searching and search and like picking out the place and then I did like zero of that follow up I just said I wanted to do it <laughs> yeah so basically what I'm confirming is next trip is in Copenhagen I basically I really was just trying I tried to find um, just good location hotels and like the one that we have it's nothing like crazy but it's totally nice yeah Fine. has a nice bathtub yeah had a uh, the beds are like right next to each other yeah I heard you talking to yourself this morning saying that you thought the hotel was nice no I did not oh I did yeah I think you just have no inner monologue 
Well, that's why it's great for streaming. <laughs> Oh, we got a text message coming in. Let's see what they have to Bonjour, say. Bonjour, Pete. Arthur here. You know me. Looking <laughs> for a sponsor? And we could sponsor you for a month's silence. <laughs> Please pop into the French NAST branch Arthur 404 Agent Premier. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like that. I'm not a fan. Do you know who the NAST is? No. So there's a user named Napsters. Napsters insults me so brutally and so accurately that he gained the respect of all those in the chat. I and this is like a year ago. He would make fun of anything. My dead tooth, my <laughs> big forehead, the wrinkles and the, ca the cavernous lines on my, whatever. Yeah. He was relentless. So there's a couple of other users who decided to make the NAST. You can also pronounce it nasty. Yep. And uh, it's the Napster's Association of Specialized Trolling. Ooh. And I they, like uh, they, oh yeah, they have agents placed around the world. I, one's in Paris. One's in Paris. Um, they, they also presumed that Paul was one in disguise <laughs> with his aviator glasses. He was an undercover NAST agent. And I like it because, you know, right when you start talking about going to Copenhagen, yep. looking at fine-ass cars, yep. you get reminded that they'd rather pay for a month of silence. <laughs> Just stop talking, please. That's the good times. Yeah. You're right, though. This is definitely way more touristy. Yeah. All right, so here's my, here's my methods now with chat, I feel like. Because you're a guest, you're, you know, I'm mm -hmm. talking to you, I feel like we, I see something interesting, Yeah. I, I, I talk, and then I'll go back to find the next interesting topic, mm. so we're checking in and stuff. Okay. Did you open any DMs from Mo? I did not. He got hacked, so I've been trying to avoid it. Oh, God. Yeah. That sucks. Amazing camera, right, Delinko? Oh, no, Aquino? Uh, this camera is such a powerhouse. 2013 it came out, and they discontinued it less than a year later. Really? Yeah, because uh, the, the reason this camera is so special is it has a stabilizer inside mm. that allows it to be pretty much the best for action cams or like a GoPro, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, the company who made the stabilizer had a disagreement with Sony, and they just, I don't know how, it, they just, it that's out. it. And so it's been 10 years, and... So this is better than like GoPro yeah. type stuff? Yeah. And well... I think the newer GoPros are comparable, okay. but the action cam is just such a beast. And uh, the way it places its, its plug-ins, because on the GoPro, like, it's like on the side or something weird, but mm. the action cam... With it being behind, it's more streamlined for you. Yeah. yeah. In addition to that, it has... Uh, so when you buy these, you can't buy them new. So it's a huge second-hand market. Have so, they gone up in price because they're like highly... Not low. Some of them have, but like John found... he's Again, all we're exposing is I do nothing yeah. for anything. You planned all this trip. Right. John built all this backpack. Um, but like, we bought the first camera. And right now you guys have this cool little shield on you that used to come with the camera when you bought it. came with like two or three. But now all the used ones don't have it anymore. Mm. And uh, we scratched the lens of the backup camera. So to replace that, it was going to be about 200 like euro. Or we could buy a new camera for 330 and it came with the protector. I see. That was an easy choice. Good Pete, enough. glad to see another Kansas boy out in the wild. He's from Missouri. Yep, that's right. Oh, we got another camera crew, another streamer crew. It's about to be a showdown. I think our equipment's a little bit more high tech. I think they're beating us. Yeah, I don't want to be interviewed. Uh-uh. Nah, right, I'll interview them. <laughs> Pete, this is at least the third time I heard you talking about the Sony Action Cam this month. All right, let me tell you something. Here's, uh, first of all, thank you. I, I appreciate your commitment to watching Premiere 2 for eight or nine hours. However, you know me. We often have to repeat content for the sake of clarity to other people who may be curious. So we're very close to the Palais de Tokyo. Should we go see that before we see the Eiffel Tower? So not? wait, he says, Pete talks about, wait, yes. What did you say? Okay, well, it's too late. Well, no, no, I want to know. Oh, do you want to see the Palais de Tokyo before we go see the Eiffel Tower? Absolutely. All right, well, then we'll go right. Pete talks more about the Sony Action Cam to make me feel like he has stocks in them or gets a commission. All right, you know what? Next time there's a Sony Action Cam question, I'm going to say, <laughs> I don't know, and just let it go. Is Fran Prix a uh, convenience store? Yeah, like a, more like a, a supermarket, grocery store. Oh, really? Because it's bigger, bigger than a convenience store. It's the third time you've mentioned Fran Prix today on this stream. 
<laughs> oh, you really took that comment to heart. I'm that upset. Yeah, I'm uh -oh. not feeling good. Uh-oh. Fran Prix versus Mono Prix, Jeff. I think Mono Prix is bigger? Are they different brands? I actually had never thought about that. They are different brands, right? I'm yeah, asking but, yeah, you're asking yeah. this guy. Not you, obviously. Oh, uh, we gotta stop here. I don't know what Palais de Tokyo is. We're gonna find out. We're going to my homeland of the Palais de Tokyo. Yep. It is closed, but we'll at least see it. Before coming back. Distinct lack of people emotes for an IRL stream. Well, you know, Rob CD, if you watch him, he's my favorite streamer. He, uh, of IRL stuff. He, he has like, I don't know how he does it. I think it's his way of talking to his community. He makes really good observations and then they just react. Mm. And he'll still read their stuff, but like so many of the little people emotes, I haven't unlocked that, that skill set yet where I, I observe something and then they react. I don't really know what that is. So. People? Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> You're younger than me. Yeah. What, that just means that there's like, like emojis that... Yeah, so like, okay, for example, if, uh, if this guy cycles past me yeah. and I said something to the effect of like, you know, oh, that cycler almost hit me or, or it looks close in the camera, in Rob's chat, about 60 people will have like a little emote of a guy like riding a bike wildly. I see. Or if I, if I see some sort of like... Uh, Do you think that they just care more? No, I think that yeah, maybe. <laughs> Possibly. Or maybe my maybe my team is so invested in the, the relaxing sounds yep. that they're they, you know you're more of a background kind of I'm more of a background streamer. Yeah. Third monitor. <laughs> Pete, did you have any croissant yet? Yes, we had two. We had the regular and the chocolate. Pain au chocolat. Pain de chocolat. Yeah. It was amazing. Buttery, soft, exquisite. I have a uh, oh yeah. Look, so like this street is named after Woodrow Wilson. That's kind of weird. Wilson. So another thing that they'll they'll name uh, streets and things like that after famous historic figures. Do you think like there's a Wilson. Premier Two Street someday? Not yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe if you get enough followers. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I think we lost some. The constant sales pitch about the Sony Action Cam is annoying. <laughs> I'm going to head out. This isn't a good background screen. So, premier smile, premier wow. So that's in response to, you know, sometimes, not always, sometimes I get triggered, you know. Yeah, oh yeah. This one guy, it was his first comment, and we were playing, uh, do you guys remember what game we were playing with the background stream? I think it was Pokemon. And he said, and we, we immortalized his quote, it said on the bottom, no backseating, and Pokemon was a game where people are really serious about you know, wanting you to experience it their way, or, oh, you miss an item, or this evolution, you know, like, yeah. and, uh... An important game from their childhood. Right. Yeah. And I, I always said, like, sorry, I really don't want any help, and they'd spoil things, and the mods had to be really quick. There's the Palais de Tokyo. Yeah. Which well, does not have Japanese architecture. Nope. <laughs> so, he said, the constant reminder of about no back seating is annoying. I'm gonna head out. This isn't a good background oh, stream. I've seen that. That was his very you first have a comment. That says yeah. That now. I see. That's kind of cool, though. You get this little, uh, like, it's a museum. Japan? Part of it is Palais de Tokyo. Hey there, Bambinas. Oh, Bambini. Yep. I mean, that's just plural. From Bambina? Like, Bambino is singular. And Huh. It reminds me of the, you know, we got to listen to the song now. Which one? Anytime I say the word Puntaro got ignored, what did I do? What's up, Punchan? Sorry, buddy. What? Premier, oh, sorry. Sorry about the hair. Ouch. Bambini means children. Undertale, maybe. All right, hold on. Oh, I don't actually know the action cam model, despite being there. Yeah, that looks cool over there. Lost the Tokyo. What is that? I mean, just that street sign right there. Yeah, place. That's of... like the like So way. this is the. It's yeah. closed. Yeah. But I'm here. Bad. This is very Japanese, though. It's like not open. <laughs> 
They have like some signage about the um, like different events coming up. Shit! What? It's close. Oh. I'm mad. Here, I'll play you guys. Anytime we talk about Bambinas, there was a game we played called Jump King. And uh, when I got to the snow stage, I uh, always played the same song. I haven't made it to the snow stage yet. And it was this one. What is this from? Phoenix Wright. Uh, and there's a character named Jake Marshall. And he always, every time he shows up, he goes, Hey there, Bambina. Looks like you've got yourself quite the case. I can help you solve it, but I'm a little hungry for Or whatever. Yeah. And he has like this kind of Wild West theme. That's cool. It's one of my favorite tracks. But you never played that, that Wild West um, Earthbound. No, game, Boot right? Hill Hero. Or yeah. Boot Hill... Seems like they got like mixed reviews. Yeah. I remember. Classic, uh, classic Kickstarter. Yeah, and it also, but it had like the co op um, sort of functionality that was really exciting. It seemed like it was gonna be like a throwback to Earthbound with the co op experience. Dude, that was like 2008. I know, I know. Hopefully, um, Auden will be a, a big. Oh, player. yes. Uh, but I heard that Konami at the Tokyo Game Show, which I totally, totally myself over because I almost had an opportunity to do a major event at the Tokyo Game Show. Really? Yes, with collabing and getting paid for it, but it's this weekend. Oh. And I'm in shitty Paris Whoops. doing... Yeah, it's okay. But uh, I heard that Konami re-registered the Sukaden naming. Really? Maybe. I wonder... No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Actually, mud stuff. It's not the 4K version. It's the 1080p action cam. I know that. Connor's is the FDR X300R 4K. Mine is slightly different, which I heard has a little bit better quality because you can't output into 4K anyway, so it's a little bit more optimized for, for this stuff. In Europe, if something's closed, there's a red light. Stop sign. Yeah, it's just a suggestion, really. Yeah. yeah, let me just jump in there. Yeah, Aiden's gonna be sick. My my guess would be like a Sukaden package, like they did the Castlevania. Yeah, I think there's gonna be like a one and two, maybe a three, four, five. So you saw that they? What do you mean they re-registered? You know? Uh, they they re-bought like the domain and like licensed oh. it in a couple of countries. So maybe there's like some uh, upcoming news about about that game series. I hope it's also not just like purely a legal move or something. Yeah, that's that's usually what those those things end up being. People like get all excited to prevent the, someone from taking their trademark. Or yeah. Whatever. Cause I mean, we haven't had Sukaden, and I don't, you know what? As much as I love Sukaden and you like it, I don't think there's that many people who. I mean, there seems to be a passionate community. Yeah, but that doesn't always equal a lot of sales. Right. That's true. I think for that though. People would go nuts. I mean, I the, don't the, think so. The people who I'm not saying that they would like be they would have the volume of sales of like a major game, but they would, it would do well enough to support it. I think. I don't think so. Uh, no. Nope. Just out. Yep. All right. Unsa unfortunately. All right. I'm convinced. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another example, right? Uh, like, oftentimes there's a huge groundswell of excitement for like some game that had a huge following, and then it, when it actually gets released. Like the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Well, but that did pretty good, I thought, didn't oh, it? Did it? I yeah. No and they made a second one, I saw that. That's something. I'm playing through the series for the first time, beat Sukaden 1 a few weeks ago. Oh, yes, that is one of my favorite games. Sukaden 2 is the best RPG ever made, in my opinion. I'm jealous. I've been playing it for the first time. I wish I could relive those days. Yep. Contra? That'd be fun to revisit. How would you change the. Uh, how Contra plays to make it modern. Just go the Doom Eternal route and make it all action. What's this, Jeff? Uh, Flame of Freedom. Oh, they have a princess. Is this oh, where Princess yeah. Diana died? Yeah. Why are there all those locks? Why is what? So many locks. Uh, that's like a thing that they'll do. There's like a, um, a bridge. Where you can put like a lock, it's like a love, like if you have a, you know, a love, uh, not a loved one, but if you're like on a date or it's like a romantic thing, 
It's like a sign of love, basically. And ah. every, every so often on the bridge, at least, they have to cut all of them because they, they actually weigh down the bridge too much just to collect. So does that mean the love is broken? No, it lives on. Is that the Eiffel Tower? Yeah. <laughs> I can't see it. Yeah. So wait, she died in this tunnel. Yeah. Crazy. That's crazy. And someone wrote, heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Locks of love. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Huh. What would you rather be? I'd like to be a hero. I'm a hero. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You're right. I think we're definitely more the hero type. Yeah. I like that we're definitely one of those two. It's just a matter of which one. <laughs> yeah, I just want to be remembered. Yeah, I never did get the lock thing. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm in the bike. Oh, boy. Oh, oh here we go. Bum, bum, ba -da -ba. There she is. Wow. Get out of my way. Okay. Look at that. Life. That's a famous emote you can type. Capital L and then just I. Is that a people thing? The little frog will appear and he's looking at a sunset. Oh, also see. stare. Stare's a good one. So these are the kinds of boats too, by the way. That... Do you guys want to do a boat? Can we drink alcohol on them? I think so. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> Should we get twisted on a boat today, guys? Someone will be covered, so if it's raining, even, you know, it's an option. See? Everyone's doing the cool thing uh, now. Yeah, yeah, there we go. You guys are doing it. Just Thank you. Chat boat. got bamboozled. <laughs> I think a boat ride would be, unless they're like three hours. Well, that's a lot of beer. That's <laughs> true. Uh, I didn't expect the Eiffel Tower to be so brown. Uh, yeah, yeah, it changed over time, right? It's, yeah. Uh, metal. I don't know, it's oxidized. Corroded, yeah, it's oxidized. It's huge. When they first built it, uh, Parisians hated it. They thought it was hideous. Why? Just because it, like, it was very different from the rest and of the And why city. is Parisians uh, the word for Paris people? Because it's, like, from Parisien, which is, like, the French version of it. So, like, I'm a Joplinite. <laughs> but see, that's so stupid. <laughs> and they're Parisians. You're a Springfieldian? No, I'm a... What would a Tokyo guy be? Go boating. It's a tourism way to get drunk. I love that. <laughs> that was a pull up. Thank you. Parisians, so wait, they hated the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, when it first. And I mean, I don't. I think a lot of Parisian like people who live here truly don't like come here anymore, but I don't think they hate it. Now it's like a symbol of the city. I'm generalizing, obviously. But yeah, yeah. When it first was here, it was like they were, it was like the eyesore of the city. Look I'm at like the tour guide. I'm like, well, yeah, that's why you're here. Yeah, it's true. Because <laughs> I'd go, yeah, there it is. There's the Eiffel Tower. Uh, very cool. You can actually climb uh, steps, I think, all to the way to the top, but at least to that second level, for sure. Wait, the, the one right there, it's like the... Uh, so there's three stages. There's that bottom one, there's that middle one, and then the way at the top. You can take an elevator to any of them. I know that you can take stairs to the second one. It looks like there might be stairs to the top, too, but that's, like, very ambitious. We're not doing that. Yes, I think Tokyo person would be called a token. That's what we are. To token. No, just a to yeah. token. Token. The Eiffel Tower was built to be a temporary thing. Well, it's endured a long time. Oh, right, because it was with like one of the World's Fairs or something like that, I think. Or that it's... was for a World's Fair. Like, uh, like the Olympics came to town and they built a... I remember yeah, it. I think so. This is really... Parisians stopped hating it as much as when it became useful as a radio tower during the World Wars. Oh, didn't know that. It's just fucking beautiful. Yeah. I'm not sure... Let's go to the field this year. Yeah, let's go to the field. Let's go to the uh, Champs de Mont. I think we're locked into a boat. Yeah, we're in. They, there was a pole. As you promised. Oh, okay. So now we're definitely doing it. Oh, wait. I forgot to take a picture, guys. That's so cool. Look at that. Now look at this. Nope, my... Okay. Smile, guys. Good job. You did great. You look good. You look great. No. Okay. It's like a little tour. Nice content. Yep. That is so cool. 
Let's see what, what the, the gang has to say. They approve or I think not so, not so cool. Boat rides are a great, great way to see so many sights in Paris. You'll also go right by the Musée d'Orsay. Musée d'Orsay. Thank you. And the Louvre. Can we take it again? My eyes were closed. I hate when they close their eyes. Guys, get on the ball. Um, yeah, we can definitely do a boat uh, thing. So wait, wait, Cleveland, was the boat thing, was that what the boat was for? He, he told me twice. Pete, yes, one. I don't know if that was like, Jeff chucks me into the river. <laughs> check the waterproof camera. <laughs> Shut the street. Okay, yeah, it was. Okay. Oh, so this is another cool thing. These streets that run oh, alongside the that run alongside the Seine, they have shut a lot of them down to car traffic, and now it's just for walking, running, biking. So these used to be you just cars? See cars going. Right no way. Yeah, like all the way up and down the river, and they've converted a lot of them to. So you see people walking there now. That's such a better. Yeah, you just like walk along in the summertime. They have like. Uh, beach kind of thing so it's like you can hang out on these little you know on the banks of the river have a drink what is this is a cafe no it is a cafe yeah. let's get a drink really quick at that place uh or any place i'm just thirsty okay is there if there's a better one over there that guy had a coin box open yes. that said smoking kills yep, I saw that. Nope. Nope. what is it Premier 2. Premier 2. Yep. Premier 2. Premier 2. <laughs> that means Premier kills. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, terrible. I mean, we can stop there if you want. No, it's all right. We'll find something right up here. Get, on the, get a drink on the boat? Yeah, you're right. Well, I'm just... I've been talking a lot. Fly around those hard boats. Work, I appreciate that. Who said that? True Storm. What's up, man? How's your streams been going? Appreciate you. Thank you for the resub, my friend. It's because of uh, this... Sh Whoa, my ear. It's because of the channel's good fortune and popularity lately that we were able to even take a French trip. So, and, you know, you guys definitely had a hand in this happening, so I appreciate the support. It's a cool church. That's a church, huh? It looks, unfortunate. like it's... Orthodox. Yeah. It's closed, unfortunately. Yeah. Does it say, hey, is that like a Greek Orthodox church? Because I've seen that, that cross before. Oh, cheeky beer wouldn't hurt. Well, it is only 11.30. So <laughs> he, he, my goal would be to not start drinking till like 1. Yeah. We've got to get past noon. you got to get past noon. Yeah. We haven't even eaten lunch yet. It's a real psychological downer when it's 11.30. <laughs> Yeah. The fact that we're like, yeah, you know, 11, let's just... The day is lost. Let's, <laughs> let's get started. It's going to rain. That's true. So that we should just long. start now. Yep. <laughs> we should make a goal to be drunk by the time we get on the boat. Oh. So, so we're just terribly annoying. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, that would be really bad. <laughs> um, is Yuki able to join? She is not. She had to do work. I wish she could. And uh, Me too. Really badly. But this also gives me a chance to kind of scope out Look, that's such a terrible excuse, but I'll, I'll go to Paris first. Yeah, I'll find all the good spots. Don't worry. Next time, you'll have a lot of fun. I, I know but you're... I check out Copenhagen first, also. I, I'm checking out the UK, Los Angeles, France, and Copenhagen, but when it's your turn, yep. you'll really Don't like worry. it. We can, short, we can condense your version to like two days. <laughs> I need like nine. Yep. Um, but Yuki is currently working, and uh, also, just to give you guys a brief update, last, when I was in the Cyclethon on Sunday, God, this, all of these things just kind of... Blurring together. Yeah. Yuki had to go take a look at the house that we are trying to pick, or the apartment we're looking to buy. And she really liked it, but um, it needs a ton of renovations to make it a little bit more suitable for modern living. And uh, this Sunday... So again, I'm not there. She's going to look at another place that already has a soundproof uh, studio built in that they found. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, so it's mainly like the soundproof thing that you would need to do? No, I think the, the main thing was we want to redesign the kitchen just so that there's a bit more space to do actual cooking instead of like sink, stove, and like no prep area. Yeah. We want to kind of build a little L out that 
you know, you can like talk and do stuff. You actually have to build that or would you pay someone? Pay someone, pay someone, yeah. Can we get a drink here? Or you want someone to take to go or just to sit for a minute? Uh, it's up to you. Um, Is there a... There's a bar with wines up there. No, no. <laughs> a little yeah, early. We'll go just a little farther in the world. Until we get to the really touristy area of nowhere. So there's the Eiffel Tower again. Oh shit, look at that. I think they're trying to get in a picture oh, and I'm, I'm... Whoops, sorry ladies. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop at the next one. Oh, I feel... Fat and gross in this everything. It's okay. It's okay. I'm vacation. It's Ferris. Ah, it's true. Stopping, right. Everyone's super thin and fit. Yeah. All right. Now I get to go back to checking to chat. Uh, classic Pete going for that L. Yep. Ah, why is that the first comment I saw? <laughs> you can finally progress on her life as an undercover spy now that Pete is gone. True. That was a good one. That L. Comment. I, like I just that. have to hold that. Yeah. That was well played. He's like, I'm sorry, Pete. <laughs> no. It smells good. Yeah, it smells yeah. like pizza. We could maybe just grab something here. Is this a. Uh... Yeah. I guess the closer we get to. The ground quakes. That's pretty loud. I don't think it's going to be necessarily fancy as we get. It's going to be just more touristy, but it's fine. Like, it's not. We're not going there for the food. We're just going there for a drink, right? Yeah. Just I just want to get a uh, coffee or yeah. something. Uh, thank you very much. That was a jib senpai. Yo, cool de goza. How do you say welcome to the channel in French? Uh, bienvenue au. What is it? À la that sounds Chine, English. Maybe? Bon avenue à la Chine. Something like that. Chenier. Uh, Premier tu. <laughs> Kills you. Yeah. Who's in Paris? All right, what's that song? Well, it, uh, I don't know that either one of those. So my, this is my cousin Jeff. He, he and I have been friends for about over 30 years. Childhood buddies. We used to do the Ninja Turtles thing where we'd kick trees and stand outside and swing around fake weapons and pretend. I mean, that's, well, that was just a couple weeks ago. But then, <laughs> but we, we started playing video games. From, like You were a huge American Gladiators guy. Oh, yeah. You were all in Absolutely. on Turbo and Nitro. Yeah. and I played a lot of NES, um, both because of you and because of my uh, aunt and uncle that I uh, sort of not lived with permanently, but would stay at their place a lot. And I would play like Friday the 13th, which was terrifying. Oh yeah, I remember that one. The baseball, not RBI baseball, just the one that was called baseball. baseball. Yeah. We can stop here. This cafe. looks, this is a cap, this, oh, how about right up have, front? Up okay. Here. Are we going to Copenhagen someday? Yeah. Yep. Well, let me see. We're out front. I'll go sit up front. Okay. Actually, no, I'll sit in the back so nobody's going to be... Okay. Actually, we'll sit in the front. What, what do you guys think? In the front or a uh, in the back? First comment I see. Here or up there? Stair. Back. All right. Uh... Yeah, I think you can. And this time you guys are going to get a, a POV of just... A big bus. <laughs> oh. No. I tr yep. They were not aiming at you. No, but I wanted to be Anna when they review that picture. Because that's the thing, right? Uh, yeah. When you take pictures, do anybody ever review it like... Do people actually go and look back at them? Maybe not. I think a lot of them know. Just, yeah. Especially now when you can just take a million photos with your phone. Before when it was like on, a, on film and it was like you had 24. Yeah. So you had, everyone had to count. And then you'd have like friends over and you'd, you'd, you'd show them on like a slideshow. Yeah, and they hated you. Yeah. <laughs> like, please don't make me do this. Please. <laughs> I have uh, something going I have a dentist appointment. <laughs> I, have, I uh, left the iron on in my apartment. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got a meeting with my uh, dentist. <laughs> That's the old school uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles deep cuts. That's right. I actually like this setup. Me too, Klebs. Because I, I, I was telling Jeff this last night. I, I'm absolutely convinced my favorite part so far, and I'm going to be 100% candid, I guess, is like, I like Bastille a lot more than this area. Yeah, I kind of figured. I mean, this, this part is like... It's very tourist. Touristy, it's extreme, but... It's 
it's also like cool to see. It's right? very cool. I mean, like look at these buildings yeah. and stuff. It's still gorgeous and like awesome. But the um, I love this cafe culture of sitting outside and everybody's facing action. And yeah. and you were saying last night it was it was almost trippy. We had this amazing place. Let me show you guys a picture of where we had uh, well just beer. <laughs> As uh, John was helping us set up the the camera. Look at this location, guys. You put that on the Discord, right? Not yet, because okay. look at this. This was, and we were on that ground floor of this cafe, and it was so beautiful because everyone, and like, as we were sitting there, there was like eight layers of street. There's the people walking in front, and then like cars and bikes, and it almost looked, what were you saying? It looked like a... Uh, it was like that parallax effect or whatever. Like, and especially in like older games in NES and SNES where you had like, and not at NES, but SNES especially, we started to get like multiple layers of things. I think they actually did it in, in Punch Out when you're doing the montage thing. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. So you have like the street and stuff going, and in the background, you have like the Statue of Liberty kind of just slowly moving. So you had that layers of people walking and running. And... I see a nice coffee. I think that's a Diet Coke. <laughs> it's carbonated. Hi. Hi. How are you? Not bad. Uh, do you want a coffee? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, and cafe. Uh, cafe. Cafe. Cappuccino American. What do you recommend? Latte. That's the one. Uh, what or cafe allongé? I have American. American. Food. Great. Small, medium, large for you, sir? Large, please. Large. Large. Water for everything? Please. Thank you. Thank you. What an awesome guy. Yep. What did I order? A latte? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're in. I thought he you're said. I thought he said initially because I miss. I was misheard him. I thought he said black tea. I, I did too, actually. And I was like, well, yep. I was like, I, I've already, if you ask the recommendation, you can't then say, ah, no, no, I'm, I'm no okay. Thing. And I was like, but I, I think the latte sounds so delicious. Yep. I'm cool with large. I need a little pick me up, guys. Uh, ask for an un pipi du café. I think that's how you know that it's a touristy area. Started, Speak English, or well, they started with that, the, but offer different sizes of coffee. Yeah, like, that's true too. That's not a thing. In Bastille, we didn't get any choices. No, they just bring you here's your tiny coffee. That's Caf. Deal with it. Cafe. Cafe. He's used to Americans. Well, you know what though? I'm okay with that. I am an American. I'm a tourist. That's to be expected here for sure. And I'm a big believer in like, it's it's. Yeah, it's awesome to communicate in a native language of anything. I'd much rather use Japanese than to, to go, like, and ask a Japanese person to, like, use English. But we're just trying to get coffee and enjoy a day. And we'll go to plenty of other places where, especially when we go to small town, like, not many people are going to speak. That's where you say, this is my cousin, he can't speak. Yep, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he just... Just ignore him for the rest of his He'll drink, though. I'll do the talking. Yeah. Uh... There's a, there's a street that I do want to take you to, um, either we do it today or tomorrow. Uh, it's called Rue Mouftard, and it's this all walkable street in like the student district, like the university district, and there's a bunch of cool bars and restaurants. Yeah, and, let's turn uh, back the clock. Yep. And it's I'm 38. Like, they have my favorite, my favorite like go-to restaurant that I would go to for, for uh, lunch. And it was a Lebanese place, and it's these like kind of like a wrap almost with a pita and I would always get this one thing and they were all they got to know me and they would give me like free little here's a baklava or whatever some uh, additional dessert kind of thing I need to have a caprese is that's not French though nope. it's Italian yep. but it looked really good in yep. that shop I mean yeah they have them at the sandwich shop yeah this place is a great a nice little cafe to sit down and god damn it do I wish this would take off across the world of cafes take in the action. yeah Build a city around the people, not the cars, like yep. you said. Although this is a huge intersection, yeah. but as a yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but it is still like there's a ton of people out, people are walking, people are taking the metro. So hold on one second. It's been a while since I've been able to catch one of your streams. How have you been doing, Pete? I've been doing good, man. Uh, I don't know how long it's been. I actually haven't played a video game in forever. Like that part of the stream has stopped, <laughs> yeah. sadly. But I'd say that. Um, it's been cool because I just finished a cyclothon. Well, I didn't get on a cycle, but I cheered the boys on as uh, two of my friends cycled from all the way across the north to the south of Hokkaido, raising money for the Immunodeficiency Foundation. And I was a part of that, which was an absolute blast. And then secondarily, I, I right after that, moved to visit my cousin over here. Uh, don't do that look again. That's a little, I think they can still see you. I don't know. But uh, this is my cousin Jeff. 
and we had a rare opportunity to come to France and I was like 100% let's do it and then I got into the hospital and I was like maybe cancel yep um, uh, I had already booked all the hotels so yeah, yeah so <laughs> well, you made it yeah we made it the Iron Mouse Defense Force exactly and um, after this I go home and then finally guys we get a week of regular streaming where I'm sad to admit I hate this I made a promise that if we could raise don't shit on me uh, $300,000 I would play Breath of the Wild for at least a little bit I'm not looking forward to it but I'm going to be positive about it is this like a you're giving it another chance or you never played it I did play it but I, I but Breath of the Boring is going to be uh, the game when we get back did you fix your mic Pete it's way better now oh. no <laughs> you touched the mustache a while. I did I, yeah, I scratched the mustache <laughs> earlier and it seems to be working well, the thing for $300,000 is that I, I did a lot of things. I did the potato dunk on the lamppost. I cheered them on. I swung my shirt around. You've never seen me in a t-shirt. No. Ever. No. I don't think... Even playing basketball, you just wear this. <laughs> just the jeans. Yeah. And the you actually, in Texas, it. you got me the, the baseball shirt, and you were like... Oh, right. And I, with great consternation yeah. or I was like fine I'll put it on for like 10 minutes yeah. and I was pulling at it and I I felt uncomfortable yeah. uh, for the 250k I got out of the van and took off my plaid and swung it around my head so they could see the full body yeah. with yeah, shirt on react to that. we lost 400 subscribers <laughs> yeah. uh, I and I've never seen people unsubscribe in the middle of the channel but <laughs> yeah. they did well, but see if we can beat that tonight oh I'm sure we already are on our way <laughs> and we didn't do anything yet we've just been walking uh, the the, um, and then on the 1st of October is the anniversary stream. It's my two-year of streaming anniversary, which went by pretty fast. That's crazy. And we're going to go to Premiere One. I kind of, that doesn't surprise me, though, because I did the 23-month subscription today. I was celebrating the 23. I did that before you went live, so it didn't like distract from the beginning of your stream. So you didn't even respond to it. You didn't even say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. Yeah, 23 months of tier Wait, three. Wait, today I said it oh, on the did? stream. Oh, yeah. I didn't. <laughs> uh, you just closed out as soon as you got your endorphin hit of subscribing. <laughs> and it wasn't fast enough for you to... Uh... Welcome, buddy. Who said this Oui. Thank you. Oh, uh, si. Ah, bon. What do you do? Moi, je viens de Texas. Okay. J'ai habité Paris en 2006. Pour 4 or 5 mois. Okay. Well, welcome, America. Thank you. Well, I live in Japan. Uh, Japan, and, uh, gozaimasu. Uh, gozaimasu. Well, there you go, perfect. You're better at <laughs> Japanese than I am at French. So, merci beaucoup. All right. Yeah, that was pretty good. Arigato gozaimasu. Check out the, uh, the giant coffees. Bam! <laughs> this, it's hot. That's great. Looks great. Your cousin's rocking nice shoes. I wore those shoes once. Except the laces are all frayed now. Look at that. That's not good. Those are very nice. I wore those on Cool Japan, didn't I? You did. I borrowed them. Yep. It's the uh, best shoes I've ever worn. Just <laughs> stay at your place. <laughs> Were you really? Completely incapacitated. I wasn't aware your grocery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're starting to feel yourself now. Yeah. <laughs> you're settling into the stream. I'm a part of the. Uh, what's the? Uh, the group? NAST. Yeah, we don't talk about it. That's now. See, exactly. a, it. it's it's. You and uh, you and Ian are taking the same path. Just wait till I have a couple beers. <laughs> oh, baby, you were pretty keen about starting the stream up last night. Yeah, and I, it was like that wasn't even a good time for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was about 9 p.m. Yep. and we had had about three beers already each, and you were already ordered. You already ordered an IPA coming. Yep. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm not really sure we should stream. You're like, let's fire it up. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Yep. And I was like, no, I know it's going to happen. Let we're going to. Well, and then. <laughs> Uh, luckily, we were able to not. The weather looks warm. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, sorry. Um, I didn't like any of the Zeldas before Breath of the Wild. That is one big coffee. Yes, it is. And I need it. Didn't one of your, uh, someone in your chat the other day said that they made a uh, multiplayer mod for Breath of the Wild. I, I heard about, that. no, I, somebody, they were advertising it as like uh, a, you can try it. Oh, I see. Was it? I think it was in the context when you did the Jump King mod stuff or something. Yeah, like something that. along uh, around that that nature but um the so when i get back we're gonna play some breath of the wild and then we're going to then we're going to go to the, have the anniversary stream which is going to be half at the studio and then we're going to dip into the little 30 minute break and at then the studio at 
at my house. That's the studio, I mean. Oh, the, oh I see. Yeah, the, the normal spot. Then we're going over to Premier One, where a couple of guests will join us for a night of debauchery and... Does Premier One... Premier One now knows about Premier Two, right? Yeah. And are they supportive? Yeah. They haven't filed I, a I don't know if he's ever yet. been sober. What's up, Lazzy? I, 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 he was seemingly drunk when I asked him, can we film here? Oh, really? Yeah, he's a great guy. Because you've been there. That place is awesome. Yeah, it's a bit loud, and uh, but we'll play some darts, we'll get some drinks. Ian will be there, Chris will, not Chris Broad, but Dr. Cornmore. That's great. Whenever what up, Pete and Chad? What's up for Minute Trim Paste? Oh, somebody asked you, are you in the Magic on the Blacktop? I'm not, oh, I'm, I'm one of the, I play. Yeah. I'm not in the show at all, but I do, I do play. So. You built like an algorithm thing that lets you assess, you're just weird. Yeah, I take it way too seriously. Way too seriously. Yeah. But I, yeah, I even like do the whole role playing thing where I'm just like a really degenerate owner of this. I team. love that yeah. though. It makes it more fun. We have uh, in this sort of fictional world, we have put sponsorships on every corner of the jersey, <laughs> so all, the whole jersey is just covered with ads for things like crypto and uh, car loan places, any bail bonds, loans, yeah, bail bonds, yeah, anybody really, we'll anybody take who'll take the money, money yeah. You just don't attract some of the hot... You don't get Louis Vuitton. For yet. us, it's about making sure that our players are paid, and so we'll take money from anybody who's willing to pay us because we care about our players. <laughs> sure it is. And about our fans. I've, of course. How could I? How could we not? Yep. But, um, all right. Now the, the chat is now back open. Sorry, I have to go back and forth. Uh, I do need to grab a, a thing really quick, though, which is going to be... Actually, you're going to do it. Mm. In this... In this thing, yeah. there is bonjour, bonjour, my friend. Thank you for the resub, uh, Kaiski. No, no, that was DJ Megatron. <laughs> it's true. Give me a second. Oh, my face. That hurt really bad. That's okay. There we go. That hurt my hand. Don't worry, everybody. I'm, I'm okay. Thank you for the, the sub, Tuna Fish Girlfriend. I know that you've been studying in Paris. Appreciate you also subscribing. Or uh, Okay, here's the thing. I need you to grab a... Uh, you know what? I'll I get it. No, I don't trust you. Okay. You're just... Ugh. Quick on that retraction. <laughs> uh, I didn't like your answer there. Yeah. I mean, boat is like probably like boat is going to be the remainder of the day at that point. You know? How long will it take? Well, I mean, it, it'll certainly be a few hours, like two, two plus hours. Well, is is the boat better for night or day? Mm, I would say more night, just because it's like okay. But, I'm, I'm open for whatever. So we still got tomorrow, too. They said the Latin Quarter might be cool. Yeah, so that is, that's like closer to the, um, or actually, I think the street that I mentioned might even be in the Latin Quarter. Okay, uh, Kampai. I'll see. Let me take a look. The forehead tag is necessary. We have to let people know what kind of stream. Oh, they put down the thing while I was standing. Yeah, you know, it could be cool. This could be cool because we could go... Uh, straight over to like the Notre Dame. Oh. And then down to Latin Quarter from there. And then kind of see that area go to the uh, that street that I was talking about. Cool. Sounds good. Hey Pete, how's France going? Just popping in. Reaper, it's been amazing. Um, I think we've been uh, I think we've been live for about two hours, uh, two and a half hours. And already I've seen such incredible things. The Arc de Triomphe was probably one of the most epic. That's that's the actual word I would use. Yeah. Which is kind of over, it's like, uh, it's overused, it's like, yeah. oh, epic. It was, the scale of it was incredible. Yeah. Like and awesome in the it's sense of like awe. Yeah. So I'd say the Arc de Triumph was, was amazing. And then we kind of walked around and we're about to go check out the Eiffel Tower, but I needed a pit stop. I think this, 
probably cost us. Yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> Why did we order that? I always forget when because it happened to us yesterday too, and and that's, I mean I don't want to say it's like a trick, trick, anything, but it's like they know that if, if you're like you want water too, and you're like yeah sure, and they they'll bring this by default. You can always ask for regular water, but they, this is the default unless you ask for the free one. So. Damn. So it goes. Epic, you're overused. I'm sorry, man. There's a guy, I feel bad. His name's Epic1 in the chat. Damn. Well, you're Epic2. Yep. I, I mean, mean probably. not as like the Arc to Triumph, but as a user goes. But he's Epic1. Tell you what, when I see that sub badge near your name, then you'll earn your Epic. <laughs> That's called marketing. <laughs> right now, you're just, I don't believe it. You've been listening to my monetization advice. <laughs> <laughs> Before we went live today, Jeff had a lot of plans about how to monetize this channel. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, that happens more in countries yeah. in Europe. Yeah. Oh, lots of gotcha. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a lot of new pay-to-win schemes on Premier 2 coming soon. Yep. Um, it's going to be pay-to-play. Pay oh, Bobby. <laughs> That's right. That's a cool old Volkswagen type. That is so cool. Huh. You know, one thing I really like about Paris is that there's still a lot of green. Mm -hmm. yeah, Lots of trees. Yeah, efforts like a lot of the boulevards, the things they'll, put, they'll plant trees and very carefully planted. That is not Tokyo. No? No. Ah, uh, look mean, at like, this. Special parks and things. Alpsy, you're too kind. They passed a, a subscription to Epic. Oh, wow. Uh, very nice. I'm going to be keeping an eye on him. I want to see the. Um, I, I want like to see him. stock is going up. I got to see it. Uh, him click the button to I'm get that. On Epic, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I get those mixed up a lot. It'd be so cool if we see a DS on the streets. A uh, dual screen? A DS? A Nintendo? I don't know what that is. That would be tough for me to guess. But thank you for tossing out. It's a car, Pete. Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know anything about cars and stuff, but. I look for bikes. Man, I'm never ordering a water again. Just because you're paying for it? Yeah. It's not even the price, it's the... Uh, Principle? Well, uh, I was actually just being polite when he asked me if I wanted I was like, yeah, sure, you know. Yeah. You can get the sparkling water, that's very common. Which I prefer awesome. that, yeah. That. They have certain uh, fountains around the city that, like, for free, that give out, like, water, but also sparkling water. Just free. Carbonated sparkling Carbonated water from a... It's from a public fountain. Uh, by the way, that car is called the Ugly Duckling, that one that passed oh, by really? us. Yeah. That's cool. You need to ask for a carafe. Oh, uh, carafe. What's a carafe? It's like a, uh, yeah, carafe is for the water, like a pitcher of water. Ah. Uh, oh, look, the ducks of Paris. La Canards? And, yeah, an amphibious tour. On land? Yep. <laughs> I, I think that, uh, I don't know if that, that does not look seaworthy. <laughs> you, just, you just drive that right yeah. in there. All right, it's time to go. It's starting to rain. Is it? On my head, or I'm getting... I think it's birds. I'm just getting shot on it. Yeah, you're right. All right. Pete, who am I chilling with? This is my cousin, Jeff. Hello. He's been in Japan... Or, no. He lived in France for five or six months when he was a college student back at his Harvard days. And I'm just throwing all kinds of words out there, aren't I? Yeah, wow. He comes it's from old money in Joplin. Yeah. Like, money. like, literally... Looking for it yeah. in old places and hoping to find some scores. He uh, he works for Unity. He used to work for a game company called Scopely, where he pillaged the pockets of all the. No, no, you're not. You are a good community manager, or not community manager, but you were trying to make good decisions for the game that would be friendly towards uh, all players. Yeah, make a successful game. Yeah, what's up, Rain Gang? Yeah, because we we thought it would be. We thought it might be. you know, raining hard today. It was supposed to be like a 90% chance all day, but we've gotten lucky. That's why we flipped the switch to get the stream. Jeff did all of Kratos' motion capture, if I recall. No, no. I know. No. Well, I might have done the motion capture, and they just added a bunch of bulk after that. Hey, beer money. Thank you, Al Alpsy. We're, we're definitely going to tap into that. Yeah, we'll use that. There's almost zero chance that we're going to have a sober day in uh, Paris. We need it after paying for these seven euro waters. Is it... No. Uh, I hope not. If that's seven euros for a water, I'm gonna be. Could be. Gonna be paying. Yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna say thank you. I'm gonna be paying and saying thank you and walking away. 
Let's see here. Hold that. Yep. All right. Thanks, Pete. And what's up, Jeff? I gotta say the meme. My name's Jeff. Anyways, love you, Pete. Hope you're having a great time. Oh, that's right. You're the meme guy. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Hey, hey, like the guy who's. What's up, girls? My name is Jeff. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. That was the the Jeopardy, the Jeopardy one. Oh, is it? You know what I'm talking about? The video where it's like the next category, Jeff. Like, oh yeah. Jeff. That's a great one, though. Yeah. You like that one because it's funny, know. but the other one's uh, the weirdo aggro dude. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> say, this is America and water is... No, I'm not going to say any of that. And water is free. This is not America. It's free and polluted. It's toxic. I almost drank straight out of this like an American. You thought that was a bruiser. Yeah. <laughs> you, thought, you were going into old... Ew. <laughs> you thought that was just a... Get, get fixed quick. Yep. All right, have you had an hamburger? Okay, so wait, what did we eat? Uh, yesterday we had the following things. We had escargot. Oh, we had that, like, salmon, smoked salmon. It wasn't even lunch so much as it was a uh, snack. We had we had cured, or baked, or salmon. Yep. And some smoked, uh, salmon. smoked salmon, that's what it was. Baked, cured, smoked. And then after that, we did not eat anything else until dinner. Yep. Where we had escargot. I had the Monsieur... Cook Monsieur. Cook Monsieur. Yeah. That was the best. Yeah. Needed like one more American. Uh, if we had that in America, they would say it was too too plain though. Yeah. They would need some sort of dressing or sauce. Since they or, use like better cheese, and since like the, and the meat, so just the ingredients are good. Yeah, it's really good. And then uh, after that, we had oh man, the French toast. Yeah. That was crazy. Pain perdu. Pain perdu. And it had uh, with salted caramel ice cream too. Very good. I really did not expect it to be uh, much different than American French toast, but it was it was significantly better. Did you know that snails have parasites that eat your? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Epic. That's not what I wanted to know. Yeah, I thought Epic stock was going up. I thought it was good. <laughs> not anymore. Nope. Knock back down. Take that self away. Just Can't do that. Yeah, we, you can have croque madame with an egg on top. Yeah, we almost ordered that. Have you guys checked out the Palais Garnier opera yet? If not, I highly recommend it. Absolutely gorgeous building. Uh, I do not think we saw that yet. No. Oh my god. I also had an amazing French toast in Paris. It was very good. And then I had a, uh, a different dessert. No, I said an Americano. You get the cheese blues. Yeah, the, I told them earlier, the, the guy, every time he'd bring a drink, he'd just be like, up here, and mm -hmm. slam it down. And then um, we ordered the cheese plate, and he never brought it. And we thought, eh, should we say something? And we were kind of full. And then he came back, and he was like, how about, what did he say? He was like, uh, yeah, what about the cheese plate? And we were like, eh, maybe not. not. And he was like, yeah, I didn't even put it in. I knew that he wouldn't be, be able to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> what a great waiter. Didn't even enter it into the system. That's so good. Yep. Because if this was Japan, it would have just been dutifully brought out. Yep. And add it to my bill. Or in America. Yeah. Ordered. And the fact that he could assess it, yeah. Can I get you a couple of starters? Today's special cheese poppers are on special. But that guy was that guy was great. Well, we ha that's that's the whole food. Uh, there's there's nothing else. So if you're asking if we've had creme brulee or well, yeah, this morning yeah, we had the croissants and the uh, oh yeah, the croissant, chocolate pain au chocolat, and uh, egg and soldiers. Oh yeah. I thought they were scotch eggs, but not. No, no, no. Scotch eggs are totally different. Egg, egg and soldier? Or is it? What is it? The egg, egg egg and soldiers? Pete, can I pay for your first round? You can, I'd love you to. You can pay for all of our rounds. But uh, that's not coming till the boat tour. Oh, okay. That's when we dip into a little bit of bruisers. Yeah. And then uh, if we want, I don't know how it's going to feel, but we might keep you guys around for our degeneracy as we drink for at least a little bit. Yeah. I think... That's when I'll really start feeling it. That's when you. We, that's when we, That's when I'm going to be hyper aware of when to turn this off. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hear a couple keywords. A couple like, keywords, right, or to... that's the oh, see you guys later. <laughs> uh, looks like the battery's dying. Ooh, puppy. Uh, we're getting bad reception. Rainbow screen. That's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We'll pick your color. Yeah. That's that's. Uh, I did find out though that uh, it, it uh, this is kind of dangerous. If you go to like the privacy screen or something like that and you don't shut off the camera or if it goes AFK on accident like connecting it'll it'll when it goes back live it might continue a little bit of the where you cut. So if I was like standing right near the toilet and I was like I got to go to the bathroom 
exclamation privacy, and then it switches to that, but I go back in there, and then I, I walk back in, and it's like, just, yeah, got to be careful. Wow, going from a cycle to help around Japan to Paris, a worldly man. Um, that was the reason I almost didn't, in fact, right before I did the cyclothon, I didn't tell you guys, I mean, I told some of you, I was doing an NHK filming in Kyoto, which was a full day, wake up at like 6.45, film all day, get back at like 9.30, and then the next day went to Sapporo. So it went bang, bang, bang. Worldly man with appendicitis. Yeah. Quite the trip. You were playing with fire. Uh, yeah, I brought medicine, and uh, hopefully, my my appendix hurt this morning. And I was telling you, I was like, uh. How are you feeling now? It's feeling all right. All right. Yeah, much better. Good. All right, let's let's go. Uh, I haven't served my water yet. Oh yeah, you might as well. You paid for it. In French, the French the soft boiled eggs is called le wolfs à la croc. Ah, I screwed that up. Wolfs à la croc. Did you pour water for me? Oh, he did. He got me started. Oh, really? Just now? Or at the beginning? The beginning. Oh. It's like uh, a la cook. Like uh, a... Like a rooster? Yeah, I don't know. I butchered it. How does it feel that on your birthday it's going to be surgery? You. Terrible. Hope you're having a great time, Pete. Premier Candle. Hey, what's up? I like this screen name. Are you ready? Yeah. Hannah Habanero. Oh, that's awesome. It's a good one. That's very good. Cool. I believe I met Hannah through Tokidoki Traveler's Stream, which is uh, an amazing woman in, in Tokyo. Uh, or actually, I don't even know. She might live in Yokohama or Chiba. I don't know exactly where she is, but we met in Tokyo for a, a stream. She's such a cool... Hannah Habanero is an awesome friend of the, of the show. Did you do the, uh, the cooking stream? Is that with... Yeah. Okay. That was fun. I caught some of that. In Germany, you just call them breakfast egg. Easy to remember, but everything's literal in German, isn't it? Yeah. That's the cool thing. Big long word that says everything in it. I love that. I love German. I had a colonoscopy on my birthday a couple years ago. I feel you. Well, that's not fun. Nope. Don't tell Hannah she is great. It goes straight to her head and arrow. Yes, it does. <laughs> How dare Emma take Twitch time off? She's busy, guys. But I took time off and I brought you. Yeah. You remember that yeah. next time you see Emma. Yep. She gallivants around the world. What did I do? Spent three hours in tech help with John fixing this stream. Yep. If they could see how sinister and creepy I look right now, that I don't think anybody would like that. But <laughs> You guys just remember Jeff and I putting in the work. Busy with Tokyo Creative. Actually, I think that's what it is. She has a job. Oh. I'm unemployed. Yep. So, yep. I'm completely this useless. Is job. This is my job too now. Yeah, you're making me money today, hopefully. Yeah, Although, free labor. I think we're going to lose a lot when yeah. we start <laughs> opening bottles. <laughs> How do you uh, say so the, the check? Uh, yeah, l'addition. L'addition? L'addition, like addition. Addition. La, l'addition? Yeah, s'il vous plaît. L'addition, s'il vous plaît. the guy who Oh, okay. Chat is your boss, sir. Exactly. Chat employs me. You're right. Pete has fans? No. I have bullies. It's time to go, though. I, I feel recharged. Thanks. I needed a drink. We should do Twitch Plays Paris. We just have direct you where to go. Oh, my God. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Maybe later tonight. Man, yeah, then we'll feel good. Yep. We'll walk to the, the Latin Quarter from far away and just make it. Yep. Just join Free Labor French Stream Gang. That's right. This is the Rain Gang. It's about to, it's about to start. Let's see if we can find our, our guy. Yeah, well, we, looks like it's we ended up in some alleyway going in circles. That's what we did last night. Yeah. That was fun. The whole night opened up differently in, uh, at the evening. Wait, wait, wait. The I did pay for some of the breakfast, right? I don't think... I can't remember. I don't think so. Then I'll just get this thing. All right. Oh, I keep... I, yeah, are you I sure? I did that. I tapped the card. And it didn't like work? I thought I... thought I We'll check the VOD. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's all on tape. You might have... Oh, you might have paid... I don't think you did. These coins, this is the only downside of... These are huge. Oh, yeah, but those are, that's how you know it's Oh, these are $2. Oh, you're, you're doing cash, right? Well, yes. Or I give you money. Jeff, don't accidentally show social security number thing like on stream. Oh, did I do that almost? Did you? I think I did that. I showed Chris's phone number yes. once. Ooh, ouch. He was not happy about that. <laughs> I wouldn't be either. Uh, that was the very first stream. Delete the VOD, yep. 
you just give enough information about me, not that anyone cares, but if they want to find me on anywhere, they probably could. Yep. Not on Facebook. No, but That's on gone. LinkedIn, probably. Uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> hey, Peter. What's up, Victor? Uh, I just want to leave. Let me see those. Those are the two, right? No, we're not going to delete the stream. We're not going to delete it. I'll, I'll at least let uh, Conk download the VOD. And then, uh, uh, Monsieur? Yes. I think I did a good job there. I looks, I was like this, though. And he, he, he sussed it out. But these Euro coins, I don't understand. Why are they so massive? Well, it's just you can tell which ones are the big ones really easily. This is 50 cents. Oh, I guess those are good. That's huge. Yeah. And they hurt my ass, like, because I have this pocket in my wallet. The, that has the, the coins. Japanese ones, the last model? Yeah. Really? Even the yeah. big, the 100 yen ones? Is there a, do they have a 500 yen one? Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, they have a 500 yen one. It's like a big gold coin. Welcome. Thank you. So what are your impressions of Paris so far? All right, to put it bluntly, I love it. It exceeds my expectations. I'll be honest, when we're walking around uh, Eiffel Tower, and I liked the main promenade of the Arc de Triomphe, where it had that McDonald's that we visited with yeah. the Canadian couple. I liked that street because it was huge. But this city area Thank over you. here is not really my style. For use in Europe, you stream too early, but that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Yoshi. Um, I'm only here for a week, and then we'll be back to... What back to... What's that? What was he hoping for? He was saying that uh, for use in Europe, you stream too early. Oh. So he's, he's subscribing, and uh, but he was saying now the time zones are all messed up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, why do you keep your wallet in your, your back pocket? You're asking to be... I put it in my front. I put it... I, I'm here for nine days total. And we're hey, going... You're a nice uh, French person who told you to, that your wallet was like hanging out at the beginning of this. Yeah, week. that's true. He was... This guy told us right when we were leaving the breakfast place. He was like, Monsieur, your wallet's hanging out of your back pocket. Yep. It was helpful. I'm an idiot. I should not <laughs> travel. And uh, But when we were staying in uh, Bastille, it was... Such an incredible neighborhood, and Alex, I love we, these we cafes. The, the, the what now? Marais. Marais. Yeah, that's like the area that we walked to from Bastille, and so like where all these cafes and things were, and that's like a very, just a very nice, cool, fun area. So mm. it's a good place to start. If you if you don't do it now, do it as soon as we finish the stream. But go watch the first thirty minutes of the stream today, and you'll see just epic, beautiful locations. Yep. Oh, yeah, I mean, you, you were walking around, because you walked from Bastille out to, like, some of those, like, shops. And yeah, I went back to some of the places we went to, and I found this awesome park that had a uh, Louis statue. Oh, really? Yeah, it was really beautiful. Um, sadly, my only time in Paris was in January, and it was so dirty and full of trash in the streets, it smelled of piss. I have not seen <laughs> any of that. Literally zero. That sounds miserable. That sounds awful. <laughs> Sounds like they're in the bad area. <laughs> yeah, uh, in the time I've been here, I, I'm, I've actually think this place is extremely clean. Yeah, Compar I mean, America's still, way dirtier. You do get like uh, areas, or not areas, but you'll run into places that smell bad. It's, it's a big city. But you see that in Tokyo too, where it's like someone's. Yeah. Well, dude, in my back streets of like some of the places I've lived, they'll be puke in the street yeah. because they partied too hard. Not it's, a lot of trash, but New York gets like that. LA is very dirty. I think this is way cleaner than New York or LA. Paris in January, it's kind of depressing. All the yeah. trees are bare. Yeah. Ah, that would be kind of sad. It's nice, gray and cold. Yeah. yeah. I love that. It? Yeah, it's a great time. And like we've been luckier than we thought in terms of weather so far. I think it's it might start raining, but like so far it's been really nice. French wine is tomorrow. Yeah. That's because we figured we have a train ride that we're going to stream the... Uh, we're going to put you guys on like the, a tripod and just let you ASMR enjoy the, hopefully uh, the, cring, the cringe, the French countryside <laughs> of the hills. <laughs> I hate nature. And we're going to Nyon, but I figure that's the time to nurse a, a wine hangover. We don't want to do it tonight because we know beer, we know that, we feel safe with it. And if we... I would like to avoid a hangover at all. But wine is dangerous. Yeah, uh, the cringy side. All right, let's let's get it. Um, Madrid was the cleanest city I've ever been to. Tokyo's pretty clean. Nah, even the city center, and there was actually so much police and even military. Well, I think you had a really unlucky travel, Revy. 
when you you'll see when we go to the, the absolute middle of the city, you'll see some of the you know. But I see that everywhere I've been. Yeah, it's not it's not that bad. It just depends it depends on the area they're in. Stella is the best beer. I'm not going to agree with that so far. I'm more of a craft beer man because I'm a snob now. Yeah, I'll pass on the Stella. We are going to Lyon. Yep. And Nyon. <laughs> Two different places. Yep. Nyon. Nyon and Lyon. There you go. They're like polar opposites too. Nyon is like a 5,000 person small town, like picturesque, little beautiful place. And, and I'm sure Lyon is beautiful too, but it's more of a big city. Oh, come on, Pete, get on a bike and stream a ride from Paris to the Mediterranean. Uh, is that possible? Sure. What's I mean, Mediterranean? It's, it's just where the, like, the big sea, the... That's where we can actually see it from Paris? No. Oh. Oh, you mean that's actually like a trip? Yeah, you just ride from here down to the coast. The problem, my friend, is that I have uh, some appendix issues. Yeah. And heavy exercise is why I... Well, I mean, there's a lot of reasons I'm gaining a bunch of weight, but... That's one of them is that I can't exercise. Yeah. But I bet we could get a bicycle and ride around. Yeah, but the weather is so shit. Maybe. It would be fun, though. But it probably would be a little dangerous just with the uh, distracted riding. Oh. And with how crazy the traffic and everything is. I'd get nervous immediately. I'm afraid of bicycling in Tokyo, and I've lived there forever. Okay, it's 3 a.m., man. I gotta sleep. Thanks so much for the stream. I've had a lot of fun, and hopefully haven't been too annoying with all my weird French facts. Dude. Tuna fish, you were awesome. I, I am so glad that you're able to come by and tell us about what you studied here. Get some rest, and we'll probably be drunk when you wake up. <laughs> and we'll be here streaming and laughing. Yeah, the weather's good now, uh, but we didn't know what to expect. And uh, we're just waiting for the, the check, and then we're going to bounce. But How many days? One day, two days, three days, two days, you make it? I needed that drink very badly. Yeah. My throat. Maybe he's I, waiting on you for that water. Just there. Yeah. Uh, when I was crossing the street, I like inhaled some smog thing from like an exhaust right before I met you. Oh, I heard. I heard that. Yeah. And like it really messed up my throat. Stuck right in there. Yeah. And I was like, oh god, is there a crane game equivalent thing here? I think there's probably. Hey, hound. What's up, buddy? Nice to have uh, the artist extraordinaire. If the stream drops, you'll be able to see his his art. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but his art is good. All right, it's time to... Uh, like the idol. It's time to go. Yeah, we're... Oh, he has a cool little bread. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. He was carrying a baguette. Yeah, well, it's like a different... Type. La petite baguette. It's like a... I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a fruit almost. It's like a really thin... Pete, show me your face. Yo, Arthur, thank you, buddy. Tossing out a gift sub to... There. That's my way of showing the face. Is you look at the camera, bounce it off here, and you can see me. There you go. I don't want to take the camera or the, the back. That's, that's pretty smart. tripod for your phone. So cute. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. No, I'm kidding. That's not my... uh, there goes my breakfast. Okay, so there's two polarized... Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's okay, I got it. Um, thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, a little and bit more, are, though. Yeah. You have total cure, and this is charged for me. This is uh, 36. 36? Yes. All right. Here you go. 36 even. 36. Thank you. Thank you very much. The, uh, you know. Wait, what? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> it's all good. I feel like that's, I wasn't going to argue anything. Yeah. That's how it goes. I think probably the giant coffee was probably a big part of it because that's just not something that... Because they're used to charging like three euros for a tiny coffee. I'm going to tell you what I think. <laughs> I think that we're in a tourist area. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. That was a uh, great pick-me-up, though, of the... Yeah, that's true. I needed a drink very bad. Oh. KP I've been really scared because I've been drinking a lot so my anxiety has been freaking me out thinking I have the same thing you do the appendix thing I have some pains in my stomach can you tell me what the pain felt like sorry for the weird donation love you brother <laughs> listen first of all you know don't ever apologize for you know sending a thing but for me 
I had a, it felt like I had abdominal pain, and I, this sounds so pathetic, I had been exercising uh, before because, you know, I was on a diet, and I was trying to exercise, and I'd been doing lat side raises with a kettlebell, Yeah. and I thought like, okay, this, this thing? yeah, that thing, yeah. And, and show me again, like this thing. yeah, that thing, <laughs> and my right side hurt, like, right there. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I must have hurt like my oblique or something. I just got a really good workout. Yeah. <laughs> Usually we use weights. And so that morning I woke up, I, I had this feeling, and I thought, well, I'm not really that hungry. And I got this pain, and I still worked out that morning. And I thought, well, maybe I'll just, I'll go. And I had dinner that night with my buddy. And when I met him, I could feel like it didn't feel better. And I thought, well, maybe some beers will cure me because usually if you have a couple bruisers you can kind of like you just feel like okay I'm fine no uh, that that night the the pain was quite intense it was extremely painful and when I left the dinner I went home in the middle of like drinking and I collapsed on the floor and went thank you no <laughs> that's <laughs> thank <not>. you. <laughs> weird timing on that yep. but the if you have a pain here's the good news is it's not a hard test to be evaluated on your wallet's your front pocket because that was getting into the I, not right, I just want to make sure that you're oh can you do me a favor then take well I can hold it in my front pocket yeah I'm out of pockets yeah. uh, thank you because I want to take pictures so the I would say go and get a scan it only takes five minutes and you can actually go to your general physician or just a local doctor uh, and get a scan and then that would help you a lot. Ease of peace of mind. But yeah, it sucked. Sucked bad because I can still feel it. Oh, my hair is in the camera. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, so that guy also made me pay a tip, which is I didn't think was in France. Oh, it's a little surcharge at the bottom? Well, it wasn't on the bill. Really? Yeah. He said the, the bill was 33 And he said that 30 three for me or something? Yeah, he's like, and three is my service charge. And I was that's, like... That's this area. You're in the touristy area, you get... Ripped off. Coffee and water, thirty-six bucks. Coffee and water, thirty-six dollars. Yeah. I didn't yenies. You're talking. That right there was five thousand yen. Yeah. That is a night See, of sushi. These guys who were that guy was running, running away. Yeah. Uh, so like they sell. You're not supposed to sell things here. Like the, their little trinkets and like Eiffel Tower things. Ah. And then so they'll sometimes get like chased away by the police. They no way. Away, yeah. They just run away. Yeah, grab everything they have in front. Was he doing that? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. He could have been running for something else, but that's very common. He could be late to a meeting. That's true. <laughs> I don't want to show them yet. Yeah, all right. Are you ready, my... Wow. Are you guys ready? This one's for you, team. Are you ready? Behold the magic... Whoa. <laughs> That's so much bigger than I thought. <laughs> wow. What a cool tower. That is so sick. It's just like Las Vegas. Just like Joplin. There we go. That is an ugly Tokyo Tower. You are wrong. <laughs> That is so beautiful. That was a good reveal by me, I feel. Yeah. Can I have my phone back? Well oh. I'm going to take a couple of pictures. Man, everyone's on like a date here, and then we're stuck. Yeah. Well, at least I have chat. Yeah, chat's cool. I have my phone. How lucky are we that it's such a beautiful day? Yeah. And you get like this amazing cloud cover. All right, together. Wow, that's really big. Uh, all right, me and chat together. Let me take it. Okay, ready, guys? Smile. Don't screw this up. I'm going to get down here. One, two, three. Right. <laughs> that was for you guys. All right, here, I'll get you one. You didn't even get the that's top of the tower, right. you... I, I did, I did. Okay, do it again, do it again, do it again. Jeff sucks at photography. Uh, the center control point is being captured. My phone sucks, yeah. One, two, three. All right. All right, let's take a look. Did you actually get the tower this time? Yeah, that's way better. All right, your turn. 
There we are. Did you get in the, you get in the tower? I'm not taking it yet, you dummy. <laughs> All right. Oh! You're right, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> did you have to zoom out? I don't know what I did. You're I just tall. Yeah, I think that's the problem. Three. Dude, that's huge. Yep. Look at that. Yeah? That's a better one. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right, that's the sad part. Yep. Well, it's okay, it's my trip. Yep. Here you go. I'm going to give I this think back it's to you. you have more action going on. Uh, mine was well, mine was way better. Yeah. Dude, uh, is that a raid? I, I don't. Oh, what's up, Allie? Oh shit! Nice. This is for you, Allie 90. Look at this. <laughs> Perfect timing. Allie 90 in the house. We were just talking about you earlier. Bonjour, like Mademoiselle. Yeah. Oh, I need to get a beret. Yeah. Maybe it's too. <laughs> yeah, well said. Uh, wow. There's a smoking hot beam at the top if we do the Jump King. Yeah, right. That'd be a cool mod. I think you're right. The stairs go crisscrossing yeah. back and forth. All the way to the top. Does it cost money to climb the stairs? Yes. You, it costs money to do physical labor? Yeah. But not as much. I think that elevator is more. Do a panoramic up and down, start at the ground and go up to the sky. All right, let me see the phone again. Okay, I'm done. This What's up, Chafee? Boss says no. What do you mean? What did I do? Here, you get to take a look at a... Uh... Chat? Yeah. Chat, new dad. What is this? All right. I was wondering about uh, Twisted Metal 2 and whether you think about that. Cleve called that out. Oh yeah, it's the Paris stage. Yep. We have to drive our car up there. Why is am I, what am I doing? Okay. Chat's calling out for pockets too, helping out. Here? In the middle of the... Uh oh. Wait, what the, why did the... I don't know, what are you doing? What the, what, look, what, it just started, the tower started falling. <laughs> it's supposed to metal too. <laughs> all right, all right, hold on. I, I, let me see this back. I'll help uh, you out, Cleben. Come here, hair. Lots God, of hair. Jesus. Just, okay, okay, guys. Can we all just wait a second? You know, I'll hold this yeah, thing too. Hold I don't want you to, this, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, hold on, hold on, I've got this. This oh, yeah, is the twist there you go. <laughs> this is for Cleveland. Good. This is like the theme. Yes. Wow. It has like a it has like a rock song. Perfect. They should do it sideways. I think you were doing it sideways, weren't you? Yeah, fake proposed to me. <laughs> Special moment. We'll do that for a thousand bits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna monitor you. <laughs> I think they're enjoying the, uh, the Twisted Metal too. Thank you, buddy. All right, we're going to go faster. Ready? I'm glad they still, they still have the uh, clown uh, nose emote. What is that called? Oh, uh, Premier. It's like the starter one. Yeah, the Premier Clown. Yeah. All right, hold on. Here we go. Make the arrow go up in the sky. That's good advice. Oh, shit. Why did you go right? <laughs> Oh, God. oh no! All right, all right. You do it. You try doing this. Okay, this is impossible. Yeah, you're not good at that. God, it's impossible, guys. What the fuck you doing? I don't know. It, it, the arrow's hard to to do. We're trying to get a panoramic of the Eiffel Tower from the ground to the top, and I'm really struggling with it. Oh, Jeff's a dummy. He, yeah, he got it. Is that right? What do you think? 
I might, it's all right. It's good enough. We're gonna do a. Let's okay. Let's let's take a big a scale back. So wow, this is incredible, huh? Yep. At least I had the lens cap off. So which is better, the Eiffel Tower or the Arc de Triomphe? I like this park they have here. Yeah, I, like the, I do like the park side of things. And they have like events going on, so there's a whole thing going on back there as part of the, in the park. Probably with food, trucks and things like that. Some uh, yacht ties, some stalls. Yeah, they might, it's almost like a stage or something like that over there. It's kind of cool. I wish this was, oh, that's so sick. That guy's awesome. Whoa! Who's taking the picture? I don't know. He's gonna walk in or I did. <laughs> I okay. took it. Yep, you did. There we go. That guy was way cool. Yep. My turn. Yeah, you try. Should I think we should climb the stairs? You do. Let's go. What do you guys think? Should we climb the? Uh, should we climb the, the stairs? This sounds like Tony Hawk music. I don't know. <laughs> you go to the stairs now. Something like that. I hear Chinese speaking. Hot. Let's see what this says. <laughs> no. Okay, two things. I'm not laughing at your serious <laughs> issue. But the, the TTS didn't pause. No. He, you, you have to add a punctuation or Brian sounds like really messed up. Um... <laughs> And then the second thing is, if you had a motorcycle accident and you're feeling any residual pain, I highly encourage you, and I am not, I am not a doctor, obviously. But this is medical advice. But this is medical advice. Always listen to your body. If you have pain, get it checked out, because it's not just going to be a one-off. It's not your fault, buddy. You had problems going up the... Oh, yeah, and the two... No, I did not. Yes, I did. It is a, it is a hike up there. But it reminds me of Ghostbusters. They say, where do these stairs go? They go up. Hey, look, That's lock. That's why we're doing that? Oh, yeah, just one. We are in France, my friends. Allie 90 thanks again for the raid. Everyone go check her out. She's an amazing person. We were talking about you about, how do we get in there? This way. Let's go. We, uh, because I want to visit uh, Melbourne, hang out with you and Fermata. She, you know, Allie recently, you know, we were able to raid her channel after the cyclothon, which mm -hmm. was awesome, because we're never on when she's the live worked yeah out finally and um she messaged me she said uh, i've been telling her to try these horoyois which is the kind of kalpis sweet drink alcohol that i like in japan mm -hmm. it's like a it's sugary but good and she said i couldn't find those but i got a 12 pack of strong zero Ooh, and i said oh baby that's not what we're looking for no. and i said that's great when i visit melbourne There'll still be 11 and a half cans left <laughs> because I don't. I'm, I'm curious if you'll. The I strong zeros are waiting. That's a, I don't know. You, maybe you're right. Maybe the. Uh, as much as I would like the experience of the stairs with the appendix issue and all, me uh, destroying them. Yeah, that's risk. It's the first day of the trip. Yep. Oh, well, they chose climb the stairs. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> Well, I mean, we can see how I feel. How many flights is it if this was like a building? You can probably count it. Like the ninth? I mean, up to there is probably like 10, no, probably more than that. 20. Just to the first level. Pete also, smells like bread and cheese. How dare you? It's also this big line that we'll just wait in. 15. 15 easy. Oh. Hmm. Not what I was excited for. A line? Do you think if I tell them I'm a partner on Twitch, yeah. they'll let me just jump to Listen, the front? Uh, we just ran a poll, and they said we got to do this. Can we please skip this line? <laughs> you can do it step by step. Worldwide, you don't understand. You don't understand. There's hundreds of people yep. who voted. Yep. 
And then Cleveland's like, only 30 voted. I'm like, well, there's some who could have voted. Streamer fast pass? Oh, Bubby. I don't know about this. Well, you're only in France for once. That, and they, they always say to spend your time waiting in a queue. <laughs> I think that's the number one thing recommended on TripAdvisor. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, bye. The top is closed. Oh. Cumbre Serrada. That's not the. That's not French. Wait. So with ticket, without ticket. Can you read that? Uh, I read it through sunglasses. Oh, for the Oh, because of the. Maybe that's not what Entry to Eiffel, the entrance to the Eiffel Tower. Access par vie gratuit. Oh, access to the Esplanade is free. Security check. There's English. We could have just read it. Well, I know, but it was. I thought it said. That's what I read it in originally. It's English. What does it say for the top? I might have gotten the thing wrong. This Spanish. Huh. Influence. Make friends with the people at the beginning of the line. That never works. Uh, well, that's too bad. I think I'd, I'd be going up first thing in the morning. Yeah, that's a good idea. Huh. Well, what do you think? Is it worth it? I don't care. Uh, I don't. <laughs> okay, we're done. Here we go. Jeff has spoken. Um, listen, sorry about the poll, but here's the good news. Is that we're going to walk around and around 2 p.m. snag a bite to eat. Then that'll coast us right to boat time. Yeah. And then boat time's where the real action begins. I think... Um and they have like some of the prices. I think we can, we'll do a quick walk around and then we'll walk back to where this like, uh, Notre Dame. Ow. And, oh, she just ran me. <laughs> no. uh, I banged my sunglasses on chat. Oh, nice. Because I'm an idiot. There's too many cues. Uh, are you not there for a few more days? You could do it early tomorrow. So uh, we are. But here's the thing nighttime is when Pete and Jeff come alive. That's true. That's where we have our fun. That's when the excitement starts. That's where we turn off the camera and have way too much to drink and yep. joke. About. Although last night I crashed hard. Yeah, I was feeling good till around 11 o'clock. Well, well. Yeah. Fell asleep at the right time. I did. I woke up super early today, like yep. 6.30. But I felt good at like 10.30. I was like, let's go grab a beer. Let's, let's have a dart. Yep. And then at like 10.38, I was like, Jeff, I'm done. Yep. I was mid boring story. Yeah, no. I was really right to sleep. <laughs> it was perfect. It was great. How's the jet lag? I felt pretty good. I think the only I can recommend Montmartre. Uh, Montmartre. 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 Damn it. You say the little uh, the TRE at the end, but with like the back of your throat. Well, the uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, the jet lag. So my travel itinerary. Just because the way it worked out ended up being about, hold on a second, 24 hours, 29 total, from leaving my apartment to arriving in uh, Paris. And I'm not complaining or anything. I'm just saying that's the, uh... wow, these storm clouds are coming in quick. Yeah. It was, because like, I just took a picture now, and look at that, like minutes oh, yeah. ago, it was, yeah. it was like blue. Oh, I got sunburned so bad while in the van with the guys. Really? Yeah, I didn't even think about oh, it. In the van? Yeah, like in it, when I'd step out and stuff. Oh. All right, hold on a minute. Let me see what you guys are saying. Yeah, it was 29 hours. I had a lay. It was 13 hours to Doha, in the in Qatar, and then a four and a half hour layover there, which wasn't actually that bad because you get to sit down and grab a coffee. And it was, but it was crazy. I arrived in Doha at 3.30 in the morning, and uh, DG Medic, a, a mod of this channel, mentioned that a lot of the flights to the United Arab, or the uh, U, how do you, yeah. United the, the, Arab Emirates, well, that's, yeah. to the UAB, UAE, UAE, yes, they, uh, they, yeah, Emirates is an E, they, <laughs> you went with the Arab, <laughs> the UAE, I think
Alabama, Birmingham. <laughs> <That's, yeah. laughs> they, because it's so hot during the day, they often have their stuff at night, like their planes arrive at night. Yeah. So that's usually what scares me about traveling to Europe. It's usually over 30 hours of traveling. It's a lot. It was brutal. But I did sleep for four and a half hours on one of the legs. And then from Doha to France, it's nine hours. Well, and then factor in, too, like door-to-door. -door. If you're going from your apartment to the uh, to Narita Airport, that's another, what? Well, that was an hour stuff. and 20 minutes yeah. or so. And Plus, I had to be three or four hours early because it's international. Yeah. So, yeah, tw it was like 29 or 30 hours. But I arrived. Demo. Demo. You should definitely drink more water because of your appendix, Ooh, and point. then you can have some beer. True. We'll pay for that really expensive water at that place again. It's <laughs> more of those. Oh my God, that was an ex. That was I want to see that, not now, but I want to see that receipt. I want to see exactly what we paid. That was a lot. It was. It was a lot. Thirty-six euros. For yeah. Two small waters. Yeah, and two, and large, two coffees. large coffees. It was tough, but that's why. I, that's why I. Uh, and I was telling Jeff, I lost. 70,000 yen on conversion. That's a lot of yen. How much, how much was our, the dinner Thank last you. night total? Do you remember? 70. Total. Not per person. Hold on a second. <laughs> Smashy Eggman. Great name as well. Thanks, buddy. Paris has been 24 hours as of this moment. And it's been... Actually, not yet. 22. It's been amazing. Yeah, that was a scam. Yeah. That, yeah, last night was 70 euros so, for... So we paid half of that... And last night we had, yeah, had Monsieur Croquet. Yeah. Two or th we had two beers, desserts, cafes, cafes, and then uh, we had two entrees. You had the, the steak tartare or yeah. beef? Beef tartare. Yeah. Beef tartare. Yeah, but you know what? That's all right. I was really thirsty. Also, my girlfriend thought it was sweet for your advice. Well, good, Reaper. I mean, listen, man. It's all like every year on New Year's, I always remember, I always think, like, huh. I wonder what three bad things will befall me this year. Because there's usually about three major inconveniences yeah. you have in a year. Uh, appendix was definitely, that, that's it. You, that's your outlook? You like expect three yeah. big major? Yeah, three big major shits. Okay. And uh, one was like the American Airlines yeah. in Austin. Yeah. Do you like keep track of them? Like, all right, that's... Yeah, I'm like when, for three so yep, far. that's exactly, and I think about it, I go, well, oh, that's one of the, well, it helps me temper expectations of it being like, because way more than three bad, or way more than three good things happen. Okay. Like, I'm going to have like a hundred cool things, or thousands. But I usually think there's going to be three really shitty things. I see. So I might as well just be like, well, you know what? That's just... But what if you hit the three and it's kind there's of pretty four? early in the year? Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Although this year, I just need to... They kind of went back to back to back really quick. Yeah. Because I got COVID right when I quit teaching. Oh, so you're already at three. I'm at three. But we're only in September. Ooh, right. So I just have to, hopefully, these okay. last... Well, technically four because the surgery's on my birthday. Okay. So, but like, you know, you try to get to those three. I actually think this is a really dumb way of thinking now that I said it out loud. <laughs> yeah. But the point is, I was trying to make, is that if you have something that you feel uncomfortable or like your body feels weird, it's just the tax of living, my man. Better to get it taken care of. And just suffer it and then be done. And the sooner you take care of it, the better. Yep. The longer you wait. You've got your uh, other phone in your pocket. Oh, yeah. Can I give this back to you? Yeah. Thanks. Sorry. Well, I'm at three. <laughs> hey, and some years it's, be it's, it's like I'll have like, I'll look back on it on like around that New Year's time on the 31st. And I'll think like, I wonder what my three were this year. And it'll be like, ah, I remember I stubbed my toe. Oh, so you actually will look back. And I'll remember it, yeah. Find a thing that counts. Yeah. So you oh. might have to reach for the three. Yes, so that's you what didn't so. Have a bad year. Yeah, I'll be like, uh. Mmm. The. So, this seems like, yeah, this seems like there's some revisionist history. Well, I, I, not. I, there the, can be. But it also. No, 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 the your point. Yes. Your reality. So, well, no, it's not a self fulfilling prophecy. It's a, it's a, it's just an idea of saying, all right, New Year's coming up. Here's my goals, and don't be disappointed or set back if some bad things happen. Okay. Because in general, for me, about three bad things happen for you. Good things happen for you. Oh, I'd say thousands. You, but you don't keep track of those. I mentally make a note that I'm like, like, like. Okay, here's a good example. When we were kids, and my mother or your mother would get a good parking spot. Do you remember what they'd say? Uh, they'd think. Uh, 
Saint Christopher or something like that. Maybe or, your mom. Oh, she's no, weird. No, she's. That's when they lose lose something. They thanks. Yeah, there's like a saint of lost things. Oh, they would. Yeah, well, yeah, my mom would say thank you, Papa Pete. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. And uh, so they're just thinking like. So I'll make a mental note not to pop up Pete, but uh, I'll be like, oh, damn, this is a really cool little benefit. And uh, it's way, way, way too high to even come close to the bad stuff. I see. I mean, I'm in Paris. Yeah. And even if something shitty happened right now, I'm still in Paris. That's true. Traveling. That is true. Yeah, I went to Catholic school uh, for a year of teaching. Did you remember that? Wait. I was in St. Agnes, my kindergarten year. Oh, I didn't remember that. Yeah, buddy. I'm a man of many. Yeah. Oh. Honestly, I think this way of thinking would help me not take it too hard because it's expected that some three bad things will happen. All that's three. Well, I mean, that's just what I said. You get three. You get three. I get three. You get. Chat gets a let. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that's. But uh, because I before I started this outlook. But okay, let me ask you this okay, before okay. you... Before yeah, you. yeah, go ahead. So, if I say I'm going to have three... Well, I'm expecting year, three. You're expecting three, and at the end of the year, if you didn't have three major ones, you can still look back. You're not. I know you're, the stub toe might not be the thing, but you might have to reach a little bit to say, like, that was one of the three. Yeah. But it, let's just say that if your outlook were, I'm going to have ten bad things, because that's what I usually have. Isn't there a little bit of self-fulfilling prophecy? Yeah. Like well, I think it's not about... How do I say it, I guess? I already felt I said it. There's a cute little dog over there, by the way. Um, it's, oh, yeah. it's more, it's not expecting the number. The ground quakes. Thank you, mate. Uh, whoever just subbed, oh, thank yeah. you. Cute dog right here. Val, that's the one I said. Oh, I thought you were talking about this another one over there. No, I meant that one. Oh. Hello, puppy. So cute. So tiny. Uh, it's more about the expectation that it's mentally preparing myself for some setbacks. Oh, look at this one. Oh, so cute. <laughs> He's ready to go. I'll not. What's dog in French? Chien. Chien? How do I say a cute dog in French? Um, ton joli chien. Or, uh, it's like mignon, or joli is like pretty, or like, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll it's way harder. I'll defer to the yeah. French people. I think Japanese say kawaii nu. Yeah. Um, oh, kawaii like, chom. Cute both, rat. Both. <laughs> like beautiful dog? Cute rat. <laughs> <laughs> Cute rat. So yeah, that's that was the that was the attempt. Chion mignon. Mignon. There you go. I thought cute. that was like filet mignon. Also, cute filet. Oh, is that what that means? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Well, those people might have been... I don't know if they were travelers. They might have been French people. Yeah. You were just throwing out a bunch of cute words at them. Well, they're a cute dog. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the uh, that's the thing. Oh, but, but the whole point was, before that, I used to be... If you guys know me, I have wild swings of luck. Like, I would consider my job in general that I had in teaching as a giant negative. <laughs> like, that's a bad thing that happened due to the, you could, you could easily cite work experiences, so I don't count those. I mainly use it for like but physical. You're, but you're saying, I mean, but something might have happened at work that could be one of those. Could three. be. Yeah. But like when the kid elbowed my mouth and I had to get the surgery. Yeah. All right. Well, that well, was when one. you, what, you were playing basketball? And yeah, yeah. The kid elbowed me right above. Oh, that's when that happened. Yeah. Wait, was it you or Ian who like got a huge cut from falling and, or is this the same event that I'm thinking of? On my head? Yeah. That was my first year in Japan. Okay. And I, I fell into a piano while playing That's basketball, right. and I had to get nine staples. That's one of the three. That was definitely one of the three. <laughs> <laughs> and that was in April. So I saw, I was like, I was like, oh, man. Yep. Uh, but, but I was also in my first month in Japan, which yep. is a huge positive. Or when the, the, the mall company that you were working for sort of fell, started falling apart. That would be one of three, maybe. I think that whole year... That was just a wash. We had a lot of negatives. That was, a one of them. <laughs> that was the year where there was... And in fact, the year after that, where I was working at MLS, may have been the first time that the negatives outweighed the positives. You were starting to rethink whether it was a good idea to be there? Yep. Well, I mean, I was stealing toilet paper from the public urinals. Oh, yeah. And I went on that egg diet for six weeks, yeah. which did a lot of damage to my cholesterol. I think the first time I visited you was not too long after that. 
It was like... It was right after that, yeah. Yeah, because you were in that very small apartment. Yeah, the piano was on a court because we were renting... Oh, no, we were renting. The, the local school in Niigata allowed us to use their gym at night. Pete, having heard your story of starting in Japan, I think it's amazing you thought of that as a positive. Well, being completely and utterly broke, and I screwed up really bad in my first two years. I didn't know that health insurance was mandatory in this country. I thought it was elective. Oops. So I did not use health insurance for 18 months, and that is like the limit. And then they, they, uh, how do you say, garnished my wages. Oh. So I woke up one day, I went to go pay my rent. All my money was gone. That was a tough one. Bonjour! Hello, Usagi! So, uh, but you gotta remember, I was also living in like, such a cool city. That's true. And every day I'd wake up and see like all these crazy cool things, like right now in Paris. Like the fact that, like, this is so cool to me, look at this. Yeah. There's an entire park right in the city center. So this is still part of the, uh, this still leads up to the Eiffel Tower. It's just this long. Really? Yeah. This is the Eiffel Tower zone. It's like the Champs de Mars, which is like the Mars. He was like struggling. Did you hear that? Oh, was he really? He was like, oh. but he was running, and you're, I hear the same breath from you, just from walking. <laughs> <laughs> That's just sometimes I pause randomly <laughs> and go, oh. That would have been you, like two flights up after we paid for the privilege. Of doing that. <laughs> <laughs> we waited in line for me to have an appendix failure. <laughs> How did the house hunting go for Yuki? Thank you for asking. They did garnish. They garnished me. Um, I went through a lot my first two years. It's much easier now than the teachers get actual national health plan. They do. But back then it was unknown. Um, but Yuki loved the house. Oh. The only fear is the cost. Check out like, the little ping pong tables. So you're in the public park. What? That's, pretty cool, right? That's awesome. You can just play like a family game of have some fun. Yep. You got three, four. I wish there was public... Paddles? Yeah. <laughs> Still, though, you could go and buy those at some hobby shop. Yeah. We could do that today. And they got a little soccer, uh, like a little futsal court, I guess. Have you been to Vienna? No. They said that you'd love it if you loved the trees of Paris. Yeah? Wait, there's a, what is this over here? Like a futsal? futsal? Yeah, a little soccer, mini soccer. I hear basketballs. Yep. Let's go see the street game. If Ian was here, he'd have a, a morning run. I mean, you're already in your, your basketball wear. <laughs> Jeans and... You're ready to go. Give them the POV of the... Oh, yeah. This is my crossover. Sniper, the three-point specialist. We played in Vegas together, and it was not good. Oh, that's right. At the gym? Go to Paris. Go to the Eiffel Tower. No way. Let's play table tennis. That's right. <laughs> we play it at the Eiffel Tower. It's right there. Yeah, we played at the Eiffel Tower. Let's see the local run. How you doing, Robin? All right, man. Have a good time with some anime. Uh, if you see this, thanks a lot for the advice. It was really relaxing hearing from you guys. Love you so much, my guy. Take it easy for the night if I don't catch you in the boat. Thank you. Appreciate that, Arthur, uh, Reaper. Take care, man. Did you bring a piano for the street basketball game? <laughs> oh, look at these guys. They got a little six-on-six -six action almost. <laughs> Let's see. That's like in Rocket League, the chaos mode. Let's see what the chat has to say. Let's wow. see if Brian can speak French. Okay. 79 is Soissant Dix Neuf. Nope. Dix Neuf. What's that? Uh, 79. Soissant uh, Dix Neuf. Oh, that's close. They say 60, 10, they say 60, 10, 9. Why? Like, 19 is... Oh, wait, here comes the long range. Oh! Close! <laughs> Maybe it's five on five. Step curvy. That's All right. Step if he makes this, I'll buy you a beer. All right. If he misses it, you have to buy me a beer. No. No. <laughs> I hear that before. Why? Why? That was. Oh shit! It's right behind us. Can I have my phone again? Jeff did not take that bet because he's a coward. Just remember that. I knew. That would have been bad. Hold on a minute, I'm going to see what the... He was, no, 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 Juku. No, no, Juku. It's the same in Japanese. They would say 7, 10, 9. Yeah. No, no, Juku. Oh, yeah, I see. And it's 60, 10, 9. Is no, no, Ju means 70. 
Okay. Q. I say nine. Nana Q. Yeah. But in French, it's 60, 10, 9, not 70, not 70. 7, 10, 9. Yeah, yeah. 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1. No. No. There was 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. That's Clue. Oh. Have you not seen Clue in a while? The only thing I'm afraid of is... The ball. Hit yes. <laughs> it's a strong possibility. Let's see the, uh, the team play, and there it is. That was fun. Let's go, chat. Time to go. I watched Clue on the plane. Really? It's freaking hilarious still. And a lot more jokes than I remember. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it was all that water we paid for. Giant coffee. And the coffee. Are you guys... Uh, Clue holds up? It does. There's a couple things. There's a lot of, like, uh, um, communism jokes in there. Really? Yeah. Just and that era. Yeah, I think it was that era of, like, and the, the whole point of the communism jokes is they keep using it as a red herring. But, like, it, because it's all political stuff. Each member of Clue, I guess, is, oh, wow, there's a light show. A fake electronic light show. Was they're all DC political people. Let me go around this spot. Yeah, I'm going to take you guys to the bathroom. Tim Curry is amazing in Clue. Actually, everybody is amazing in Clue. Tim Curry, uh, Madeline Kahn is... Uh, I got flames, flames on the side of my face. Wait, there's no... You can't take pictures of the Eiffel Tower at night? That can't be right. That doesn't sound like a thing. I like seeing that there's people in the park just relaxing with a picture of the Eiffel Tower. It's so cool. But I kind of want to get up a little bit further so they're not in the picture, though. What a cool tower. Clue is great. I've played the singing Telegram Girl in live movie Shadowcast of the movie for many years. Really? I am your singing Telegram. Bang. Yeah, that's so cool, Jenny. Who would I be if I was in that? I think I would be either Professor Plum or Mr. Green. That's who I say. Or maybe I could pull off a, the, the butler. Yeah. You'd be Mr. Body. What was his he's name? the weird guy at the beginning who's yeah. like, he, he's the first one to die. Yeah, that's me. That sounds right. <laughs> Mr. Plum. Professor Plum to you. What's up, fake Sea Dog DA? Thanks. <laughs> it's a great name. When Clue came out in the theater, you only got one of the endings. I know, that's the best part. Oh. And you had to, ow, damn it, I keep hitting my face. You have to go to the different, you got to go to different screenings of different. Oh, that's genius. Yeah. Great Very, yeah. How does the Eiffel Tower compare to Tokyo Tower? So here's the cool pros. Good question, Robin. Jeff, have you been to Tokyo Tower? No. Well, what do you think the pros... Well, I'll just tell you since I've been to both. <laughs> I don't care about your I opinion. I compare it to Las Vegas, uh, Paris. All right, let's hear that. Well, Las Vegas, Paris has gambling. That's good. And also great food. Okay. And an Eiffel Tower. Is it big? It's not as big as that. It's modest. It's modest. Um, and you can go up into it. Uh, but it's also hot as balls. Oh. And, and they uh, charge even more, I would and think. And now you have to pay for parking there. Uh, uh, edge goes to this one, in my opinion. You need a license to show Eiffel Tower in big commercial film or TV productions because of the artist's rights to Night Light Show. Oh, well, how about that? There are also, uh, side note, any sort of like uh, city skyline, uh -huh. there are like copyright uh, implications for showing those in like a game, a video game, or like a, of what? Of Paris or Las Vegas? Like New York, Las Vegas, whatever. Really? Yeah. Huh. Have to be careful with the the skyline. As a Twitch streamer who yeah. broadcasts the Olympics, yeah. Yeah. I've learned you a lot about copyright. <laughs> and they're pretty strict on some of those. Yep. You think you might be small, and you know. You think that you could just rebroadcast the live an Olympic show? <laughs> no. Apparently so. Not. So the Tokyo Tower is awesome because it's right near its station and it's wonderfully built around this a collection of like character goods and neat little shops and food and whatever. And it's right in the heart of Tokyo. So the view is 
outstanding. Yeah. Sky Tree is a bit better actually. Tokyo Towers, I'm using the Sky Tree as an example, not Tokyo Tower anymore. Then the, the pro of the Eiffel Tower though, one is the immense scale when you get to see it from the fields. The, the green stuff around it, mega pro. Yep. That you could just go there and there's parks around it. Take from, a blanket and have a picnic. Yep. So I feel like if I was to pick one, the Tokyo Sky Tree is super new, really beautiful, and has some great scenes. And the line doesn't take that long, maybe 25 minutes if you're midday. You. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Keep up the great content. Really enjoy your streams, Premier Pet. <laughs> That makes me happy. I was kind of nervous about streaming France because I didn't know if we would be interesting just shooting the shit because there was no charity, there was no ultimate goal, just us hanging out. But uh, I, I would give the edge slightly to the Eiffel Tower because I think the, the design around it is just pretty awesome. Except for the water and coffee. That was bullshit. Yeah, Edge goes to Tokyo. On that. Way, way. And you can get a vending machine anywhere in Tokyo. Yeah, I don't think that would happen in, in Tokyo. Just in general, even in touristy areas of Tokyo. I'm still pissed. Yeah. That was total bullshit. Yeah, he got us. He got us with his charm and his, his <laughs> smile. Yeah, I got sucked in by his charisma. You didn't want to argue on stream? No, I didn't, well, I didn't want to argue off stream. <laughs> if I was going to say, like, oh, mon dieu. <laughs> what's that mean? It's too expensive. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's where I'd go. Nope. And I didn't want to pull you into like suddenly you have to do it. Yep. But that's probably how it would have gone. I just saw you and found out you were in France. Pretty whack. Well, it is a surprise. I don't. I've never been to Europe. This is my first time here, and uh, I get to go to the UK this December. I'm very excited about that. But I mean, what's crazy is if you're new to the channel. It just looks like I'm an IRL guy. Yeah, that's true. I'm doing Van King. I'm doing like, let's hang out, let's go. Is that a toilet right there? Uh, it is. Cool. Can I try it? Yeah. All right. Stuck in the line. Does it cost money? Uh, we're explaining how it works, I think. Huh. Is it? Cost. I'll let you. It does? It's free? You should go first. Okay. Oh. There's a man inside. That is very clean. I don't need to take a dump, so I'll still use it. I'm not going to watch a guy go in there, though. Public toilet. It's. That is a strong smell, though, I'll tell you that. You want to just find another one? Nope. Alright. In for a dollar, in for. Oh, it's a group party. All right, let's go. I don't like yeah, It's already getting... You didn't see what we saw. It looked a little hard. I think Sea Dog VA viewers know you as the enthusiastic uncle who has done a lot of crazy jobs. Well, that's good. I'll take that. But mainly, I love playing video games. That's like the whole reason I got into Twitch was to share my enthusiasm of video juegos. And we haven't done that in like two weeks. Pete arrives to Europe in the first time and the queen dies. Coincidence? I don't think so. It's a shame we had to escape to Paris. We could, um... How do you say wait in French? Aton. Aton. Yeah. And like with, with every verb like that, there's like the formal and the informal. What's the formal version? Attendez. Attendez? Yeah. Oh, I shouted that to like a yeah, taxi. Yeah, yeah. How would you... Was that... No. No. Wow, you're right. You, this is incredible. We have 850 viewers, oh, which wow. is way more than Fire Emblem. Yeah. Well, you benefited from that raid. I did. Yeah. Ali came in clutch. I remember Jump King. You loved fun. No. <laughs> no. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. So this stop is called the military school. And I don't know, I'm assuming it's like the, you know, obviously the national military. And like, like the, maybe like the West Point kind of thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where do you want to eat? I'm uh, not even hungry, really. We can stop and get like a beer since it's afternoon now. We're not degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> that way you can use a normal restroom. Ah, you're right. Um, the Jump I King arc was... Oh, go ahead. One of these. Let's kind no, of see no, no. a little farther away. I need to readjust my pants. That's the main thing. These are... This backpack is heavy. No, no, no. I was just kidding about Fire Emblem. It's very good. I think any time you play an RPG on stream... And my, my advice is... I'm very lucky because Chris and Connor and a lot of people have helped shout me out and boost this channel, but... 
I will always play games that I want to play. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to. It's, it's going to be not enjoyable. I'm just going to be miserable. Yeah. And ultimately, I think it's going to be more entertaining if you're actually oh. genuinely enjoying what you're doing. Uh oh. What? That's rain. Oh. Uh oh. Here, you want this? Not yet. Thanks, Pete, for streaming this Street View of Paris. Really great and fascinating use of Twitch. Well, I'm hardly the first, but I hopefully some other better people come out with content in a bit. But it looks like we finally couldn't outrun it, huh? Yep. The rain has arrived, my friends. You know what I'm surprised by? Is the quality of the stream for only one SIM card. Yeah, that's true. Haven't had too many drops. And no, no, only... we've had have been, like, underground and stuff like that. Yeah. Chris knows you, you hold untapped potential. You're a seed investment, in it? That's right. You're a what? A seed investment. I don't oh. know what a seed is, but I'll take it. I just know I'm in a, I like that investment line. Seed investment. It's like the Kickstarter kind of... Oh! Yeah. Thanks for the weather update, Pete. Weird to live close enough to where you're streaming that it's relevant. <laughs> yeah, there's rain coming your way. Make sure you close your windows and bring in your laundry. <laughs> It's so getting they're messy. In France or in, they're in France? They must be in the neighborhood. Stream looks great and sounds is clear. Good. I'm about to give this backpack to Jeff for like five minutes. Oh, good. See what you think of wearing the uh, the pressure. Oh boy. So then they get a, a, a bit higher street view. Plus they get you in the frame. No, all my head. Yeah. All right, we'll find a. Hopefully we can find just like a covered cafe kind of thing, you know? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, we can. We don't have to hurry. But like, the the good thing was, there's like about one every 13 feet. Ooh, here it comes. Here comes the rain. So it's 1 p.m., so even more acceptable. To, to drink? drink? Yeah. You were really just counting down that 1201. Yeah. <laughs> only visiting France and then back to Japan or visiting more? I'm only visiting France. We're going to three cities uh, over the course of 10 days. Paris. Nyon, 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 and Lyon. Yep. Then back to Rain Gang. Rise up! It's finally time. Let's I go, Rain a, Gang. I brought a rain jacket. Jeff came fully prepared. Okay, I'm gonna start my rice, make and eat shumai along with it. Ooh, nice. That sounds really good. What's up, Zyla? Bonjour. Bonjour, Zyla. I'm going to post this one more time, uh oh, that means I missed it a few times, <laughs> for you to see basic European tourist trip. Never go to restaurants and cafes at wide open places, big touristy streets and such. Of course. Yeah. I mean, I, I appreciate that advice. Um, I think the only problem was we are in a very, very heavily touristy area. And I, I knew that the cafe lunch or thing, I was just really thirsty. And I was a little tired, so I wanted a little midday pick-me-up. And honestly, I was looking for a Starbucks. That's or, bad. Well, you know, I thought there might be one in like a touristy zone, and I knew it'd be like seven euros or whatever, not 36. Cool views count number 410. So Jeff told me, I don't know if you guys can, oh, you can see it here. It says Avenue du Luendal. So instead of putting the streets on like these posts, they have them on the buildings. Look at how cool this, are these apartments? Um, I don't know, but probably. I, I haven't seen a single home yet. No, you don't see that. You're not gonna see like a townhouse or anything. It's all apartments and buildings like this. And, like the ground floor is called the Rue de Chaussée, which is like the, the foot level, you know? Mm, which and, is ground zero, yep, and they then, call it. So everything, right, that's the thing with like the elevators. The ground level is zero, and the second floor, the, as we would think of it, is the first floor, and then it goes up. Okay, there, that's so. some, yeah. yeah it's just so a the, the French tree. So, yeah. So the, in France, the, this, all of these places don't have apartments on the first floor. They're all shops. Right. And then above it... How warm is it there? Or just right? Uh... Today has been like weird, uh oh. It's like weird swings, right? Yeah, this morning was cold, like yeah. legit. I was like, I should have brought a jacket. And then the, the around 10 a.m. or 10.30, it was actually really hot. And now it's lightly raining. It's still like warm-ish, but not. It's also because we've been walking around. 
Yeah, it's, like um, it's a perfectly fine temperature. I'm about to put you guys in my pocket though because it's starting to rain. Um, this might be a good spot right here. This oh wait, the buildings on your left and third floor is the rooms for the owners. Oh really? Oh, I didn't know that. See, that's pretty fascinating. Um, where have we been? Alright, I'm putting my phone away for just a few minutes. What about this little spot? This place is not dirty. The service continue. Yeah. Le bistro de Gaspar. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I love bistro as a word. You said it exactly right. Well, how do you say it? Le bistro de Gaspar. I was close. You were close. Um, what was I going to say? The, uh... Oh, where have we visited? So I've only been in, officially, right now, I've been in Paris for two hours. Alright, no. 24 hours. <laughs> I've been in Paris for 24 hours. Um, we've been to Bastille. We went to... What was the road called? Uh, which... I mean, the other area... Oh, we, we, no, 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 no. The one near our, our place. Oh, you went, we went to Le Marais. Le Marais. Yep. We went to, yeah. The ground quakes. Oh, okay. Okay. Whoever just subscribed, I really owe you one. Thank you. Might be good just to take some at the end so we don't... Perfect. This is our spot, guys. And that tray, I guess, yeah. Um, I'll tell them, and then I'm going to run to the restroom, too. All right, I'll just sit here with the gang. Uh, All right. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll be nice this time, guys. Oh man, hold on. That's so sweaty. I feel so fat. Yeah, this is so no one can sneak up on me, you're damn right. Uh, it was a little, oh, I just realized I was scratching my back. And there's, a, I need a wipe. I got you guys. Uh, why the Paris trip? All right, give me a second. What's up, restaurant gang? You know what? I'm trying to decide how to work this. I feel like this is the wrong angle. I might switch with you guys so that you can look out and then I'll sit over there. But just give me a second. Hi. Welcome to Premiere 2. These are Jeff's sunglasses I borrowed. Not bad. It's date time. Uh, I don't have a napkin yet to wipe you guys. So, the... What was I going to... Okay. Can you just sit next to me here? Yeah. I'm going to sit on this side. Oh, really? Yeah, probably. Okay. Because I, I want them to see the... Oh, yeah. So yeah. I'll sit there? This okay. is where the backpack is. Oh, okay. So you're going to sit there. Oh. Oh, but you're saying it's going to aim that way? Yeah, I just want them to have a... Uh, a better view. This looks like I just had myself a whole day. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jeff. I'm still standing, though. <laughs> wow. You feel great? You feel all right there? Yeah, I'm doing great. How much did you have? So wait, you're gonna sit and block the view. Sit staring at the window. Sadly. Oh, look at the reflection at least. Well, I mean, I just want them to have a cool, no, I cool view. That's a good call. Oh. We're doing the opposite of what the French do. <laughs> <laughs> this is very unusual. We look We're like just. We protest against yeah. their culture. <laughs> <laughs> we <were filming>. oh. <laughs> oh, don't protest that much. They didn't like it. Chat was like, all right, we'll leave. Maybe you could, like, yeah. There we go. Second yeah. Let's see. Cam needs a wipe down. I know, but I don't have a. I don't have a. I'm afraid to use my fingers. Uh, I'm waiting for a little tissue. Bonjour. Hello. Don't let us fall, Pete. We'll develop trust issues. I thought you guys already gave up on that when I threw you in the back of the van, or several times left you for Sea Dogs chat because he'd give me the backpack and be like, talk to them for a few minutes, and then I felt bad because. 
suddenly I'm having his thing, and like this lonely cam would just be in the car facing wow. out, and I just abandoned. Holy crap, Pete! I went to work and everything, and you're still here. You're damn right, Magnum. Oh, since the beginning of the use your sleeve to wipe. Yeah, that's, 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 that's okay. Yeah. I better see a merci beaucoup. The food looks pretty good, too. It does? Yeah, I'm gonna get some. I'm starving. Oh, you're hungry? I drank all this wine. Oh, you know what? Yeah, perfect, thanks. You should get some lens wipes. Alright, Epic, I'm gonna make fun of you again. Why? I don't usually make fun of chat. Oh. oh, you should get some food. Okay, listen, I had them, but I gave them all to Connor when he didn't bring his, and they're all gone now. Even the lens wipes? Yeah. And so I had an entire case of them, but... <laughs> yeah, that's good advice, but Epic's thrown out, around a lot of those lately. I, used to... <laughs> I was high on Epic pretty early on. I still like him, but I... I but yeah, it's weird to see a guy to that before a few thousand kilometers away go for a hundred kilometers away in less than a week. Yeah, well, I'm in your area, Sobering 69, and actually the weather immediately kind of cleared up. Yep. So... In AST, we have an emergency. He is attacking chat. I don't, I'm not gonna. What are you doing? Yeah, Can you guys see? Day. Oh, I wanted to check. What's up, Yoko CC? I wanted to see how the stream looks. I know how I look. You look great. Out here with all these drinks. This is really nice. Oh, yeah, you guys can see. You can see me with all the drinks. Oh, that's a great Oh, they view. don't see the drinks. Oh, you can. Stream just, looks so good. Can we see what? So Jeff looks like he's had himself quite the afternoon. <laughs> How many? You didn't even. You don't I like finishing out. your drinks oh, either. Four. <laughs> you have like four full drinks there, but <laughs> you're two full ones. I don't like drinking the bottom part. Yeah, you. You. That's your little. Yeah. It's like a superstition. Let's go, Jeff. <laughs> Why are we sitting so far apart? Well, technically. We're going to move them together, but yeah. we, we kind of just sat. I also am comfortable with this distance. <laughs> <laughs> this feels uh, right. It's so stupid. It's like being with back with Ian again. Yep. <laughs> Although he is a very, very dry and sarcastic guy. Yeah. He's it's a master the, of it. The good British. Uh, yeah, humor. the, the, the witticism. Essex humor. Uh, Dan, Pete's in Paris. How did you enjoy the rest of the cyclothon, cyclothon with Chris and Connor? It's great. Uh, no lie, we all celebrated with a... With a, an onsen together, which is always fun. It's a good nice. way to bond. Yeah. And uh, I was late because I, I misunderstood the time. Uh, somebody said, I'll be there in five. Mm. But I was so tired that I, I read it as fifth floor. So I'm walking around with like a towel around, kind of like getting ready. I'm like, these are just rooms. <laughs> I just look like a call boy. Oh, no. So then I got to the top and I walked in there and it was unfortunate because when you go into the onsen, you have to clean the whole body. You got to do like the whole thing, you know. It's got to you got to do like the whole thing. And then the onsen was in this private room, and I, or not private, but like the bath, the bath room. And I opened the thing and like four guys like turn like you know the four dudes, Paul, Ian, Chris, and Connor. And I was like, what have I walked into here? <laughs> just four naked men, and oh, I'm just the dude who's late. And I was like, oh, sorry, I was on the wrong floor. That's better than I did get my tiny towel, yes. That I had to experience the uh, the public bath at the Capsule Hotel in That was brutal. Tokyo with my friend Ryan. That's brutal. And it was just him, and we had had an agreement beforehand that we would take turns, because <laughs> we know each other well, but not that well. Hey, you just got to take that risk. And, but we were like... We agreed, and I was, he was going to go up second, I was going to go up first, and I went up there, I was alone in this giant, like, public thing, so it was perfect, so I, because I'm not used to doing that, just being naked around a bunch of Did strangers. some salarymen come in? No, I was, I sat down, there was a little stool, and like, oh yeah, I did the thing. thing, and then, but there's a big, like, pool, like a bath kind of thing, and as I'm sitting and doing this thing, totally naked, and I just Thank look you. to my left, and I see just Ryan in the pool, and he had just broken the whole agreement, and it was just like... He saw me, and he was just there. He was just having himself a day. Yep, and he decided he needed to go now. That's incredible. Oh, wow. Hold on a second. Uh, Pete on experiencing fellow gentlemen's privates. Got to take the risk. Well, no. I mean, it's it's tough for me, too. Like, you know, like, I had already declined the guys. You know, they were like, hey, you going to go to the onsen tonight? And I was like, not nah, until later, because I have body issues. I feel... I, I Everybody feel, does. yeah, but I feel really self-conscious about my weight, and I, I, I just, 
I've always, but like, I kind of got used to it in Japan because we'd go on teaching trips, and it'd be every male teacher, they'd be like, it's onsen time, and it's nothing, it's just natural, but it's very unnatural for me, and yeah. so I was like, on the last day, I'll definitely do it, but getting on the onsen with the boys is definitely on the bus, it was great. I think the only comparable thing we have is like locker room culture. Which I never got to be a part yeah. of. Did you go to the bathroom? Yeah. All right. Did you also tell them we're here? No, I just thought that they would notice that there are people sitting in the chairs. <laughs> well, here, I'm going to do two things. Okay. I used to be a waiter. I'm going to move. Yeah, good idea. Make it look like I didn't drink all those. <laughs> They'd probably think we're done. Yeah, that's true. I used to be a waiter. I know how to move glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and can you move that table a little closer? Hey, Pete, we're going to get naked when you come back. I can't wait. Now that, now we're... I want to hear all of the, the Pokemon stories when you have a little towel so on your head. To charge. You're, what do you mean? You're not filming it or something. What do you, oh, you mean in charge of this? Yeah, well, you I thought you meant the onsen. Yeah. I'm excited about all this. All right. It's all yours now. Yeah. That mean, I got everyone hopes up. It's going to be, it's gonna be not anything. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going right. to How do I say, like, we have a table here? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. You could just say it in English. They'll know. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to read chat because that's my best way to handle this right now. Uh... Yep, used to be a waiter. He just got up and moved the glasses off from one table to the next. It's a special skill. Um, so I've actually been here for three days now, or four days now. Um, I was able to do some work at the office uh, in Paris for a couple days. And then Pete just got in yesterday. So it's been fun showing him the city for the first time. Uh, I've never been here before. Oh. Do you need this? Oh. Was that your one to do this? Uh, okay. Told, oh, that's okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, they told me to use this for you if you want to. Oh, so okay. To order okay. Thank you. Yeah, because. But I don't have. I don't have service on this thing. To yours. view the menu, scan the barcode. Uh. Okay. Thank you. Uh oh. Here, hey, Pete. One more time. It closed. You stupid. You did it. As you walked away. Not be stupid. Thank you. Agreed to cookies because it's not my phone. Our menu. Let's see. Crops. Menu. Uh, okay, here we go. No, oh, that's breakfast. Here, I'll show. I'll show you. I don't know if this will work. I don't know if you can actually see that. Uh, ooh, pokeball au saumon. That's funny. Uh, we got egg, we got charcuterie, cantaloupe with ham, ooh, onion soup, we might have to get that, escargot, oh yeah, this is going to be great, there's a kid's menu for Pete, that's good, and yeah, we might do a little charcuterie plate to share, might do, I don't think we'll do the cheese. This will be great. I don't know if you can actually order it from here. Contactless payment, show map, no. Okay. So this will be good. Uh, oh, you can see the QR, can't you? Let's see. Will that work? Mm. It's just the menu. Too late. You can't. You can't order it to the table. Just do it. From everything I see, it's just showing the menu. It's not allowing you to actually order. All right. What's up? Switch back. Okay. I showed them the QR so that they could order anything to our table. Ooh, no. <laughs> no. That's a terrible... I got excited because I thought, oh, you're giving them, like, a choice to choose something. No, I don't think you can actually... Well, at least I didn't see a way to actually order from the site. It just, like, shows the menu. But if there is a way, they'll find it. I certainly hope not. Yeah. Oh, so there's the menu. Yeah. I'll let you choose everything. Yeah. Uh, a nice tall beer for me, though. Okay. So, the so the I will say one of the interesting things that I, I haven't gotten quite used to is I, I do think that the service industry is not as it, I like the way that the waiters treat you, mm. but I do think they're really slow to yeah. greet. 
Yeah, it's uh, the other times I've actually gone in and said like, "Hey, we have two people. Maybe that's my mistake." I, did you say anything to them? You asked. I did. I was like, "We're here at the end," and she did not look very happy. She was like, "Okay," and I was like, "Can I have the menu?" And she was like, "No." And she's like, "Use this QR code." And I was like, "Oh, there's not one outside. Can I take?" Anyway. Oh, I see. Um, so you just you're comfortable with me ordering yeah. whatever? How hungry are you? Uh, uh, I'm not that hungry. Uh, but I'm hungry. You want to do onion soup? Oh, yes. All right. I think people would enjoy raclette. It's uh, so hard to have in the States. It's just not the same. Well, I don't even live in the States. <laughs> Ooh, they have a vegetarian French hospitality. versus Japanese waiter in a hospitality. Oh, well, hospitality? Japanese would win by a mile. Look at this one, though. The top. Pokeball? A salmon pokeball. That sounds like something Alex would want. Yeah. Who's the Pokemon master? There's a salmon pokeball. What foods do you not like, Pete? I'm pretty good with trying anything, but I'm not a big fan of some certain vegetables like lotus roots or okra. Um, and then I'm not really big on squid or, or octopus or oysters or uh, hotate, scallops. Mm, I like those. Those are just the textures and the things. But other than that, I, I like all the major proteins. I like most of the veg. I've recently, in the past like five or six years, really got into vegetables. Like, I I've been enjoying eating those options a lot, and they're way better than I ever thought they would be. But I'm pretty good with just about anything. Do you have anything that you don't like to eat? I know that you avoid a lot of meat products unless well, yeah. you're on vacation. Yeah, I mean that's which is just an arbitrary rule. But when I'm Still, home, I don't eat any meat at home. I'll do well. I'll, I'll eat fish some time to time. Um, and some of the things I, like just don't like. There's very little that I don't like. Yeah, um, everything's good. Yeah, like I'll try anything. I think like like tripe. I don't really uh, like that much. Awful. Yeah, it's not not for me. I don't mind it if it's served at some Japanese kind of like or oh, I forgot the 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 little you when you go to a Japanese re classic restaurant they'll give you like a little um, table service and it'll usually be tripe or awful. Yeah. And I, I like it, but it has to be in some pretty heavy juices. Um, try some of the baked goods. I hear the bakeries in Paris are legit. We did have a nice croissant today. So mushrooms are amazing. Pete, are you struggling to choose what to eat because there's no plastic replicas outside the restaurants? Yeah. <laughs> so it is a little expensive, this place, by the way. Um, well, live and die. They, all right, here's drinks. Uh, let me see the, the beers. Water. Ah, d'accord. Uh, we, uh, okay. He said, which size of beer do you want? Yeah. And he said, the big one. Yep. But at first I thought he said, um, what soup size? I thought he want? said, uh, I thought he said 25 seconds or something like that, like I'll be back. And I was like, okay. And he was like, no, no, 25 or 50. And I was like, oh, 50, the big. 75. Yeah. You're like, just <laughs> yeah. pour the 25 into a bigger decanter. Yeah. Uh, don't get scammed. Pete, buy Jeff a Red Beret already. I'm not buying him That's anything. What you guys can buy him one. That's my monetization tricks. Yep, I'm looking at the uh, the different beers. I just said like this draft, is a draft beer. beer. Yeah. That's fine. They had a uh, He speaks good French, damn. Pete, how's your French? Well, I let Jeff do most of the talking. <laughs> uh, I let Jeff do a lot of that, but uh, it's not great. They, oh, you could get a Diablo. That's like a classic French drink. It's like a little uh, syrupy but carbonated uh, sweet drink that you kind of. Is it? Alcoholic? Nope. Oh, it's just a yeah, dessert. Pass on that. <laughs> What's up, Rain Gang? Yeah, it's right. It's it's actually beautiful again. It looks like we're really dodging the bad parts of the is uh, the weather. Yeah, having a French speaker is it's the it's way better than him just being here. I, that's, that's true. It was like I, I told uh, while you were gone. I said that I was uh, here for two days, like alone. It was it was pretty lonely. Like I was looking forward to it because I could just kind of like explore a bit and just sort of without any expectations or whatever. Not from you, just. On my own, you know, I, I have a fiance and like I, I love traveling with her. But I was just thinking, like, oh, it's fun. I'll like do some exploration myself. This is very lonely. It's like you're like, like okay, I'm ready for Pete to yeah. show up. Like, and I'm like, I fucking hate the airports. This place sucks. <laughs> uh, no, I'm glad I made it. Uh, there was some real, real consideration that I might not be able to come at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With my vaccine certificate and also some other issues. Uh, have you smelled the French subway? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It really is not. Yeah. I felt like the dirt and the 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 expectation of it being a stinky place kind of overblown. I've seen some stinky places in Tokyo and Yokohama, and those places are clean as hell, that city. 
Uh, it's going to take a little bit more than that to we'll find some places. Oh, we that certainly will. Them, but it's like by and large, it's a pretty clean city. Um, wait, there was one question. What's my favorite vegetable? Lately, I've, I'm a big fan of, of uh, the big three for me are pumpkin or kabocha, some sort of gourd. Um, I also really like peppers, like green peppers, like piment or, or the red peppers. And it's kind of like onions and uh, onions and mushrooms are way up there. What was that taco deli I had oh, that was yeah. all vegetables? The Space Cowboy yeah, or something? Yeah. It was it a sweet potato or was it like... No, it was, it was mushrooms was the main oh, ingredient. Yeah. Are you going to visit any other city in France? Yes, we are going to Nyon and Lyon. Nyon is one that anybody will have heard of. Nyon it's is like a small town. Yeah. How many people? Like 5,000 people. That's just kind of like in the middle of... It's an area called La Drome, which is like a sort of middle of the country. Oh! Uh, but it's supposed to be really, really beautiful and uh, like a, just a really nice little town. It's where uh, the host that I lived with when I was here in 2006, he, is, he lived in Paris at that time and he has since moved to this small town. So I'm seeing him for the first time uh, since 2006. So, yep. That's been almost 15, it's more been, than, yeah, more than 15 years. Yep. Also, thank you, Ahilor and Shogo Makashima. I appreciate you guys resubscribing. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Uh, will you stream it? We will. In fact, we got a little bonus for you guys. Uh, Jeff and I, you brought a card game that we, not a card game, a board game yeah. that has cards. Right. We're going to be playing that on the train, and we're going to, oh, let's see what this guy has to say first, though. Just we see K just we <laughs> Thank you. That's <laughs> unfortunate timing. <laughs> what was he saying? I only heard the. That's all I heard. I think he repeated it several times. Uh, but for the moment, we. Oui. Because you need place to. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Oh, okay. Yes. Can you say move all my stuff? Yeah. Time to uh, clear the table. We are going to take a train, and we're going to take you guys on the train with it. So. Over there. Yeah, I can already feel me being judged. Yep. I feel, I feel that. Too. Nope, I just turned it off. Whoops. Oh no. But I feel like we. Are we? What up? Merci beaucoup. That's weird. <laughs> You're just hooking it on your crotch or anything there. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for. Uh, uh -oh. Hey, what's up, Rob? Rob CD, the guy, the architect, the man who's the fishing legend. Oh, yeah. He, uh, I watched him last night. Nah, you're supposed to compile. Salut first. Oops. Let's cheers to, to Rob saying, hey, and he went fishing in Melbourne. Oh. Where he was trying to, tried to catch a squid and tried to catch fish. Three and a half hours. Just nothing. No bites. Ooh. No bites. Yeah. Cheers to your, your attempt. You'll get better. Because you'll get better. Come you gotta back. need more alcohol. Salty. Mm. Salud. Oh, that tastes good. Yeah. Just a nice draft beer. Just and nothing I, special. And uh, I remember... No, it's just good easy start. to drink. Yeah, yeah it's 2 p.m. Yep. That's a good start. <laughs> and uh, I just arrived in Tokyo. Oh, shit, dude. I hope that um, the angel... Oh, that's yeah, fine. Just imagine we're... This is the drinking camp. It's the more we drink, the... The... Rob was in Melbourne for DreamHack, which is a big kind of... Uh, game competition like Smash Brothers and stuff yeah. and his team won like the Knockout Kings or whatever the game was called where he he was like the team MVP which shocks me because I didn't know Rob was a gamer oh yeah I know he does like the crane games what's, but I, so what's, wait, what's the game what, what's, what was the game Rob was it was it was it Knockout Kings I can't remember what is Knockout Kings it's like a new kind of uh, little bonus silly game he's a wicked gamer I couldn't believe it um, is, are people playing Knockout um, City Knockout City uh, I see. which is a cool game though and he, his team his team won, won and he was good at it and yeah. I was like not I was like fucking oath mate but just fucking not good at fishing I guess real life fishing yeah. I feel like we left a lot on the table right. and he tried I heard I heard some some you know some vague excuses and I only noticed their excuses because <laughs> that's what I say yep. I was like this rod's pretty old or yep. you know the tide's coming out yeah, and then the so guy next to him's like oh I got another yep. and he's people like people were yelling they were too loud scaring the fish away yeah the TTS scared the yeah. fish now, I've been there man I understand a lot of man, I, so that's me that's what I live got more excuses than fish Oh, <laughs> well, one. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's all. So, but Rob just got back to Tokyo, and hopefully we can link up because 
he was saying like, oh, Yuki's in the chat too. She said hey. bonjour. bonjour, Yuki. 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 <laughs> uh, oof. By the way, your camera has wind block mode on, I think. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. How do we... Wind jammers. That's why the sound wasn't so good, maybe. Mm. Okay. So it's blocking the wind and our voices. So, Rob, let's pretend that chat doesn't know anything about the Sony Action Cam. <laughs> how would you briefly... Explain to them. ...tell them how to turn off something like a wind cam? My guess would be it's under the menu somewhere, yeah. but... I'll let you tell chat. Because we know. We know. Obviously. Uh, yeah, I probably turned it on an accident. Yeah. When we were, it was windy earlier. But it um, wouldn't be fun content if we just sort of... Like, of course. Right. So, so, well, it's fun because Rob's like the le master of it. So, yeah. Clueless, what's a camera? Uh, exactly. What did you order? I don't... We got... Two onion soups. That's it? For now, because he scared me. If you go into the video settings, scroll through the icons to see wind on mic symbol. Yeah, of course. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's also kind of expensive for the uh, other plates and stuff. Well, Which, maybe we're just having soup. And yeah. then go into the there boat. There goes. Food. Touch angle. Menu. Uh, what did he say to me? <laughs> go to the video settings. Uh, that looks like a video setting. Nope, I didn't... How do you enter? What's the, uh, input button? Is it record? Let's try that. Oh, shit! Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. I don't know what I'm doing. What's W? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Was did they look? I, I'm, I'm scared to look, so probably. Okay, hold on. I think. I wonder if you could uh, extend the umbrella so that it's like stabilized against the thing. Yeah, I'll do it. Like this kind of thing. Maybe. No, that's worse. Put it back. Put it back. I think I actually did it. I mean, we're totally doing this on a weird setup, but yeah. it's fine. Uh, you can put this glass, put your glass on there too for a little extra weight. Mm. It'll just knock the glass off. Shut it. It's fine. It needs a little clip. That'd be That's fine. There, there we go. Just don't move the table. Don't fucking touch it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> We're right by um, Napoleon's tomb. Uh, I think they're going to bury us. If we don't <laughs> shut up. Okay, actually, there was like a little... I looked up here like the camera. There was like a little wind thing. I think I, I think I fixed it. This means... This explains a lot. When we were on the trip, people always said that my video quality was pretty clear, mm -hmm. but my sound was worse than Connor's. And he was like, I just got the mic fixed. So, Yuki... Sorry about that. We got French onion soup, but this morning we had a croissant with chocolate palm tea. We had one croissant and we had one pain au chocolat, which is like chocolate bread. It was really good. And it also came with these little egg and soldiers. That was good. I thought they were scotch eggs. They're not. Definitely not scotch eggs. Nope. Try blowing the mic. Uh, I have a stupid mm. job, so... <laughs> Poor Yuki. Aww. Uh, hey, I don't know if you remember me, but I followed your co-tour, and I'm from France. So glad you're oh, nice. in my country. Enjoy the weather. It's so funny to hear you speak French. <laughs> I remember her. Oh, really? She's awesome. Yeah. She was really... Yeah, they were really big into uh, Night of the Old Republic. Mm. Thank you for coming back. I'm very nice to have you in here. My French is absolutely horrific. It's so bad. I speak it like katakana in Japanese, mm. but with French. Yeah. I'm, uh, by the way, on, on Kotor, the, uh, Holly's, my fiance's, uh, friends, she used to work for EA, and a lot of her friends in Austin work on Kotor. Like the new one? Oh, the remaster? The, well, did, the one that had been running for a long time. I don't know if they work on the new one. Oh, the MMO one. Yeah. That's different. Oh, I see. But I totally get you. Uh, when was the last time you were out of Japan? Well, I went to visit you. Yeah. In June. Yeah. I, 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 to be honest, I think it's been about three and a half years. 
three or four years since I'd left the country until just recently. So this has been a brand... Especially with the pandemic. It's yeah. Been, couldn't go anywhere. Is this camera angle acceptable, everybody? I feel like... Did someone clip when Pete said to me, I, you should cut your hair in France? Okay, well, that's my wife. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what do you think, Jeff? I think I should just embrace it. I mean, one last run. But, I mean, embrace it, but you could get a, a little cut. Not not to not to uh, shorten it, but just to clean it up. Uh uh-uh. uh. All right. Let it well, flow. Well, I mean, I want it. I want to clean it up, but yeah. I, I also want to. Uh, but you could probably find a really nice stylist here. You know. All right, hold on. Rob made fun of me. Right, Love good. this up the nose angle. All right. Uh, okay. Oh when, okay. Don't. Damn. Here we go. When Rob makes fun of you, you know you got to fix it. I was trying to show you guys some. Uh, I have an idea. Let tripod it. Pinch it between those two chairs. Maybe. This is too much work. Yeah. Here comes our French onion oh, soup. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Uh, Merci beaucoup. That looks really good. Oh, oh wait. Wait, I don't hear it yet. Oh, I did. I did. Cool. Check this that out. This looks really good. Now it's I'm got angry. like this uh, bread in it. Well, now I'm angry. What? Up the nose camera. I'll show you an up the nose camera angle. I promised I wouldn't do this, but I gotta bring out the big guns. Plus, I wanna show them that's the soup. I already started before you. You were just not into it's very waiting. Good. No. I'm very hungry, it's starting to get shaky. Onion soup is so good. That'll do. I'm done. That's it. On a rainy day like this, perfect. <sighs> little beer, little French onion soup. A little. We couldn't afford anything else. Yeah. <laughs> Please, sir. <laughs> Just some onion soup. All right. There we go. Up the nose angle equals every J Street Z stream. It's true. Bon appetit. I'm going to eat too. Have a nice time here, you guys. Thank you. Bon if you have any recommendations, see huh, about where we're going to check out a boat ride tonight. And we're going to get kind of twisted on, on fun things like yeah. alcohol. Fun um, things like alcohol. Fun things like... like <laughs> other things, too. <laughs> no, no, that's, a, no, 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 that's just it's alcohol. It's quite the night. <laughs> and um, we are then going to Nyon and Lyon. So we have like two different trips that we're kind of looking forward to. Yep. And again, Lyon is a small town. Lyon is a large city. I think Lyon is the third largest city in France. What's the second? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's Marseille or if it's, um... How's the soup? Very good. Let's try it. Try, try some of that bread. Hold on a minute. Some cheese. Do whatever you want. That's amazing. It's really good. That tastes really it's nice. It's like hearty, delicious. This tastes way better than Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> they have French onion soup at Applebee's? You serve there? Oh, yeah. Uh, would a lot of people order that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't have a choice. It was the uh, soup of the day thing. Oh, uh, I see. Do you remember how the Applebee's one tasted? Yeah. Oh, really? You for get that for free? Because we, we caked the top of it with, like, cheese and then did, like, a little... It was good, but, I mean, not really. Yeah. Not even close to this. Mm. For this type of day, especially, I think. So. That's the cheese, too, huh? Yep. Way different cheese. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's like a big... Applebee's probably doesn't use real cheese. I don't think it's real soup. I think it's just <laughs> septic backup. But anyway... <laughs> This is very, very good. I think I... Oh, no, I didn't see. They kept typing. I, I just had it stuck. Oh. Leon is a huge city, yes. Bye, chat. <laughs> all right, well, then we tried our best. Oh, okay. That's all right. So, yeah, we turned off the wind thing. Yeah. Does it seem like it's improved, according to them? Wow. It's great. The bread. Yeah. It's really good. It's still crunchy. Yeah. It's really good. Really enjoyed your stream, but I need to stop procrastinating on my stuff. I hope to see more from you later. Have a great time and don't get scammed. Bon it turns out, in spite of what people say, the French have really great food. <laughs> who says they don't? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was about to say, wait a minute. I That's used to work way. with somebody who would always say, to, if I were like working with you, and let's say we were working with John, a third person, he would always be like, man, Pete, I don't care what John says about you. You're a really, really smart guy. I like that kind of thing. In the presence of John. Would yeah, of course. That, yeah. Classic move. Oh, perfect. That's great. Damn Get the umbrella shot. Why did you match with it? They said it was... 
Oh, you guys are so needy. That's fine, just Jeff. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's like... Right yeah, we can hear us. Jeff better. Okay. Really? So, yeah. I think it's because I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know I had that on the entire fucking Why cycle. Why would you better? Is it because I'm, like, directing? No, I think it's because the wind, the wind cut, you know, because you're outside. And you're screaming and it thinks it's the wind, probably. <laughs> It just muffles that. No. And like a normal human voice, it's like, oh yes. <laughs> maybe maybe they didn't tell me, but that the wind thing was just for my voice. <laughs> so that means imagine if you'd heard me uncorked <laughs> on like the three hundred thousand yeah. dollars without it being on the wind cut. Just screaming. Yep. And that would have been ear splitting. Probably great that it was on actually. Mm. I don't know what, like, I'm still trying to remember if there's a French phrase for that. I mean, there's like, you say it's delicious, you can say like... Yeah, because you, you were kind of stumped about it yeah, when I asked you what's the stumped. French phrase for... I was hoping chat would help out, but we're about as good at that as Rob is at fishing. Oh boy. So, you know, I, I get half a beer and I start, yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. That's not what we want. You get Chad angry. That is tres bon. Well, bon. They tricked me when you were gone into showing the QR code because they wanted to order. They wanted to yeah, swap the table with, like, with all the food. We didn't have a beer yet. No, just and I was just like, oh, sure, here you go. Because I didn't know what I'm doing. They're like, oh, Jeff, here, right, wait, wait, show wait, the wait, QR. C'est à toi, sacrément bon. Oh, c'est magnifique. Oh, de, de, de la, oh I've never heard c'était sacrément bon. Oh, that's cool. Uh, French is your first language, I think. How do you say something like, this is delicious? Like, in Japanese, we'd say, umai, or oishi, or something. And welcome back, Rockland Grohl, for the four yeah. months, man. Like the gochusho samadesh. Gochusho samadesh ta, after you eat. Thank you for this meal. Tre oishi. <laughs> Tre oishi. I don't think that's right. Sounds right. Mmm. They have a, oh that's cool, it says, there's a little sign up there, it says Origine de Guillaume, so it tells you where all their meat is from, like which uh, area of France. And like you said yesterday, that's something that they have at, um, in, in Japan, like, they really take pride in certain areas of it being like, this is where great vegetables are from. Yeah, or, like I think out in like Brittany, for like a lot of dairy farms and things like that, and then other parts like Champagne has Champagne. Yeah. The Loire Valley, I think, also has some like vineyards and things like that. So, what's up, Hyper pride. Nomad? Jeff is the kind of guy who uses Japanese to describe French food, even though he speaks fluent French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of guy. I Sometimes am. he's too big brain. That person knows me too well. They overcomplicate everything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Isn't your job to simplify things? Yeah, it should be. But it's not. This is so good. You have no idea how good this is. I'm not really giving it justice, but like I love soups. Yeah. Soups is like one of my go-to foods. Same here. When I was really, really, really broke, my buddy Matt. Remember Matt Montrose? Do, the guy? Yeah. yeah. He. Uh, I never met him, but, stocks, I, but um, he he taught me how to make Oops, vegetable stop. soup, <laughs> and he had this, and we would leave it on the in the pan for like 12 or 13 hours. It yeah. was so good. Slow cook it. Yeah, we have like one of those. Um, Instant pots, which is not as good, but you can also use it as like a slow cooker too, like a crock pot. Yeah. And that's the way to to go, it's like slow and low, and just like let it flow. That is the tempo. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. <laughs> I didn't know we were doing that tonight. It's all Beastie Boys. Yeah. The, they are. They 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 are definitely not tourists because I'm the one who am obviously. I told you that um, I'm in a. The little casual band and that my office has a band that plays, and the bassist just busted out several Beastie Boys bass lines. And gratitude, like, gratitude. Oh yeah. I think you also did like root down. Oh, it's a great bass line. Yeah, he's he's very very good. He's much better. Sure shot. Than, yeah, than I ever was. You did play bass. Yep. And I played guitar too, and like the people who I, I play with, because it's Austin, I think, and, like Austin attracts mm. some really just people who love music and who are musically inclined. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They couldn't afford LA. Right. <laughs> right. So, yeah. but they like, we, we just were like, yeah, let's do a jam session. And like, I had my guitar and I was just gonna play some chords, and then they just start like rocking some solos and the like, gratitude bass line. I was like, okay, like, okay. Yep, I'll just listen. Yep, yep. I'll just sing. Beer uh, is better than water, well, it's definitely cheaper. Yeah. 
um, the ladies' burgers. It's, I, you know what? I saw like three or four people order the burger here. I think this place must be famous for its burger. Oh, really? I mean, these are not going to be cheap for setting expectations. Oh, <laughs> I thought. No, no, no I was like no, cheaper no. than water, and you paused right there, and you're like, oh. no. wait till you get the check. Because I mean, this wasn't that bad. This is like eight euros. These, I think, are also like eight euros or something. For a draft beer. For a draft. But you know what? I mean, this place is fancier than I thought. I mean, well, we're still in the tourist zone. But I think it's also like not just a touristy place. If you look around, it's like not. It's a lot of people who are here. And they're us. Like, yeah. <laughs> At the edge. They're like, oh, the touristy people who wandered too far from the Eiffel Tower and just accidentally <laughs> made it here. <laughs> there is a... I, I don't check YouTube comments often, right? Yeah. But I sometimes, you know, when, you, when I did the thing with... Uh, by the way, while I'm telling you this story, what are some of your other favorite bands and musicians? Me? Somebody, yeah, think about that. Okay. I don't care. Yeah. That was a question from Long Harpy. Mm. And I remember while I was um, while I was uh, I was reading one of the comments and somebody was like, Why does Peter always look sweaty? <laughs> that resonates. I feel really bad about that. <laughs> I thought that, I thought there was something else. That's that. it. it was That's like, why I was like, damn. There's not like I love this energy or mm-hmm. it was just why why is he sweaty? Yep. And I thought, oh yep. I think for the um, for the bands that I really like, I really like like Stevie Wonder and Stevie really? Ray Vaughan a lot. I mean, like there, there are other bands that I like in terms of that I'll listen to a lot more. But in terms of um, artists who I think are like really, really impressive in like what they've done with music, I think like Stevie Wonder just has such an, an insane and, and diverse set of music, and he brought a lot of really cool things to the songs. And Stevie, and Stevie Ray Vaughan was just like obviously one of the greatest of all time in terms of guitar. And, uh, yeah, I just really like... There's even a crossover. Both of them, like, Stevie Ray Vaughan covered Superstition, which was the Stevie mm. Wonder song. And that's one of my favorite songs of all time. Okay. So good. Beastie so good. Boys is my go-to. Yeah. Oh, look at... Oh, and, and did you know that for that Superstition song, that Stevie Wonder played, I think, with the exception of maybe the horns, he played all of the tracks, all of the instruments, on the studio recording. And one of the best recordings of that, you can find a Sesame, he played it on Sesame Street, live, and he, and it's, he plays Superstition, and all these kids are rocking out and stuff, and it sounds like a joke, but he's like, it's awesome. It's like so, so good. He brought the big show to the, to the, to the most important part. Yep, that's right. He brought it to the kids, it was really cool. Sweet so Wonder's drums are so far yeah. out, too. Also, welcome DG, time to mod. Oh, nice, there we go. What time is it in America right now? It must be morning time? Yeah, yeah, I think it's very early, especially Central. I always loved my Sherry Amur. Uh, any other favorite guitar players aside from Stevie Ray? Uh, yeah, I love yeah, this nah, topic yep, now. There you go. Okay. I mean, like. I should have gone to the bathroom yep. here and been sweaty feet yep. for another couple hours. I think I would go. Uh, I mean, these are going to be like cliche picks, so sorry. But, Carlos I mean, I'll, Santana. No, 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 no. I'll take, like, I'll take Hendrix, but I'll also take. Um, Ah, uh, shit. I was gonna you say. know who oh, my Tom choice Morello. is? Tom Morello. Uh, no. no. Ingwe Malmsteen. Oh, boy. That's my guy. All right, that's your guy. I mean, I pick, really like, I think you could go a bunch of, like, metal bands and stuff like that, but I like Tom Morello because he, like, he took something and made it more unique. It's not like he's, like, going to shred and do these crazy, which he had he Why can. are you looking at me? Just look here. Just, it's it's not like, a, don't tell it's me. as if we're having a conversation. I'm not in this conversation. Yeah, you're right. Talk to them. I'm not going to look at that. That's like, what you do. The deal. That's not what I do. <laughs> you got all kinds of rules and yeah, stipulations. No, that's not me. Don't talk to me about it. I don't know anything about music. I wasn't even looking at you. It's oh. like I was looking over there. So I, Tom Morello, you, you, if you hear him on like Rage or on um, what was the band? Oh, he's uh, Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, and and um, Audio Slave, uh, like on the Like a Stone. It's just like the, the sounds he would get out of the guitar was really cool. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, fascinating. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I tried to cut it off and like stop yeah. going because I knew you didn't want to hear it. Even they were like, yeah, yeah okay. okay, see ya. <laughs> yeah, no. Sweaty Pete doesn't like it. Yeah. It's a really good soup. <laughs> uh, take a shot every time Pete touches his hair. I can't help it. It's long and I'm looking at it in the reflection. And the Sweaty a Pete comment got... You don't know how to eat soup either. No, I'm all in my beard now. It's a filter. Can you that napkin? Oh, you're you're saving some for later? <laughs> a little soup catcher. Gross. Wow, that was on camera at least. S tier. Howie Potter, agree. I don't I care. Like I want to see the chat catch up to you trying to eat soup yeah, and well, suck at it. Well. I get to see Ray.
against the machine uh, in March. Ooh, nice, man. Awesome. Get a hairband, hair clip time. No, no, no. We're going to keep it flowing. Everyone's so mean to Pete. I know, Massive. Massive E. Pete's mean to me. Watching how I eat soup. <laughs> Saying that the French people are making fun of me. <laughs> sure, I'm bullying back just to you. <laughs> you didn't like that we started talking about music. No. So you just went straight I to went, Yeah, I went aggro. <laughs> This is delicious. Mm -hmm. It's very good. We're gonna have to go right back into the rain. No. Yeah. No, the whole point was to get out of the rain. Nope. Let's meet the rest of the day. So wait, when do we yeah, Pete's a deeply closeted meanie. No, I'm not. I'm pretty openly <laughs> just openly. <laughs> uh so wait, where are we out of this? We're right. Yeah, you're not we're not doing soup against all over the table too. <laughs> what the fuck's I know you can pick How do you do it? Okay, you take a little soup, yeah. and you kind of... You just eat it? That's cool. I don't put the spoon in my mouth. Oh, that's weird. Or you do like a sip? Yeah, you sip it out. I sip the soup out of it. Well, you're just better at spilling it everywhere. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know you enjoy it. Yeah. The hair has Willy Wonka vibes. That's fine. Did they get scammed? We did earlier. We did. One hundred percent. Yeah. Well, the we knew it was coming. Well, as soon as when he said the when he brought out the water, I realized. Yeah. Ah, it's a scam job. But that done. happened. That happened last night too, and it's that is my fault. It did. Yeah. Where? Mm, we got. Someone brought out Avion. Oh no, I was alone. It's before you were out there. So I got seen. I should have learned, and I still didn't get it for us. I'm not a slurper, okay? Uh, 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 no, again, someone in the chat told us the, 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 the right word for it. It's like a carafe. We just want the carafe. Yeah. Water. So the guy came out, and he uh, it, was, it was technically my fault. We were in heavy tourist zone. I was scoping for a uh, Starbucks or something, because I know that Jeff told me that coffee, the way I would take it, just like a giant cup of coffee, is not common here. It's like these little kind of tough, tiny coffee. <laughs> or like a, uh, maybe an Americano, but they call yeah. something different. Yeah, coffee. Yeah. What's up, yeah. Halloween? Yeah. I'm not going to do a lot of soap. I hate soap. And then so, yeah, no, when we went to, uh, but I, I was kind of tired, so I woke up at 6.30, <laughs> and I'd been talking with you guys for like two or three hours, so I said, can we stop and get a coffee? I just want to recharge a little bit. And uh, we did, and I ordered a large cafe latte. Yep. Cafe latte. And the guy said, okay, I'll, he actually didn't even ask, kind of. He said, okay, I'll bring out those coffees and some waters, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. And he said, you want some water as well, like water for the table or something like that. See, he, he, he cleverly hit it, snuck it in there. He knew that we would just say yes. And then when he came out there, he, he brought us like two bottles of like, you know, some special water. And I got, oh, shit. Yeah. Those both cost money. We're done. Well, they didn't bring it this time. They brought the glass and no water. Yeah. I know Starbucks is not real coffee. My point, I guess, was that I it would be a $6 solution. Yeah, you needed caffeine. It wasn't about the coffee. Yeah, I just knew that if I could find a place that served a tall coffee or whatever, that would be what I needed to get from the next place. And I knew, based on, like, the past day, coffee here is a little bit different. It's like these little tiny you things. You pay, like, I, three euro every time for a bunch of them. Yeah, so we got we, that, that bill of two coffees and two waters was 33 euros, and then he also took three euros extra for... And that's weird. You don't see he, that. He was like, uh, that's the that's the uh, tax a little extra tip. Because tipping isn't like in the culture here. It's not. I mean, you can. You can leave a little... It's called a pourboire. But it's there not like expected. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Total... Well, that's his tax. It's probably... TBA, but, but it's 10%? Is that right? Hmm. I don't know, yeah. It was two coffees and two waters. So he charged us the, the, uh, the one of the coffees was nine fifty. That was mine. Yours was twelve euros. What for the for the latte macchiato? That's what you got. And it wasn't. And then we got two waters. They were thirty three centiliters. They were small. They were small waters. They weren't like a big bottle. And those were six euros each. So. Taxes and service included. Wow. Yeah. And my, co my coffee was not that good. I mean, you could have had that at Starbucks. Yeah, yeah that was no, tough. Mine, mine wasn't either, especially toward the end of Starbucks. It tasted like burnt. Like, that now. means that my, my thing in Japanese was 1,600 yen. Yeah. That is insane. I mean, and look, I'm a, macchiato. I am a piece of shit, and I will go to you know, coffee shops around my neighborhood often. Yeah. I enjoy the ritual. I enjoy sitting there and, and sending my emails or doing some work-related stuff. And I've 
that is that is brutal. It was bad. That was a rip off. Sixteen hundred. But it's again, we knew we like I, we both knew what we were getting into at that place. Yeah, we were already too deep. But I think you would pull out like a ten and maybe another ten just in case you needed to cover. And he I did. Like, yeah. He was like, Monsieur, <laughs> double. Uh, <yeah. laughs> twelve dollar, twelve euros for your coffee is just way too much. You're telling me. Yeah. Um, that's just terrible. I would have left. Well, I tried. Uh, the macchiato did look good, and it wasn't like it was bad, but it was not. It was not twelve euros. Right. Good. And like to your point, it, it's not just like twelve euros for you with the exchange rate. It's oh, like just sixteen brutal. plus. It's more than that, I think. It's, yeah, it's, it's like eighteen more. bucks. No, it's like sixteen. Oh, oh it's, it's like, like sixteen. Yeah, there? it's one forty-five, which is ridiculous. Um, so next, it, it seems like it's two. We're not. We're gonna walk around a bit more, and then around. Well, when's dusk here? It's like seven. It's super late. Yeah. Oh, it's in, in Texas. It's like eight. Oh shit. Uh, but we are. We we did take a, a vote earlier for a boat ride, and we're gonna do that. But that's, that's any time. What's that? Evening. Yeah, it's more evening. But I was. I, if, we, if we can, if we keep walking and see how it goes, and we can maybe go to Notre Dame. And, that's right. That's right. Notre Dame. Uh, maybe to the Latin Quarter as well. As, if we get that far, we'll already be close, like fairly close to being back where we're. Uh, if we go to the hotel, we can take one of the boats from there and do From the hotel? Like very close to the hotel, yeah. Can we walk back to the hotel? If Are we already well, in that direction? We just, we're going that direction, but it is still across the city. Boat gang, wait, how long is this stream? Good question. We're we'll testing see. it out today. Um, we, <laughs> we're kind of just playing it by ear because we're blessed with some decent weather and it was supposed to be really rainy and I figured, why not just see if we're having fun and if Jeff and I... It's pretty cheap when you're rich as fuck. Yes, when this you're person, rich. This person, this person's asking about wondering what Notre Dame looks like today. I guess. Guess we'll find out. Guess we'll find out. This is the exclusive place to find that out. This is the only stream. That's right. <laughs> where you can find out. We can't guarantee that. There might be another <laughs> there one. Might. We're the only stream of one Japanese living guy and one Austin living guy. Yep. There's no way. There's, there's another, no okay. way. That's true. Got to see Notre Dame before it burns. Shame it won't be the same. You know what, though? At least it's still standing a little bit. Does Paris have the water faucets around the city? Yeah, we were talking about that. They, we haven't seen them yet, but they have. I've seen that they have regular water and sparkling water. Free. At a lot of... Uh, Better than six euros. Yeah. yeah. We're Only stream, but no guarantee. All right, let's get ready, everyone. Put on your... Uh, let's get ready to walk. I'm ready. I think the rain stopped for now. Yeah, rain stopped and the wind came up. Now we get to see if Rob tried to uh, sabotage us. How's that? He knew oh, it was the... windy and now he's, yep. he's saying, turn off that wind, mate. Yep. I've heard that the water is really good. I'm going to message Yuki really quick. Okay. I want to see... What time is it in Tokyo? I have no concept of, of time right now. I guess it's 9 like... p.m. Oh, okay. Yeah. And in the States, it's like early morning. She didn't message me. Oh, she did. Ooh, ooh, I like what Cleveland said there. What he said? <laughs> this uh, sparkling water be day. <laughs> no, no, that's not what we want. Oh man, in Washington, it's 5 a.m. Wow, oh, early, early, early game. Early. Let's go. <laughs> All right, look here though. I gotta say really oh, quick, um, crayon. Thank you for resubscribing, man. I remember when you won the special drawing from Shane. Like over a year ago on Ratchet and Clank stream. Glad to see you're still a part of this channel, my man. You can set the world clock widget on your phone. I did. I just had to check it. Have you played um, Sly Cooper on stream? I saw that it was trending on Twitter the other day, and I was really excited that there was going to be like a new Sly Cooper. No, it's just for no reason. It's just people started talking about it. Like, and if you look at that game now. It's like really, like, it's it still great. holds up. Cell shading. Beautiful. Cell shading yeah. is a timeless, uh... That's true. It's a timeless looking... That game was just a lot of fun, though. Too. It was. It's very good. Yeah. Can you go take care of the bill? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll pay you. You can take this, but... No, it's okay. Okay. Make sure you get the receipt. Those are all tax write-offs. <laughs> These are business lunches, right, guys? All right, let me put you guys back on, uh... You gotta, you gotta play smart with these these trips. Somebody thought that tax write-off meant free, and I had to explain to them that's not how this works. No, no, no. 
the, the, like you could you could write the, the the plane ticket as a deductible. Just reduces your tax burden. Yeah, it's not like you get a free plane ticket. Not even close. So that's what I thought it meant. No. Nope. And I was so excited. I was like, let's before. I mean, like way before this trip, but. If you find like maybe you can find a, a program that's like we are uh, giving out grants to people who are you know creating content. Am that's I really creating it. content? That's the real question. Yeah, that's the question. Uh, I mean, it is content. I don't know that it's. It's good. Yeah, yeah. creative either. Right. Um, crotch view. Sorry, but now you guys have a. I, this is finally. I said it there for like one second. It's perfect. No. Oh. On the you know. I hope the last cafe tax was a write-off. Sheesh. I do need that receipt back. Did you keep it? I crunched it up in my back pocket. You were frustrated. Uh-oh. I'll take all the receipts. Yeah. So I can't write it off. But you can. Is there an LLC equivalent in Japan? There is, and I have not done it yet. Thank you. Um, the problem is it's it's kind of challenging to set up some of the business aspects of it. That's not. I can't use that one. It's, well, because it doesn't. It's yeah, it's not. It's, it's, it has a debit stuff. It's fine. Oh, it was mine. Yeah. I see. The the thing is like, um, the LLC stuff in Japan is pretty pretty tough, and they wanted me to do over a year of independent Twitch or like something before I set up an LLC to get these kind of. I don't know. It was Yuki and I looked into it, and it was pretty. It was pretty difficult. I think the good news is that I don't need to have any sort of a job because I'm a permanent resident of Japan so I can technically just do anything and still as long as I file my taxes it doesn't need to be in a certain area. I don't have to have a job either. You just do whatever you want. <laughs> in America? Yeah. But in Japan you couldn't. Oh, and you get kicked out. Yeah. yeah right. You gotta have a visa of some sort. I see. Um, visit the Latin Quarter. That's like the third person to tell us it that. Is very cool. It's near Notre Dame and it's nice and cheap yeah. food. We we'll go. definitely check it out. Yeah. And thank you for gifting a sub crayon. I appreciate that, man. You 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 coming in? Oh, and Premiere two point five. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Has subscribed for nineteen months. Wow. What in the magic on the blacktop collusion is going on here? Wait That's a minute. Amazing. Wait, wait. Is that Ian? Wait, wait, wait. I gotta read. Change their name. Or is I think it? Ian changed his name to Premiere two point five. <laughs> that would be amazing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Pete, make sure you fill out the appropriate tax forms because the NAST... All right, hold on. I'm going to replay these these messages. Okay, well, this is going to be great. We're going to do Notre Dame. We'll go through the Latin Quarter into Rudmustar. The Zudu you know and hate is no more. It is Premier 2.5. Just a minute. Okay, go ahead. So repeat that. We'll go to Notre Dame. Yep. Go through the Latin Quarter. Room Muftar, the, the street that I was telling you about, the walkable street with all the bars and cafes and cool. And that, my favorite little restaurant, the Lebanese place. We can walk. We can do all that. On the okay. Way. It's just going to be a walk. We got cameras for that. We can metro, but maybe it's just... What do you guys... We just walk it. Premier 2.5. That's... Oh, this is us. Huh. The two maggots. <laughs> <laughs> the two maggots. Yeah. That is us. Uh, we're waiting for the... You know what? It, I've noticed this a lot, though. It, it takes forever to get checks in this country. Yeah. I think that's part of, like, uh... It's just... The, the, there's no incentive to... Uh, there's no tips. It's just so we're like, all right, get to it when I get to it. But I also think, in a lot of ways, the service is better. Yeah, than, it's better, but when you want to leave, sometimes you want to leave. Or when you want to start, too. That, too, yeah. Everything in between is good, though. Um, yeah, so the they're on Parisian time, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. So the thing was, is you guys don't know, Premier 2.5, which I'm very upset about. That is Ian. The You might remember him from the Van Gang. He was a major part of what made the Cyclothon work. The absolute legend. Evening, mate. Looking forward to PG Tips. PG tips. I don't know what that means. Uh, when that happens, I just walk to the counter to pay. Go do that. Oh, I already went in. I did that. But then he said, I'll, I'll do it right away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to see Jeff. Ah, oh, damn Good. it. Good. Is that Ian? Yes, I it is. Ian. The Van Gang, he made it work. And I feel really bad because Ian had to endure uh, two, three days of nine and a half hours right next to my... <laughs> You know, oh, PG Tips is a uh, snack in England. Oh. Because it's Yorkshire, Yorkshire tea. PG Tips is the, the drink. Is it Jeff or Geoff? Jeff. Jeff. 
I, I'm, Ian also had to endure it. Me and my coworkers coming to visit Tokyo. He did. No, you remember when uh, I'm not. We shouldn't name names, but when my coworkers came to visit. Oh, that was uh, great. Yeah, that and was great. Ian taught the uh, one hen, two ducks. Yeah, thing. yeah. One fat hen, one fat couple hen, of ducks, right. yeah. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, Yorkshire Tea Gang, where are you at? No, no, no there's no. There's. Hey, this is not a British stream. This is not here to talk about your teas. We can find a tea house. No. Oh, I do need to buy a special Paris tea, though, for Charla. Okay. That's an important... Is it a specific I should one, probably... Yes. Yeah. I should have showed you that is it days ago. Is it Or is it... Is it a black tin? Mm, I don't know that. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the one, I bet. Yep. S this one. Yep. Mariage Frere. How can you read this? I mean, I just know Mariage from them. Yeah. yeah. So they, it, they have one close to where we're staying. Perfect. Yeah. In Le Marais. It's really cool. I want to move. It's a really cool place. Our place? Yeah. Yeah, it is. You want to just go, huh? I'm ready to move. It's raining again. I see. Oh, yeah. I got this. I have to make the it. umbrella. <laughs> what? We got, you got the umbrella. Uh oh. Do you have, like, Anything to cover that up, or do you need it? I do have something to cover it up, but we never made the the actual thing that we. Ooh, Bobby, this is very hot. Is it? High it, temp, it says. We leave it out for a moment, or? Yeah. That's the modem. It is. Is the yep battery still? So the other. Just stay. Yeah, I think that uh, two, two sweets meant something else. And I thought... Take the battery cover off for just a bit. Let some air get to it. What, um, I think... Daco. Okay. C'était bon Oui, très bon. Super. Délicieux. Merci beaucoup, mon cher. Bonne journée. Merci à vous. Yiki Macho. Oh, if the camera dies, we know what caused it. What, the overheat? Yep. Take that one, sorry. Alright, gang. We're off. Can you hold these for one second? Uh, you know what? Should I... Do need to wear it for a bit? Maybe. Should I, should I add this thing? Yeah. You think? Uh, I feel like we're alright. No, no, we can stop if it gets bad. If it gets bad, we'll take a break. Here, Jeff, try it out. You have oh, the power, right. be careful. Okay. Wait, can I just put it on or is it something That's all you do is you put on the backpack. Yeah. You just put on a, have you ever worn a backpack? Okay. I look like a... <laughs> you look like a unibomb. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go over here really quick. <laughs> you look like you're about to do some damage well, to take the, central, uh, yeah. I'll take the sunglasses off. Alright, hold on, hold on. Now you gotta, you gotta keep a present eye on the, on the camera No, itself. I don't want to do that at all. You, you have to. Well, I mean, I'll, why? Because they, they are your eyes. But... So you have to be able to adjust how it's straight. I have to adjust it while I walk? Isn't the whole point that you don't have to worry about it? Well, you hold this. Okay, that's the idea is that you're supposed to be able to do that. But now it's like, now you guys have a tall vision. Yeah. And it immediately started. You guys are so high. He's tall. Yeah, I see the world how I see it. <laughs> sort of. This is Jeff vision. Yep. And I'm always like, hey, <laughs> wait a minute. Hey, mister. Hold on a minute, mister. It's, it's frustrating. <laughs> He's a guy, guy cat. Guy, guy cat. Oh man, raining hard in the. Yep, right when we start walking. Well, the chip took four hours. I know. Yeah, he really boned us. Here, I'll, I'll block the. Good, good. I'm the. I'll hold it, I'll hold no, it. No, no, no. All no. right. 
This is more fun. It's yeah. like you're this star. That's true. <laughs> but I think your camera's tilted to the left. That's really? I have feeling. to watch that? No, I mean, he's got to make sure it's set once. Let's see what they say. But shouldn't you set that? Oh, it's a moist lens. All right, uh -oh. we'll fix it in a minute. Uh, what, like it's, it's got some drops on it? Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. But now you guys are, imagine you're 6'2", <laughs> and you're in France, and now you feel all cool. Yep. And then you have small friends <laughs> who, who hold umbrellas this, for you. This is exactly how I feel all the time. Man, Jeff must look straight out of Death Stranding with the rain hoodie and the shoulder wrapped yep. in He also had sunglasses on. That's true. So he looked absolutely psycho. I took those off because I thought I might actually get into trouble, get questioned. So we want right. to kind of cut a little bit that way. Nobody else has an umbrella. This is splash proof. It, yeah, but I need one. No, no. I liked when you were holding it. The backpack? No, when you were holding the umbrella, the umbrella for me. No. <laughs> that was, how do you get rid of these? I'll take the hood off. How do you get rid of these? That's not how that works. <laughs> Look at these dogs. That's cute. Yeah, I, I like being the uh, the camera-free guy. Yeah, I bet you do. It's a heavy burden. It is. That's so cute. What a good he dog. Has little, do you know what they call a leash in Japanese? No. Lido. Lido. But that's because it's also called a lead. Oh. Well, they add a dough on the end. There. Yeah, Lido. Okay. And remember, when you check your phone, everyone else can see it too. Oop. So if you open your porn hub, I just did. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the map yeah. this whole time. And sometimes you got to go like this. Like, imagine I'm the guy with the backpack, right? Yeah. No, stop walking. So, I, and if you want to check something, and the camera's here, you have to go like, you have to like, like check out it. this yeah, way because uh, they can't see it on the wide angle. I mean, they can, they can see that. Yeah, I don't they care. can see anything. They can see how cracked my screen is. They can see it all, baby. Yeah. All right. I'm check and see if Jeff's. Uh, Speakers. That guy didn't care. New rule when I'm crossing the road. You have no phone. No phones. Let me uh let me see here if I can um if we have some news if the thing's working. What thing? The it's not. What's give not? Me, give me a sec. Hold this. Oh, the, yeah. Nice. It's actually somehow not your fault. It's what is the, it? Uh, hold on a minute. It's the, um... I have to fix this. Hold on. Yeah, that's, that's it. Perfect. All right, now I just gotta. Just... There you go. I'm just a bot. Well, I'm camera bot. You're just Frankenstein. I'm, I'm camera and PC. Sure, yeah. <laughs> oh, I broke the thing. There's an F. Well, they said it's okay, maybe. And uh, when you make a Unity uh, game, you have like the camera, an object that like follows the character and you can like tie it to the character that's, that's what I, that's all I am well, you're also now suddenly walking like this you're like I know it's very uncomfortable like it makes you feel like I know we can't feel normal hold, why, you like wearing this now. thing I fixed it all right so now you can walk like a normal I can walk like a normal human and it'll, it'll bounce and stuff but I think the idea is is the idea you know yeah you're just hanging out but it's hard to act like it's not there, I think. Well, you get kind of used to it. The thing that was hard for me, and I still haven't figured it out yet, is if you want to show something, like, let's say you, you find a cool thing at the store. Oh, you have to, like, aim it down. I don't know where the uh, the correct placement, oh. or if you want to see like this, you get to, Wait. like, go, you get to be like, whoa! True love. True love. All right, I can reread that. All Let me right. see what that was saying. Did you turn up all the way? Now is it going to get no, rid of No, 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 no. All right. Uh, you two look so cute, sharing an umbrella in the streets <laughs> of Paris. Little and large, true love. <laughs> Little and large. Let me rehear that. Hold on a minute. I don't think I can. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What in the mock is going on here? 
So that's Ian. Okay, oh, he's yeah. saying what in the magic on the blacktop collusion? <laughs> He's not, he's not happy about this meetup. Yeah, we had our fall meeting. We already discussed. <laughs> I get an extra pick. Hello, traveler. We cross now? No, no. Far. It's not, this light doesn't work, so. Well, you're the, you're the tall guy. Yeah. Let's go to the middle now. Don't you, but the backpack's not that heavy is the amazing thing. No, it's very light, actually. We can go now. And I think that he did a really good job with uh, distributing the weight. Who, who did it again? Johnny Moore. Yeah, oh, that's right. He did everything. Johnny gets it done. <laughs> that's... Johnny gets it done. Yep. Do you have my phone? I think you do. I hope so. Oh, well. I have it. Okay, I don't need it right now, but I'm just... All right, so, yeah. Let's go on that side and then cross that way. So this way, that way? Yep. What happened to all the street lights in this area? I don't know. We just gotta go. That's cool that they have POV of Jeff. Yeah, that is cool. Let's go to the middle real fast. Oh, now we can cross. Did we visit a bakery? No. No. We, um, we stopped at a couple and looked at them. Yeah, but. We, we saw a couple. But you know what? The only the only downside I would say so far today, other than being scammed for some water, is that it's physically impossible to eat as much as you want to eat. Yeah, that's like, true. I can't just be like, oh, that caprese looks so good because of the fresh French bread. I'll eat it. And then we go like 400 feet forward and it's like, oh, man, they have like fresh macarons and like these sweets. I'll eat. There's just not enough space yeah. in my stomach. You almost have to plan it out, be deliberate about it, which is unfortunate because there's just so much good stuff. Yeah. You basically just have to live here. Hopefully, Leon has a, uh, or not Leon, Nyong. Neil. Has a bakery. Oh, um, yeah, they, everywhere has a bakery. Everywhere has a Every bakery? Every city that you go to will have a bakery. Really? Oh, yeah. Huh. Everywhere. And there's like, Boulangerie, I feel that's the same on vacations. I wonder if Pete will try a Greg's. What's a Greg's? I mean, Cheeky Nando's when he visits oh, the UK. Yep. Greg's is the meat pie place, I think. Oh. Or it could be a uh, toad in the hole. Do you know what that is? Nope. Toad that sounds like hole. a that, uh, thing I don't want to be a part of. No, toad in the hole is the thing I want to eat the most. When oh, I ba to. that you do. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, toad in the hole, I think, is like a pig in a blanket. Oh, it's the same? Similar. Why don't I just call it a blanket? Ah. Yeah, Greg's is the general bakery. What's, isn't there a word for the, for like, um, I know that there are just meat pies, but are there a special kind that, with a different word for it? There's a place in Las Vegas that has like British style meat pies, but there's a different word that they use. I can't remember it. Uh, not that I can think okay. of. Okay. A bakery sausage roll is the best. You lead so you can be in what? frame. I don't need to be in frame, this is your show. Oh, actually, and they need to hear you, too. I think they can always hear Yeah, me. that's true. A pasty is the word. Yes, that's, that's it, one. pasty. Love Greg's pasties. Perfect. That's the word. Toad in the hole is the sausage in a Yorkshire pudding, that's what it was. Oh, I see. You didn't seem too interested. No, it's fine. <laughs> But yeah, this these kind of streets right here. Yeah, we're starting to get back into Pete zone. Yep, okay. getting away from the really touristy yeah. stuff and the Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower were awesome. Yep, but that's about as close as I'll get to. But we knocked them out early. Now we can focus on degenerate. Yep, era. I mean uh, Just, local stuff. Yep, local stuff. It's a pasty. Not oh, it's pasty. a pa Oh, it's not pronounced pasty. Yeah, I guess a pasty is a different thing. Whoa, this is a Japanese place. Miniyama. That's what we need to eat a lot of here. A bunch of Japanese food? Oh, look at this dog. Hey. <laughs> He's just going. What the? He's going to the store. What's that about? I don't know. Who's the owner? I don't know. He's just going. He knows where, oh, he went into the store. I think he just knows where he is. There's another cool dog. Wow. Well, I'm jealous. Of the dog? Yeah. That dog had a job to do, it looked like. Yeah. Was just making sure he made it on time. Yep. I like this cool little wood zone. Oh, it's yeah. like a cafe. That is cool. It's blocked off. Dijonet and brunch. 
that dog's gonna be late for work. <laughs> I think he already was. Uh, yeah, this is a cool little street. Yeah, this this place is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> See, the street seating has been, somebody said the street seating looks so cool. Yeah. To reiterate, that is my favorite part. Yeah. I, every single place I've been to, I cannot be, I thought, like when I asked you, I said, can we do like a cafe outside? You're like, yeah, of course. I thought you gave me the yeah, of course, as in like, can I go to, uh, like, we'd find one. Oh, yeah. Not like, yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah, it's like the majority of places are that. Yeah. And the one thing that during the pandemic, a lot of, not just here, but in other, especially like Canada and stuff and New York, a lot of, uh, since they had uh, seating outside, since you couldn't be inside, uh, and people really like that, not surprisingly at all. And so a lot of places have tried to continue that. In Montreal, they have tried to like embrace the, a street with like open seating out, outside and sort of like close it off temporarily to cars so that it can just be an open walking and sit outside kind of thing. Because people like it, it's really fun. It's really pleasant. It is. I hope more cities get designed in this nature. Yeah. I also kind of like how, I mean, I don't know how to describe it, but because of the, the building height code, mm. everything is the same level, but it's still high, but it gives you a really big sense of like, you're in this huge city, but at the same time, because it's all even, it creates a lot of beautiful like vistas. Yeah. A lot of good sight lines and things. Yeah, sight lines. Yeah. And Tokyo, as beautiful as it is, it's just, it's just like this. It's like New York, in terms of the... Downtown New York. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With the different buildings all over the place. Catacombs tour? It might be. So, Jeff and I Ooh. haven't decided how much we're going to live stream. It depends, because, you know... Spooky stream. Yeah, spooky. <laughs> we might need a second, um, we might need a second SIM card for that, because it's underground. That's true. Yeah. But and it's also raining tomorrow, so it depends on like. That's tough because we wouldn't be able to know until we went down there yep. and like bought tickets and stuff. I guess it's kind of a thing where we can still go and enjoy it, but everybody else gets screwed. That's true. That's fine. That's fine with yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they're there, it's cool. If not, well, I mean, I want everybody to have a good time, but I mainly want me to have a good time. Oh, what? You're only on one SIM card? Yeah. So oh, we yeah. went to Free Mobile. Yep. And the woman there was like super helpful. She was the best. Amazing. And I was nervous because I looked up reviews beforehand. And it was like, this is the worst place in the world. Do not go here. I didn't tell you uh, that what? in advance. What? Because I was like, well, it's close. And it's a place where we can get a SIM card. Oh. I didn't want to tell you that everyone was like, do not go here. They will rip you off. <laughs> oh, no, it was easy. We bought it from yeah. a vending machine. Yep. So in case you're curious, if you're, if you're thinking about doing an IRL stream or you're wondering about how it all works, you kind of need two SIM cards generally. Some of the good streamers have like three to four so they can guarantee. Uh, in fact, Connor's was really interesting because he had two Japanese and two world SIM cards. And the world SIM cards are like throwing down your cool black credit card. Oh yeah. They got some weight to it. Yep. So um, when you, the, when we paid there, it was 210 gigs, <clears throat> which is double what I can avail, what's available to me in Japan. I cannot get 150 gigs or 125. Wow. I have to get 100 was the max. It was 210 gigs of 5G, 4G, whatever is available, best. LTE. LTE, <laughs> yeah, that's what we got. And it was 30 euros yeah. for a one month. That's crazy. That's unbelievable. Yep. 30 euros. Lucky day. Restaurant and bubble tea right there. I'm trying to like walk naturally and turn the camera and that's very unnatural. It's tough. The good news is that generally speaking here, I'll, uh, you have my phone, can I have it? Yeah. I'll show you how it looks up from the wide angle lens. So what like the, they're able like to Like the see. live shot? Yeah. And then you can get an idea of... Uh, Okay, it's shit, never mind. No, oh, it's not good? No, this is actually terrible. What, is it? No, it's oh. fine. Uh, let me see here. Let's stop. Let's stop at this bench. Okay. And just so this is um, it's called uh, Le Bon Marché, which is like a really, really fancy okay, shopping so wait, mall. Look straight ahead. Okay. Okay. Here oh, I mean, is... we're in the way now. What? We're just oh, in okay. the way. Wow, my hair is really long. Yep. I did not know that. Oh, yeah, it looks, it looks great. 
<laughs> You're very mean. Yep. Well, anyway, here, here I, I'm blocking. I don't know how to get rid of chat. Oh, there we go. So now yeah. turn really quick forward again. That's going to take a minute. Yeah, it takes about 20 seconds. It's like chatception. Streamception. We can walk now. I can yeah. just see it. It'll eventually update. So that's what they oh, get. Oh, yeah. That's what they got. That's good. So nice. you can see both of the sides. Yeah. But if you want to, so if you just turn a little bit, you can be able to show them okay. X, Y, and Z. All right. Well, you are tall. This is yeah. way better. Yeah, I should way better. hire you out just to be <laughs> me. Yeah. And I'll, I'll just walk behind you. Yep. And I'll be like, hey, guys, it's yeah. live from Crimea. And I <laughs> never tell them that you're there. Yep. It just seems like it's you. That's awesome. And everybody thinks I'm six foot. Yep. And you don't have the hair cam. Uh -oh. Don't have to worry oh, about I'm that. Okay. Oh, here comes no, the rain. No hair cam, yeah. <laughs> Soup's gonna be weird when I do a POV of eating. <laughs> here comes the rain. Yep. Uh, your hair is great and it suits you, thank you. I've worked in telecom and can get you that both Japan and US are getting absolutely ripped off by mobile, uh oh. Oh. I better take the umbrella. Yep. It's time for your special. Yep, thank you. <laughs> oh boy. I'm trying to get around everything. Oh, there it is. All right. Thank you. Well. How wonderful. This is weird. It, it does look like your butler. Yep. <laughs> I was, you. I'm the talent. You <laughs> are the talent yep. right now. You have, the, uh, you have the high pressure of the bag. Yep. And it's starting to come down. I think it's going to stop in like two seconds. Mm -mm -mm. You don't think Not so? Not according to weather. <laughs> <laughs> Ambient raindrop <laughs> AS. Yeah. MR. That's what this channel is now. Let's cross the street, I think. Okay. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> that's very loud. And that's fine. It's been a while. Well, it's very loud. Months, but a lot of fun. That's too Keep quiet. Being awesome. Have fun in Paris. That was nice. Thank oh yeah, this you. is much better over here. It's covered. We're good for now. You can take that down. Are you sure? Yeah, the tree cover. Is that a thing? Yeah, look at the sidewalk. Okay, yeah, you're right. Good idea. That's why you're smart. <laughs> That's why you're smart. You look down at the ground and you can assess <laughs> quickly. Wait, what's this right here? Uh, uh, I don't... Oh, a parking structure. A parking structure? Yeah. Sip Cafe. Unless you got grandfather with the plan, America is a rip. That sucks. Yeah. That sucks bad. We're going to need the umbrella again after this. All right, well, thank Stretch. you, Megazord, for coming back for it. another month. Oh, you probably need it, too, no, though, huh? Fine. Yes, I do. I'll hold it back, Mr. Right. Thank you. Oh, look at that place. Oh, that is very cool. This happens a lot. When they have a turn in the street, Yeah. they have these massive curved buildings on almost every... It doesn't, like, end and then start another one. They have, like, these... You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Why did they... Is that the Bank of France? Yep. You no. did a good translation. That was good. Funk. Bonk. Yep. <laughs> du. Bonk du. Du. Bonk du France. 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 Bonk du France. Bonk du France. Go this that way. sucks. It's hard to say. No, I mean, you said it. Yeah, I love when those build. And what are these, dude? They mm, built probably these giant things. Probably a hotel or something like that. Let's go this way, this way. This way? Yep. Look how cool she is. She's the lady in red just riding yep. her cool, like the Matrix. That's true. She's just on her cool little scooter in a red dress, just yep. blitzing through. What did you think of the lady in red? I, like, I just watched the Matrix, so I'm just quoting it. I watched it on the plane. Oh, really? Yeah. So you didn't watch LA Confidential? Nope. Just watched the Matrix that I had seen before. God. I like going with what I know. <laughs> Some comfort. Yep. I still can't get over these Probably. places. I wonder if they're super expensive. Uh, yep. Oh. I think so. So those are not like college kids with their buddies? No. I mean, maybe really rich college kids, but they're really rich buddies. <laughs> that usually is how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah. La Maison du Chocolat. The House of Chocolate. All right, my hand's starting to hurt. Your turn. Yeah, no, you keep holding okay. it. All right, I got you it. You got it for like a minute. You, but you gotta hold it higher because it keeps bonking my hat. Does it also cover up the view? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Chinatown, he, okay, guys. I did watch Chinatown. To this. I've been telling Jeff to watch Chinatown for uh, about four months. No, two months or so. I've been like, dude, I, I really, I rewatched it and I really, really like it. I think you're gonna dig it. And he was like, yeah, I just, you just, you know, time. 
He finally watched it, but he separated it into three viewings. Yeah. Three. It's a long movie. It's not that long. It's like three he, hours. It's like two and a half. Yeah. And he couldn't even watch it in one sitting. No, of course not. I also got it from the library, which also probably makes me mad. That's so stupid that you... I got that DVD from the library for free. Uh, I'm just not in the umbrella anymore. It's fine. No, I'm no. just cool with it. Forget I'm trying. it. It's Chinatown. Yeah, Jeff like, why do you always up. look yep. so sweaty? Multiple sittings. <laughs> why do you always look so sweaty and wet? <laughs> oh, it's so unfair. That's true. I'm just greasy. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to cover both of us, but it's You're really hard. You're failing yeah. horribly. Was I doing better? No. Was I just not getting you? No. Oh. I think you're getting it now. I was protecting the camera first and this, foremost. This, what is going on with this sculpture? Well, it looks like a weird Gundam. Of, oh, not a Gundam, but a, a Japanese like creation. Gundam. All right, we need to get out of this rain. Get out? I need to put the cover on the bag. Oh. Oh, it's going to there. Where? Straight. Okay. Just look at the sidewalk. Car, bike coming? I'll go, I'll go. Oh. All right, here we are. Can we take it off? Yep, we gotta do some work. How'd you like it? We're living it up. Oh, baby. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. I think it'll be all right. Hopefully these batteries are splash-proof. But the batteries are in inside, right? Nope, right there. Oh. All right. <sighs> wow. So I've never done this before. Which, oh, but you use the rain thing? Yeah, I, I saw Johnny use it once. You just he haven't been outside when it's rain? Uh, the test stream, I did. Oh. So wait, wait, how does this work? Looks like you're doing it. But what about the arms? Mm. I think it goes I this way. I think front, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is kind of cool. This is really cool. Yeah. Ugh. This is this is gonna overheat. We're gonna see Notre Dame in the rain. Well, somebody asked for a goddamn status update, and you're gonna get it. Okay, so wait, it doesn't go on this part. Yeah. What's that? You there? Uh, I think I'm close to getting it. But thank you. Do you know how this works? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of good. I'm not oh. so smart. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. It's not a pretty smart thing. Ah. Just like this. Oh. Put in here. And now we have some close up. Yeah, Amazing. that looks way better. Yeah, yeah. Here, Marty. Yo. Thank you so much. Yeah, don't worry, mate. I think normally you have one close up here. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Yeah, thank that's hold on, let me uh, let me swing this around to say thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Where are you from? Uh, so I'm we're both originally from the United States. Yeah. But he lives in Tokyo now. He's been yeah. here for about ten years. This <laughs> man saved our backpack. Thank he's you very a, much. He's a, he's thank you, sir. Where are you from? I am from the France. Really? Originally from Colombia, but Salem. Oh, yeah. Colombia, who or Colombia? Oh, yeah, Bogota. Bogota. Yeah. And you know, you speak fluently both French and Spanish, obviously? Yeah, I lost my Spanish because I stayed too many times in France here. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> when did you move? Uh, no, but technically I didn't move. I lived here for when I was born, but oh. as soon as my father can. Uh, West Colombia. So, yeah. Do you get the chance to visit Bogota? Yeah, yeah, lots. They have like a, a rock culture, right? There's like a, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, you can say that, yeah. man. Yeah, right. Yeah. But I uh, honestly I travel a lot, but Bogota is a little far and a little more expensive when you mm. take travel. Ah. Uh. So honestly, I think just for um, for in Europe, and I still walking so. Yeah, we're only here for about a week. Yeah. 
So after about seven or eight days, we're gonna we're going to Lyon. Yeah. That'll be nice. Yeah, it's a nice city. Yeah. Honestly, it's better than Paris, I think. Really? really? Yeah, I prefer because uh, I don't know. It's maybe for the people uh, you get here, but <laughs> <laughs> just terrible when you live here. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, too many like uh, crumpy face. Uh, uh, I, it's not really like polite. I see. It's but, kind of like that in Tokyo. Everybody's kind of cold. Yeah, it's. Uh, I heard that many times because I have a lot of friends who go to Tokyo. Mm. And a lot of uh, tell me, uh, yeah, go go there. It's really nice, and you love uh, Japanese culture. So definitely. Nice, yeah. If you ever go, please look for me, and I'll yeah. get you a beer. What's your, what's your name, man? My name is Peter. Peter? Or Pierre. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Jeff. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, we're about to... Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, we're going to go to Notre Dame and then... Kind of Notre Dame, yeah. yeah. Mm. Maybe uh, in the rain, but still. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, it just very, sir. Well, we are in still... Uh, this is a better play... The better... The better weather for visiting Paris, I think it's a sentence. Better weather for visiting Paris is a night and when it's raining. Oh, uh, okay. Technically, I'm not so sure about it, because you are like... Uh... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, so right now we're doing like a, a live live streaming. Twitch. Yeah. yeah. So this is a Twitch stream and uh, one of the users said that your jacket is awesome. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, it's a Kaminsky one. Oh yeah, so maybe that's uh, let me yeah. So maybe that's why they mentioned it. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, I don't know who said it, but you're already very popular. <laughs> Thank so, you. Yeah, guys. you're more popular than, than me and him. So we no, should. No, 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 you I can have the backpack. Here you go. <laughs> <but> yeah, <laughs> we'll uh, let you take over. All right. So cool. But uh, we're gonna start our walk. Thanks again. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you, man. Pleasure. Really appreciate take it. Take care. So. Nice jacket. Thank you. See you, buddy. That's amazing. Yeah. Is the uh, is the backpack actually covered? Take a look. Yeah, looks great. Really? Yeah. So all you got to cover now is the the camera. Yeah, yep. That dude was awesome. Yeah, he actually helped me kind of sort. That's a cute dog. Yeah. Very uh -oh. helpful. Very friendly. The backpack is red here. It's gotten wet. <laughs> <laughs> I need mm, my coat before. <laughs> 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 Please call your Grundle Tech representative. Yeah, that's the other thing I didn't mention. I kept this one kind of in the uh, back pocket. Yeah. The uh, the NAST. Yeah. They make a lot of of uh, Grundle Tech. Oh, I see. And uh, there's the Grundle Hush, which makes me quiet, and I, I don't like to uh, publicize that part of no. the. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. That guy was awesome. Yeah. What? Uh, Tibo was his name. Tibo. Yeah, it's cool. Um, and originally from, or like at least his family came from, from uh, Bogota, which is very cool. And you seem to know something about that. Well, so there's, it's a, I mean, it's a city, one of the major cities in Colombia, right? Uh, so there's of Bogota course. And, and Medellin, are the two big ones that I know. Uh, yeah, and, me too. And uh, so. Oh shit, thank you Sage Bird for Cool Jacket Dude, tossing out a, a gift sub to Cool Jacket Dude. Nice. I wish that was his name, yeah. so bad. Cool. Um, so they have uh, this scene. Thank like, you. Rock music is very popular. There's a whole culture around like rock. Uh, it's like a, I don't know how to put it. It's almost like a, what's what a shit? I can't think of the word. But it's it's just like it's it's not just the music. It's like how they dress. It's like a very big cultural thing. Okay. Like rock. People. Uh, that's rock whoops. music. And there are like rock clubs, rock bars, all that kind of thing. See, I did not uh, anticipate that. Which part? That there was a. I oh, just didn't yeah. know that yeah. it was like famous for that. Also, if you see a bathroom, let me know. Okay. I only know that because uh, a friend of mine is from Bogota and he was explaining that whole thing to me. I want to see Pete's face. Oh, I thought I was holding it. So. All I right. This is Mr. Show. This is Mr. Chris. All right. So here, here. This will take me a second, Chris. Yeah, take it off. Oh God. Well, you gotta. Well, wait. Let's find a covering. All right. Well, first of all, it's raining in Paris. Well, you can stand right under here. Yeah, but. Yeah, We're gonna wait until you. We have cloud cover, and then I will show you my glorious. Maybe he doesn't think I'm actually here. <laughs> You're just playing like I'm on Skype call. Yep. Instead of my glorious face, why don't you enjoy this? Gl I'm gonna turn left here. This glorious. Right. I meant right. This glorious shot of Paris. You just pulled the umbrella away from my head. <laughs> Magnifique. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, just... we, we suffer for the arts. <laughs> Uh, let me see what Chris said really quick. Uh, it might have been, uh, show me your face. I can't, I can't, it's raining. It looks awful. No, it does not. This is, you guys are so demanding. This is a beautiful city. Uh, we, we, we started our day in Bastille, and then today we had a croissant and pan de chocolate. Croissant. What is it? Pan au chocolat. Pan au chocolat. And then after that, we walked to the Arc de Triomphe. And uh, the Eiffel Tower. I think we're okay with the rain. Are we? Yeah. So it's been, because this is splash proof. Yeah. So unless not. it's really soaking. But this is a slick bag. Can you believe it came with like this? Although the only downside is it's covering all of the batteries and things. So it's going to get hot. Yeah, hot. Speak French for us. Je m'appelle Pierre. J'ai des bonbons pour vous manger. Yeah. Et... Magnifique. Perfect. Petite de 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 no. no. Uh, Déjeuner. Déjeuner. Breakfast. Yeah. Petit déjeuner. Oh, good. How are you using French internet? So, Jeff and I were able to secure a a 210 gigabyte SIM card for 30 euros, and it took us some finagling. And my my backpack guy Johnny Mole was able to help with the Bristol bullet, as I call him. Mm. He was able to sort it out on how we could uh, set it up last night while we were getting drunk. He kind of did a lot of legwork at like 3 a.m. Tokyo time. And one SIM card right now is, a, there's a Teletubby backpack. Yep. I don't like it. <laughs> That's frightening me. But uh, yeah, this is on a one SIM card because we have not been able to secure a second because we went to a place called Orange And they said the maximum they could give us was 30 gigs, which yeah. is terrible. That place is just called... Blue I hope Ball. you're paying John a small fortune. Well, in friendship. John is a small fortune. <laughs> John's cost me a small fortune when I bought two cameras, backpacks, equipment. No, you're right. You're right. Orange sucks anyway. I guess we just got to figure out which which place to go to that would have another carrier, but we didn't see one near our... We haven't really needed one, right? No, you're right. Yeah, we haven't needed one, but... um, Yeah, the pharmacy rave party. Look at this. Yeah. There's like... Why do they always use that green thing as like their main... It. Yeah, yeah. Just like the tabak. Tabak. <laughs> What's oh, your okay. impersonation of France and Europe so far? So, when I got to Bastille, Every single experience has exceeded my expectation. The outdoor cafe living and like how you people watch and the foods and the drinks you can get was amazing. And if you really want some cool scenery, the first 30 minutes of this stream, we're crossing. The first 30 minutes of the stream, uh, Jeff and I went, uh, I was by myself, I went to like around Bastille. It's so gorgeous. I love, look at these, look at this. Like this, like one second. Let's cross the street here. Look at this cityscape. It's amazing. It's very cool. I love this architecture, how everything is level with the skyline, and you just get these rows and rows of amazing buildings. It actually sucks that I can't possibly like describe how cool I think it is. However, I did feel that the Arc de Triomphe, the Champ, Champ, Champ de Lisieux, <laughs> I felt like that whole area, and including like, that street is that area of france was very touristy and it felt kind of fraudulent but i did like the giant parks around the eiffel tower yeah was that store just covered in dreamcast logos was it let's say yes Is it better than Japan? No. I think that from my... I, though, if, if you told me, Peter, congratulations, Twitch is paying you a million dollars to live and stream in Paris for a year, or France, easy yes. I know. I really enjoy it. It's... Like, look at these. I love how all the tables face out, so that when you're here with your friends, you just, you end up talking side to side and seeing all these amazing... I keep saying the word amazing. It's frustrating. There aren't enough words. There aren't enough words. 
but I, I do prefer Eiffel Tower Stream Win. We did one, except the, the line for going up it was uh, over an hour. So tonight the plan is we're kind of walking towards the Notre Dame. Then after we reach Notre Dame, we're going to the Latin Quarter. Yep. Then we're getting on a boat and we're getting drunk on as a on a boat. And after the boat, depending on how we're feeling or if the stream has devolved into you need to turn this off messages from the mods. Very likely. We will go back to the Bastille Not area. Mod, Not that one. Then we will continue to enjoy drinking and nightlife together. That's the plan for the stream. Moulin Rouge win. Tonight? Tonight. Tomorrow. 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 Tomorrow Saturday is going to be very busy. All right, let me rephrase my million dollar demand. Okay. I meant like if it was, if I, if I was somehow reassigned here for that, a year. That sounds like I would stay here if you paid me a million dollars. Yes, that sounds stupid when yeah. I said that. I meant like if, it, if an opportunity arose where I could live here for a year and make the exact same amount of money that I make now. Yeah. Uh, easy, yes. I see. I would definitely live here for a year and be like, this is amazing. Let's go and explore all these cool cultures. It's called Mustaches. It's a store for dogs and cats. How about a place where I can go to the bathroom? Mm, that's anywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever you want. I don't know if that's true. I thought there was public toilets in this country. The world is your toilet. No, that's Nyon. That's Nyon. <laughs> I don't think they don't like that. Uh, yep, we go. Oh, there's a tabac. Perfect. Is that the street we were on last night? No. Oh, okay. We're pretty far from there. That's the, uh, the sporting talk. Sporting research. You can get some shoes here. Show me your face. All right, here you go. You get to wear the backpack again. Oh, five minutes. Great. There you go. Hold this phone. The chat phone. Chat phone. Bro, the harassment from Mr. Apple on the stream. I, I ignore most of it. Pete, you didn't go at the cafe. I did. I did too. There's the giant beer. I'm gonna buckle this thing. There you go. Stabilize it more. Welcome to Paris, France. All right, big man. All right, let's do it. Let's go. I'm gonna uh, wear this. My hair is wet. This is fine, honestly. Yes, taller POV, thanks. <laughs> I hate when they say that. <laughs> Better and more beautiful than I remember. Small Pete. <laughs> okay. Increased Y axis. <laughs> <laughs> it's frustrating. Face reveal. Wow. <laughs> You're popping the uh, North Face. Do you still need shoes or no? Thank you for that, Pete. I can use it. I think uh, I'm going to use these shoes today because since it's raining, might as well not buy new ones. Ah, good point. Them. Whoa. Oh, your feet. Oh, it's Your last pep talk with Connor kept me going over the past week. Still waiting on those notes. <laughs> Enjoy Paris. Ah, that was a tough pep talk where I said it's lonely on the road. <laughs> I know what you're looking for. Here, I'll give you guys a pep talk about MILFs when we get to the next one. Oh, good. Look, I'm Wait six... till we get to Notre Dame and start with the MILF talk. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not a good idea. Um, that was great. Look, I'm 6'9". Having a smaller perspective is nice once in a while. Oh, wow. Well, that sounds like a subtweet at me. <laughs> Well, I think he meant it to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, he wasn't saying like, oh, you put it on even... Oh, the 6'2 guy. It's nice having a little pip squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, are you going to bring home some macarons for your wife? Yes, and eat a baguette. I'm definitely... We had a croissant. That's too much Pete face. Switch it back. <laughs> it was like two seconds. Yeah, too much. Um, we... Ground quake. Uh -oh. oh, thank you. Thank you. Um... Revy? Thank you for subscribing at tier one. I gotta go to the bathroom. So well, bad. gotta figure it out. Yeah, I figure. There's gotta be something somewhere. Oh, there's a cool statue. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh. Peter is Franny Brian. So proud of you for traveling to Paris. I heard it's a wonderful place, but I must say where's your jacket? You will catch a cold, dear. Have a safe journey, my dearie. Thank you. I left it at the house. There's a Starbucks. There has to be a bathroom yep. in there. Right? 
Yep, you take the backpack into the bathroom. No, no. Okay. And maybe I can grab a cheeky, a cheeky Nando's. Cheeky latte. Yeah. Just a regular oh, old latte. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing special. Thank you. Latte. I want just a regular Ooh. coffee. Ooh. Less temps, four creme de dirt. Elayla plus granda etra la muanla plus gram. He's the greatest and the least most greatest. <laughs> Even with the uh, British French, I understood it. Here you go. Thanks. I'll be right back. I'll stand here. Merci beaucoup. All right. There we go. Got a couple, uh, got you a regular iced coffee. Got myself a pumpkin sweet cream I knew you get something. No, you didn't. I, I had that at Doha. It's yeah. Awful. Was it bad? It's the worst drink I've ever had. It would be good here, though. Maybe. Yeah. Mine I also was... have to use the restroom, so. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Do you want Maybe to just get the line. table on the second floor really quick? We can wait out yeah. in the rain. All right. We... Yeah. Well, I guess I'll wait here, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> All right. Don't mind me. All right. Let's see. I can at least show them the, uh, here's the Starbucks, uh, oops. I think I pressed the button on the top. Does that do something? Yes. Does it turn it off? Yes. Can you check and see if I turn it off? Yeah. I don't know if I push it all the way. You're good. Oh, it's on? Okay. We'll see some of the Starbucks goods. Donut noir, donut blanc, donut fraise. And brioche façon pain perdu. All right. Oh, wait, right here in the corner. Feet cam. Well, now we're at the Starbucks. It's pumpkin spice season. Of course, Pete gets to go to the restroom first. He's the talent. I'm the camera bot. I always wanted to go to France so that I could go to Starbucks. This is a real treat. Get a pumpkin spice latte just like I always dreamed about. You good? Oh. Oh, at least I'll get chat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just, I just kept going in French. Lubricate my shoes, yeah, you're right. They're really, they're not in good shape now. Press the red button. Yeah, I've noticed that a lot. Uh, and to be fair, a lot of people here speak really good um, English. And so I get it. In a lot of cases, it's easier just to continue. They know that, uh, you know, I speak English. They don't know how good anyone's French is. So that's fine. My favorite French thing. I don't know. I think it's just like the... I think it's the culture in, in general. I mean, I know that's like a lame answer, but because there's a lot about it that's just a lot of a lot of fun, and it's just sort of easygoing and and you know the sort of outdoor cafe culture that Pete was talking about. I really like because you can just you kind of watch the world go by. Paris is obviously still faster paced than a lot of places, but um, not like New York where everyone is just going from work to the next place, and, and that's it. Uh, let's see. Hey, what's up, Conk? Uh, I did get a receipt for Pete's taxes, and he he tried to do some shady. That's not true. I just I grabbed this stuff. I've been to Normandy. I I also went there. Um, that stuff. So if you go to places outside of like Paris, you go to less populated places. Um, obviously, similar to when you go travel to, to Japan. If you're in Tokyo, people will speak English, but when you're in Paris, people speak English. When you go outside less likely to run into it. So, Pete's gonna take this now, because oh, I'm, I'm gonna go into there. Oh. My favorite pasta, I just got asked that. Uh, I'll say, no, it said Celadon, not you. What? You're answering for me? <laughs> take this. Did it say Celadon? <laughs> yes, that sucks, and I said it too. I said Celadon, what's your favorite pasta? And you go, uh, <laughs> like you're gonna give a French answer too. Which <laughs> <laughs> is all wrong. Uh, ravioli? No. Oh, is that a pasta? Yeah, I'll take that. Your shoes? Yeah. They're wingtipped. Yeah. They're 
Is it still raining? Wait, there's a cover outside. You want to sit outside? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I'll wait. I'll just see how it plays out. Hey guys, welcome back. For those wondering, think of it. <laughs> oh really? Really? So if you make so like in Japan if you even use if you use Japanese even a little bit and you try to make it work, they'll 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 go with it. The bathroom was uh let's just put it this way. I kind of need to use the number two, but when I saw the bathroom I said, ah that can wait. We're just gonna just we're just gonna fight this one out. ETA for next Chris chant message. Bugging Pete to do something. Hey man, the guy's busy. He might go to bed. I had an internship at a French bakery. Basically, none of them wanted to speak English. They could. They just chose not to. This is such a cool country. I cannot tell you how much I've enjoyed being in this... Uh, uh, when do you go to London? I'll be in London December 14th through uh, sometime unknown. But I arrive on the 14th of in the UK. Oh, you're right. Is this Jeff? Yep. Thank you. I didn't notice that. Hey, Jeff. I'm going to try your pumpkin cream thing. I'm going to try it. Yeah, they're both iced. Uh. All right, give me a second to uh, sort this out. Oh, back outside. Well, here we are, Office Depot. I used to work at that. Wait, so how much is Starbucks? I don't know, actually, because what Jeff paid for, and he gave me change back, so it's less than two, 10 euros. It's odd that you wouldn't trust the Starbucks toilet in Paris for number two. When I was living in Athens, it was the only toilet. Well, this one had some damage. But you know what? It's okay. Man, that was the other biggest thing that I was surprised by, other than the how many cafes and culture, like, how much it was here. The, the most amazing thing was how many men and women smoked. It is an astonishing amount. I know, everyone's wondering why I'm talking to myself. It's, it's tough to explain. Uh, and, and by the way, Moggle, thank you for subscribing. I do appreciate that. Welcome to the show. You guys have been super awesome. I've really enjoyed doing this, this French IRL stream. I can't speak for Jeff. I'm going to be at the Chris Christmas party in London. You'll be there too, right? I hope you'll have a drink with us. I will be there. I think I'm the doorman. I'll be helping out Chris from the shadows. <laughs> Is it weird to stream? So for me, Zav, yeah, I always feel a little uncomfortable with a camera on my shoulder and talking to myself. Yeah, it's one of those things where I'm trying to get used to not feeling so bad about it. But yeah, I do respect everybody else's kind of privacy and I think not everybody wants to be on like camera and stuff but at the same time I really find it very special and fun to share all this stuff with everybody so I try to find a nice balance if we're in Hokkaido sure I'll scream milfs and dilfs for all or 300k or I'll go crazy with some pep talk but if I'm in Paris on a busy street I try to keep a low profile I really enjoy these, these IRL streams too. I, I, I do miss playing video games. I love sitting in my little premiere apartment and playing games. And, and it, the thing that I find the most trouble actually is I'm usually with a guest on the IRL streams. So I'm really looking forward to an opportunity to how to stream by myself where I just talk to you guys and enjoy. But it's, it's a little bit harder to include chat when there's when there's like another guest because you want to also value their time I will not be twerking in the middle of the road yep that's me 
Got to start working. Great stuff, Pete. Have a blast. Thank you, DG. I would have expected it to be the other way around, but love the IRL streams. Keep them going. I do love my games. Why do you feel it's okay to be loud in Hokkaido and not in France? Because in Hokkaido, there was no one there. A lot of the towns we were in had maybe one person with an earshot of when I was being goofy. In Japan, or in Paris, it's... If I shouted as loud as I did as, uh, as I did in Hokkaido, it would be insane. People might actually attack me. Thank you, JK. Welcome back. Yeah, I like having a guest too, but the, uh, the only thing I feel bad about with the guest is that, you know, I, I hope that you guys don't feel I'm ignoring you. I found a cool method though. What I'll do is, if there's, uh, I'll check the chat. I see some sort of cool comment. I, I take it back to myself and then I talk with Jeff about it or with Ian about it or with Paul about it and then after that conversation concludes I go back to the the chat again so yeah but yes it's it's tough sometimes I feel kind of awkward I hope Jeff hurries take this comment sometimes I read the wrong one hey Pete are you feeling tired after six hours of walking around Paris also what wait what's the uptime has it been six hours if it's been six hours, the phone, the thing will die soon. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm waiting for my friend. 625? You read a lot of the comments? I read that one. That's two. So, uh, <laughs> the camera will die in a minute. That was an NPC encounter. I declined this quest. You guys should go to the Paris Catacombs off stream. We're thinking about it, yeah, because it's going to be raining, and one of the reasons is we're we're trying to get trying to figure out like you know what can we do, how much do we want to stream, what are we going to do off stream and stuff like that. But finding the balance. How is it? Oh, you can't stream in the catacombs. Thank Great. You. So maybe we'll just do that then. Make sure you get your streaming license when you're in the UK. Oh, what? There's a streaming license? I find that hard to believe. This is a huge coffee. See, this is the kind of thing I was looking for, though, earlier. Just giant iced Americano, Jeff. That way I can just get my load up on the, the caffeine... keep it moving. Have you seen the actual map size of the catacombs? It's extremely massive. Uh, yes. Oh, here he comes. Alright, now I'll try your drink. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's way better. Is it? And better than what you got? Keep them up, mon ami. Not but sweet though. No, no, what was that? I missed it. They said that they like the IRL stream. So here's okay. the thing, right? Uh, when I get back after the surgery, we are going to do IRL streams once a week. Ooh, nice. That's what it's always been. It's on Saturdays. So I'll show you guys different parts of Japan, but three times a month or four times a month, I like to kind of build up to them as like a special event. And I just like sitting in my apartment playing video yeah. games. So um, if you like historical museums, you should... Sh should you sh okay. <laughs> oh. They were... I'm not a YouTuber. Oh, is that what he said? He was, they were saying, YouTuber, YouTuber. Uh, I am a Twitch streamer. It'll probably go up on YouTube. That's true, yeah. It's going up on YouTube. So he wasn't wrong. You're right. Um, is like, the stream glitching? I don't think so. Like, you might just need to refresh. I should... Excuse me, monsieur. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Twitch. Twitch, Twitch, yeah, Twitch, Twitch streamer, Twitch, Twitch streamer, Twitch, Twitch. Yeah, and uh, I noticed another thing. I thought there would be more IRL streamers here. You did? I thought there'd be. I thought we like in Tokyo. If you go out, you'll cross one. Really? Yeah. I had high confidence that you would be the only one. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yep. I was. I was. Sure. It's glitching. All right, hold on. I think it might be overheating. So let's. Let's... Oh, boy. I need to get an ice pack. Ow. That was a, that was a out of me. Swung that right in my face. Yeah, I'm gonna swing these in the face. 
Twitch is not big in France. All right, there's my crotch shot. That's not what we wanted. Well, I know several French rocket teams. Twitch. One of the best teams has a few. One of the best teams is French. The team that just won Worlds. Really? Yep. Super interesting. Ugh. Uh. You get to, uh... Okay. That's the worst. Oh, boy. What do you got? Grundle shots. Oh, good. Uh, this is Pete's only fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can it, mate. You get the up-the-nose angle. There you go. Pete, where, when are you coming back? Uh, I'll be back on the 17th, and I'm going to take two days off and just detox and recover. Probably and a good idea. After that, it might be that the modem is surrounded by this stuff, but uh... You didn't take it out? Or you did? No, I didn't. I think you should. Well, this... That was close to the club on. BDS, that's what it was. BDS. This is gonna die in a minute, by the way. The whole thing? Yep. You don't have another battery? I do. Oh. But I'm just letting you know everything's gonna die in a minute. Do you have my phone? Oh, I have my phone. Yeah, Let's see. You don't need the license to do the... Okay. So when is Jeff going to start up his own Twitch stream? He's got one. It's called Earn of the Screw. Yeah. It's terrible. Come on. <laughs> you have your own little workshop that you... What kind of question is that? When is Jeff going to start up his own stream? That's insulting. <laughs> How dare you. All right. Let's see the, the angle of I this. I who asked that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. No names. Uh, no names. Just restart it now while you're having your coffee. Probably a good idea, but I want to get as much battery power. Over 1K views, Pog. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Thank you. And you're getting a shot of my Jack Nicholson forehead. There's a big charity event in France this weekend where most of the big streamers are. Really? Oh. What's oh, the event? Oh, really? Oh, really? Maybe I should show up and flex my uh, yeah. partnership. Content muscle. Uh, <laughs> partnership. Yeah. Better. Don't shout out Celadon Urn. Yeah, uh, shout me out. Last they were they were playing just chatting the Z event. What's that? I want praise. You need praise. Need you praise. live off of praise. Oh, yeah. Feeds me. Well, praise and and beer. But first praise. I feel like this is not helping. The this angle is probably no, terrible. It's like aiming at your knee and balls. <laughs> Hey, yeah, there this, it is. Is, this is, all right, well, I wasn't invited by Zerator, so I'm assuming he either invited me, but I didn't see the email. That's probably what it was. Or I, I just showed I, I think Erna the Screw got the invite from Zerator. Um, you did? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's called the No Petter Club event. Oh, well, that's, that does, <laughs> that does. Yeah, sponsored by Erna the Screw. <laughs> <laughs> This is what you're going to get for a few minutes, because I need the camera to cool down, so you're getting a nice Grundle cam. Um, That'll really cool down the camera. <laughs> <laughs> they call it the cooler. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just extended my sub for another six months, I guess we're stuck together. I'm about to take a six-month vacation. Uh, I'll be back, though, in um, calculating six months later. Mm. March. Mm. March. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it looks like... The rain's gonna get the better of us for now. You said that you were confident it was not going to rain for the rest of the day. Like, we were almost past it. I did feel that yeah. way. Thank you. Now this is some good content, RP Jennifer. <laughs> Don't complain about free content. It's the PP cam. When? What did we do to bless by these grundle shots? This is a mansplaining to the Gucci. Okay. Yep. The rain's just coming down harder now. Is there a grundle emoji? No. No? There's a Grundle freeze People emoji. Grundle? There's not a Peepo Grundle. No. <laughs> Where did you learn these phrases? Are you from you? <laughs> no, you didn't. You said Peepo earlier. Peepo, yes. Peepo is a popular phrase. Peepo Grundle is not. <laughs> That'd be cool. 
Yeah, we can make it happen if we wanted to. We can do whatever we want. You have to sign up for that? Like, you have to pay for it? Nope. So, which ones? The Peepo stuff? Peepo Grundle. No, there's no Peepo Grundle no. yet. Alright, so. The, uh, they're spamming Peepo Grundle in chat. <laughs> so, basically, there's this thing called Better TTV Emotes, right? Is this, is this, hey, what's up, Ned Exxon? Uh, you can add, you know how I have, like, channel emotes, right? Yeah. Where it has, like, you know, your, 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 your Premier Wow, Premier Compi. Uh, you can add these in, in add-ons to your web browser. And it's called Better TTV and Franker Z. I don't know why they didn't make it. Dude, if I'm, a, if I'm just watching the stream, I have to add that, too? Yeah. Well, okay. sometimes you can see it on, like, the screen if I added a chat and I have them enabled so you'll see them but but in my chat screen it'll just say like monk of w or uh, people leave or people arrive or people hey or some weird thing that you'll see people spam I wish they would spam life more yeah <laughs> my Paris is a land where twilight begins to to violent nights of black and pearls where it may be the flower form is Ellen underscore ah but the gold nights and the scented foreheads. I don't understand that, that. I like it. I think it's translated from French. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, life when you see cool views, right. So that's like a cool sunset. There's not a lot of good life shots here because, first of all, I'm in frame. And second, this, this rain is pissing down, as it's they say. It's an umbrella. Well, I mean, it's fine. Uh, let's see if the camera view is all right. Uh... Yeah, it's actually not bad, but we lost 100 people, so... <laughs> After I, I left it, it from the camera... I think it was yeah. when I was standing at Starbucks, and just, <laughs> yep. While you were waiting for the restroom. Oh well. Alright. So... You got the white kid... That's the. That's not the white kidnapper truck. That's no. Ian and Paul. Yeah. <laughs> that's just Van Gang, baby. Synonymous. Van Gang for life. I also just realized that I'm, I'm holding my phone, and this is how I drank my coffee. I just saw a replay back. You ready? <laughs> yep, you just have no idea how to hold things. That's a bit better. There we go. More natural. Muffled sound? I thought we fixed the sound earlier by, by doing all this extra stuff. Oh, I don't want to swap the battery. I want it to go all the way to the end. I want to burn through this as a stress test. But surely the... And I have to, like... We put this 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 bag... Uh, what would you say? It's like a... Um, raincoat. Raincoat. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> we put a raincoat on there. And it's kind of a bitch to switch. So what's going to happen is the camera will die. It'll go to a uh, privacy Rainbow screen. Cool. Yep. No, it'll auto-switch to... Oh, like your idol or something? That there's technical difficulties. Oh. And then when when you hook it back up, then it'll resume? Yeah, no catacombs filming. Oh, that's a rule? Yeah. But well, we can do it. Yeah, that's true. Or we could buy the camera. <laughs> Extra spooky. <laughs> Let's go throw it into a French prison. Yeah. Hide <laughs> the, the camera. I like guess the best deal. <laughs> that's not what we're looking for. <laughs> it's a little sweet, though, isn't it? It is. Yeah. But... I needed it. You needed that little sugar rush? I'm not sweet enough. Oh, uh, I know that. That's snatch. Catacomb yep. is sacred, right? Is it a church? I don't think it's a church, is it? Well, the catacombs themselves, I don't think, are a church. They're all just like tunnels full of... might be under a church. Yeah, like, yeah. They might, several, they, they yeah, might yeah. Like, belong to the church originally or something. And Maybe there's also someone. real people's bones there. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that does make sense. Yeah. But yeah, right now, full drain on Lion batteries will lower the expected lifetime. Oh, so I should stop them before they're... I shouldn't let it drain? I should pull the plug early? Oh, it hurts the, their life or something? Is that what they're saying? I'm waiting for confirmation, because oh. I'm unfamiliar with this. Maybe just like the awesome windows up there that are like... Oh, get out of the way. I, I thought, I'm looking at it in the reflection. Yeah, and just like, when people just have it open, they have a nice little balcony thing. Have the sounds and the rain and stuff mm. of the city. It's awesome. Yeah, I, I, obviously I want to respect the. Call the pump. That's right. Hold on. Hi. They were really nice. Yeah. And yeah, I could tell that they were. No, they mean charge before MTP. Yeah. All right, I'll just do it now. Switch All right. It. Switch it. Say goodbye to everybody. Come See and say ya. hello. You'll be. Well, well, you'll be right back on. Okay. It takes a few minutes. Oh. Well, see you guys see ya for a few minutes.
been fun. Um, I guess if there was one thing though that I was I forgot to tell you is well, it's not that important. Well, I mean, Over here, the story of Premiere 2. It's not a story that chat would tell you. We don't fuck around with this stream. This is the real deal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Insane production value for what this stream is? What in? my loins and cold outside oh whoa. all of this not interesting it sounds disgusting it sounds disturbing do you know that the equivalent of teabagging for a woman is called a clam slam <laughs> now will you shut up with the mama mias and the ah! my god i had to turn them all off you guys ruined your chat privileges for an hour i'm timing you out Come on, I've masturbated over worst. <laughs> oh my. Well, yeah, I can imagine. This is pretty good material for that. How do you use this? I, I missed. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Pete's getting horn. I almost said horny. <laughs> I meant to say, not ran. Oh no. I don't know what I was looking for, but it wasn't horny or randy. I meant to say Pete's getting like, Warmed up? First, it's over. You bitch ass tree. Yeah, well, at least I don't hit any damn bananas. Game over.
ever hear the story of Premier 2? It's not a story that chat would tell you. We don't fuck around with this stream. This is the real deal. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. Insane production value for what this stream is? What in my loins and cold outside? Oh, whoa. All of this. Not interesting. It sounds disgusting. It sounds disturbing. Do you know that the equivalent of teabagging for a woman is called a clam slam? <laughs> now will you shut up with the mama mias and the ah, my god, I had to turn them all off. You guys ruined your chat privileges for an hour. I'm timing you out. Come on, I've masturbated over worst. <laughs> oh my. Well, yeah, I can imagine. This is pretty good material for that. How do you use this? I... I missed. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Pete's getting horny. I almost said horny. <laughs> I meant to say, not ran- Oh, no. I don't know what I was looking for, but it wasn't horny or randy. I meant to say Pete's getting, like, warmed up. First, it's over. You bitch-ass tree. Yeah, at least I don't hit any damn bananas. <laughs> Alert! The center control point is being captured! Oh, Ken just raided? What's up, Ken? Hey! Let's see what Ken's going on. Let me see if this works. Let me see if we're back. Are we back? Are we- are we pog? We're back! Thank you, Ken! Hey. Yo, what's up, man? Hold on, I'm gonna hand this to Jeff. What's that? Hold the thing? Yep, and I gotta put this, uh... Thank you for the raid. Here, I'll give you a, uh... uh I'll give you a pep talk. Ready? Oh, bonjour, Kudo Ken. Ah, just the guy I was looking for. Here we are in the beautiful streets of Paris, and there was something missing, something I was longing for. It's you, and here you are with your wonderful community. Appreciate it, man. Welcome and enjoy an entire day of rain streams. Thanks, Jeff. Rain gang. Rain gang, rise up. All right, now hold on. Do you want to try this thing? Do I want to try? Yeah. Like, hold it? No, this back. Oh, put the thing on it? Yeah. Okay. Wait, what do you say? I had a crazy headache and I had a fun stream, my dude. And also, hello, chat. All right, boss man, take care of yourself, dude. I'm a big fan of Kudo Ken. It's you know, did it cheap. I uh, I was watching him play like Persona and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, before, when I was working at like five or six years ago. So he's like one of the OG. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I remember him. Kudo Ken's awesome. Did you watch the Switch Sports where I was drinking a lot? I didn't. He was the host of that along with Lewis. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. How's that? Hey, dude. Nailed it. Fucking First nailed try. it. All right. <laughs> Way too easy. Way to go, Jeff. Hold on, I gotta... That's really good. Well done. All right. One more second. Sorry. Oh. And be careful with that cord, though. That's what broke the last thing. Really? Oh, yes. We'll just give a shot of the rain. That's fun. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, there we go. Let's see if it works. Oh, we are back. So here's the thing. We have a bit of a bad luck right now. And thanks for the raid, really. Uh, as you can see, it's raining hard in Paris. We're quite close to Notre Dame. <laughs> Notre Dame. You say it. Notre Dame. That's the one. You went Notre I, Dame. I went Russian. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> We're very close to Notre Dame. <laughs> After that, we get on the boat. I have some vodka. And we drink vodka. Yeah. Did you find a decent data plan, Pete? I did. I We found only one decent data plan. 210 gigs of unlimited power. Very good plan. 30 bucks a month. And we only had one month prepaid. Yep. That's it. 
So that's that's a that's a good deal. And um, right now we're just kind of waiting till the rain to die down, which it is supposed to. Then we're going to check out Notre Dame. Then we're going to get on a boat because that's what won today's uh, poll. Hopefully we can get one with a covered. I think we saw one that had a covered roof. Yeah. Then Except we're going out. to drink our ass off in the into that. And then after bitrate is really crunchy, well, we only got one modem. You one know, modem. it sometimes comes, it sometimes goes. But right now we got to wait for this because we have to put a big sack around the backpack, and it, it's uh, it's kind of. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, I definitely wish I could be walking around showing you guys more, but no matter how you spin it, Jeff and I would be walking in the rain anyway. Yuki did not come to Paris. She advised me to leave the house for 10 days. She wanted to uh, uh, talk to my neighbor, some new guy who moved. No, I'm kidding. I'd be, I'd be horrible. She's going to be... She has to work. How many hours left? I think you guys... Here's the good news. You're not going to be able to drink with us until midnight because thankfully the battery will die. I have one smaller backup that may work for like an extra hour or two, but Jeff and I get our own DJ in time. Yep. So we we have uh, about six and a half hours left of, of batteries. But I do want to start drinking on stream <laughs> <laughs> so I can start making fun of you more. You're still finding your footing? Yeah. I'll feel more comfortable once I drink more. Because once I started having that beer, I was like, all right, now You're I'm feeling, feeling it. good. And then we stopped. Now I'm not feeling it anymore. Well, it's tough. I mean, it sucks when you have to just sit in the rain in a beautiful city. It's only Holly that we're streaming now and that she should tune in. She just woke up. She's like, what's the channel again? Yeah. Like, like, what, is, what are you talking about? Who are you with? Uh, but, but, yeah, it's one of those, it's one of those, odd, who am I with here? here? <laughs> Jesus. Your fiance doesn't know me, but damn, it's still raining hard. I think we're going to give it about 12 minutes. We'll After 12 minutes, we're off. I'm checking. 12 minutes, and it's go time. I mean, it says 4 p.m., 100%. 5 p.m., 90%. What? 6 p.m., 80%. Are you we just, serious? We just go. I mean, it's lightening up temporarily right now. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Been waiting to resub so I can continue my reign of awkwardly timed SFXs and note interested. Great streams, please keep up the good work, dude. Thank you, Agent Zombie. I appreciate that. You're a legend. Uh, um, this is the shilt part. Hi. It's September, but on Twitch we call that September. Okay. Now's the time to open your wallets for a good cause. Me. <laughs> I don't know if I would classify it as a charity or a tax write-off. What would you say my channel is? I, well, you're hoping for a tax write-off. No, for them. Oh. What would I say it is? Yeah. It's just not... content for its own sake. <laughs> <laughs> it's just indulgence. <laughs> All right, let's go on. Someone said you've got a data set for the UK now. Uh, I do. A date set, yeah, the 14th. I'll be in the UK on the 14th, but I don't know when I'm leaving, and I don't know any exact dates other than that. All right, let me finish this coffee, and let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I think we got to, we're, we'll have a little break where we can get to Notre Dame. Maybe the boat, boat might have to be moved up into the drinking zone. Yeah. We might just be like, that's fine. I'm tired of sitting in the rain. Let's get blasted. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people are going to enjoy that. Uh, as, well, I don't know. There should be nice views as we're going around the... There'll be a lot of tourists as well. Be cool. All right, let's go. All right. Let me let me finish this. Has anyone warned you about the bad pickpocketing situation in Paris? I would advise you to keep anything in your pockets, uh, especially on trains and busy. They have. I appreciate that. Let's get blasted. <laughs> I'm texting Holly. It's my last chance to do it before we start walking. Okay. Credit cards aren't accepted. Oh wow, a donation. Have a drink on me. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will. <laughs> After we paid 36 euros for two coffees and two waters, yep. we'll take everybody's we, drinks. We can use it. Uh, that phone is so close to the walkway, it's stressing me out. What, this one right here? Here, let me keep putting it like that. Like this phone. Like that. Ah! I'm just kidding. I put it... There was a chair there. <laughs> Uh, Pete's forehead is in That was planned. Just yeah. like the camera dropped? That was not planned. I don't say that. That pisses me off. I hate that. I know that. Oh, mean. someone might snatch it, I mean. Oh. Oh. I see. I see. We're so innocent. Hi. 
Jeff Waugh, one more time. Okay, can you stick it in the side pocket? Yep. Nope. Nope. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's get wet. That's, um, what, uh, the, the Voice Esports team, that's their own motto. Let's get wet? Yep. No uh, way. Yeah, a bunch of people have, have the signs. Let's get wet. They started, uh, chanting it's it too. so stupid. <laughs> I feel regret saying that completely. They were great. Rise, Joyo, and Vatira. Is theft really that high in France now? That's just people overreacting. Is what? Is theft oh, really that high? I mean, it's like any big city other than Tokyo. All right. Let's see how this goes, boys. Are you ready? Whoops. There are a bunch of people in the, in the crowd for that team. They were wearing, uh, what are they called? Like ponchos. Even it's like indoors? Yeah. All in the indoor arena. Let's get wet. Are you a team moist? Uh, not exactly, but I, I mean, I like them. All right. This is bad. I'm team beast mode. Yeah, beast mode from Kansas City. Yep. All right, let's go. On the road, boys. Uh, I'm done with this. I'm going to throw it away. Okay. I'm so sorry. Pardon. Excusez-moi. Oh, somebody gifted a sub there. Oh, no. I haven't been able to see... Five, if you do... If you do 10 gifters, Jeff will do a handstand right there in the right... <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, this is crushing. Now, I think this is splash proof. I read it. Let me read who uh, was kind enough to gift a sub. Uh, hold on a minute. Yo, little typo. Thank you so much for tossing out a gift sub to Monle 1020 I do appreciate that. Sub gang, rise up. Rain gang, where are you at? Van gang, which one you want to pick? How do you feel about Queen Elizabeth's death? Tragic. I mean, I, I don't really have too much to say. I think she's, what, the longest serving monarch ever or close to? Is that right? It makes sense. I think number two. I think she's number two, really? technically. Yeah. And I always thought it was kind of cool that, like, in a world dominated by male politicians... She was, she was kind of like a, a stalwart who, you know, the first prime minister she had was Winston Churchill. Really? Yeah, all the way up until oh, Boris. Blah. She saw, I mean, I, it's, what a life. Yeah, so 70 years of being a, a somewhat, I don't know how it works, some servant to the public. Although, I mean, I think she made like a ridiculous amount of tax money. So it must be nice, but. I just can't imagine like seeing that amount of change from so, anybody, <laughs> anybody. Not yeah. Between, but anybody. Like our grandmother. Yeah. But she seems, um, she yeah, seems beloved. Trust. Seemed like she was beloved, you know? Seems like that. Yeah. My grandmother loved her. Betty. Yeah. She was from the Wales. Yeah. No, nah, Louis the Fourteenth, I think, was. There was some guy who did, like, 76 years or something like that, or something crazy, are or you something too. Are talking about too. in England? Are you going to uh, Monarch in England, yes, for sure. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Let me see what our turn is, because it's not far. What's up, Curry, half and half? Boris, bleh, I'd be too accurate, man. <laughs> hey, there's the Fran Prix. You taught me that earlier, right? Fran Prix. I'm a main Prix. Mono Prix. Oh. So we'll go a little bit farther, and then we'll go onto the island. Okay. So our left turn is going to come up at the next, at this uh, intersection up here. Louis the Fourteenth was 18 months longer than Elizabeth the Second. There you wow. go. Louis XIV. Louis Cartas. <laughs> so, I'm actually kind of curious to you guys, even with this rain gang where you can see like this shit, is it still pretty cool to see Paris? Because when you had the blue skies and the Eiffel Tower and the Arc de Triomphe, that guy, uh oh, whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's not, that's nope. not what we're looking for. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. Oh Jesus, okay. 
All right. Who knew you were streaming? That's not my fault. That is not my fault. It's uh, very cool. Love it. The rain sound is relaxing. Okay. We'll take that. That was uh, That was unfortunate. <laughs> that's strike two on the old <laughs> Twitch channel. Hey, Peter, what is your, your time in your time zone? This is 3.30 in the afternoon. It's 3.30 in the afternoon, and it feels like... I, I was telling Jeff while we were on a little break. Is that a tabac? Yep. Um, Did I? We... <laughs> I'm learning my important <laughs> things. We have already been streaming for seven hours, and it didn't feel uh -huh. like... Seven hours. There's a McDonald's right over there too. Mac, you Mac. Real. But we went to the uh, the real French yeah. food. Yeah, I would like a French f fish fillet. Oh, uh -oh. they almost saw a bang bang. Yep. You know what? Uh, bang bang yeah. Go. Oh, yeah, we saw something. <laughs> Ian has a thing called a bang bang where it's like, oh. Oh. You're getting two meals back to back. Yeah. yeah. Did that's I tell from, you that? I think that's from Louis. Oh, really? Yeah. It was, yeah. Well. It's not Ian's. No, he just blew so. that story. Yeah. All right. Fuck <laughs> it. Okay. Forget it. Back to you. Oh, that's an awesome dog. Can Jeff speak French? Sometimes. Yeah. Um, a couple drinks. If he, yeah, when he's drunk, it's way better. Yep. But when we needed to get a SIM card, he was like, oh, uh, sous SIM play. card? SIM card, uh, <laughs> je ne sais quoi. SIM card. Oh, uh, comment se dit ça? I was like, wait, 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 wait. Comment se dit ça? <laughs> How do you say? Yeah. I know that. I remember the Platinum Jubilee. What's Boulinier? Mm. It's a bookstore. No, it's like a... Well, I mean, it clearly is, but I, <laughs> that's not what... It's not its main purpose. I don't know. Uh, you've been keeping me company during the entire workday. Thank you, Pete, and Good. chat. Curry half and half. Don't you worry about a thing, my man. There's orange right there. They s oh, yeah, you want to try that again? Do you think we just had a bad guy? Mm, I think they're all bad guys in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's try to find a different yeah, carrier. We don't want orange. Orange. Does he get better when drunk or sound better when you are? Uh, no, it's both. <laughs> it's, it's definitely both. Yeah, uh, I. Les deux. Les deux. What's both, yeah. yeah. So he, he speaks, I think he just gains more confidence, and I just think, like, he sounds great. When, uh, when, when sober, I'm more nervous about making mistakes. So I get less nervous about making mistakes after I have a couple drinks, so that makes me able to just to kind of let it flow. Even if I screw up, who cares, because they can understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Also, I'm trying to remember, we've met two cool people today. We met the Canadian couple. Yep. And we met the uh, Tibo. Yep. Tibo was awesome. Tibo was very cool. He helped me figure Family out this from sack. Bogota. Did you have any O2 in France? They are normally quite good. Carrier. Oh, keep an eye out for that thing. O2 is the carrier. Oh yeah. I'm just, like circling around looking for one right yeah. now. Hey, bento. Ten euros for a for a bento? Yeah. Oh. Hitotsu Simu Kado Kudasai. Oh, I gotta take a look at this. The fountain? Hell yes. Yeah. All right, guys. Pete's special. So you can behold this beautiful thing of, of Paris. And this! That's awesome. That is very cool. That is, I didn't even, I didn't. Fountain. Under the reign of Napoleon, Emperor of France. This monument was uh, raised by the, or whatever, by the city of Paris, year, I don't know Roman numerals well enough to tell you what that is. McDonald's. McDonald's. Year McDonald's. Wow. No, it's 18, 15, 1860. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. Very How cool. could you not want to live here and just pass something like this? Amazing history. I guess, you know, it's hard for me sometimes with, with Japan's, they do a really good job of preserving the history. Mm. Lots of Edo, Shinto shrines, and you see it. But I guess being from like a, what is it, a Western culture, this makes more sense to me because I'm used to it from textbooks or like, so when I get to see it live, like something I'm familiar with is really something I appreciate. 
I wonder, too, if, like, uh, Paris, I don't know my history well enough to know if it just didn't get as damaged during World War II as, like, some of the other European cities. Because, like, I just wonder if a lot got preserved compared to other places. Well, I gotta yeah. say, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. This was how I was when I moved to D.C. Bonjour, Monsieur Tu. What's up, Mudan? Mudan in the house. Oh, nice. Absolute legend. Right. Uh, what's good, man? Please wipe the wet lens. All right. I can't see it all the time. Is it actually... I got it. I got it. Here's a little wipey for you guys. Can I have my phone? Yeah. We're going to cross to the island. I got to take some... Uh, Pictures. Of, that. There you go. Is that I'm our put that hotel? In a Is that our hotel key? Yeah. Oh boy. They're, so they're wearing like the most important uh, here. Oh really? Yeah. I think that's what they're looking for. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. There's like one woman right in the middle of the. Oh well. It's all right. Oh, she heard me. Oh, there's another one just walked in right in front. That's all right. That's their life. their life. Now they're right in the center of my... Ah, oh, it's too late now. I figure it's going to be perfect. Ready? Three, two, and a half. Ready? Three, two. Bang. Got it. Chat smile. Ready? Three, two. Promised 50-50, gang. Let's go to the right. Okay. 